can get that two minute. No, no. No. Hey, everybody, welcome to a Monday night football game where, uh, well, honestly, I didn't expect to be sitting here. How cool is this? We are live at the Navy Yard right here at the gatehouse. And I am looking at several, not just one, but several screens for <sighs> Vince Quinn. I told you on uh, the pod, I wasn't feeling great about this game. Uh, the booze has set in a little bit. Let's go fucking <laughs> kick their ass. Yeah. A win tonight. How about that? Let's a win go. tonight. Fuck yeah. uh, shout out to the Discord and everyone that is uh, following along. Uh, we appreciate that. Always can jump in at bellandthebirdmen.com. And while you're here, why don't you go ahead and subscribe to the old YouTube uh, as well. That like and subscribe button go a very long way, especially during the live stream. So Vince Quinn will be having some Eagles topics tonight. We'll be doing some play-by-play -play often. And... Uh, uh, Taylor Cardatis here as well, making it. Look at this beautiful picture. I can't believe this. All this, all this raw fat looking so beautiful tonight. As I'm, I just spit out some food on Vince Quinn's arm. My goodness. We're off to a good start. We're off to okay. a good start. Cheers, Vince Quinn. How are you? Uh, cheers, John. Uh, bam. <laughs> oh, there man, I'm sorry. Let me pull no, that. I, well, it's I, bad luck if we don't cheers. I, I mean, stopped drinking because it was better if I did. Well, but, uh, <laughs> that's not going to work. Hi, everybody. I mean, we're fucking here. We're doing, dude, we're doing a live stream again. How long has it uh. been since we've actually sat down and done an actual game that actually matters mm -hmm. that is it's a preseason junk? Like, it is so awesome to actually just be sitting here and being like, all right, we're strapping in for three hours of absurdity. The, the energy around this game is electric. The hatred for the it. Vikings is real. Oh, there! Uh, I have to hold the water. You you, you're not going to feed me. Yeah, I want. I want you to feed me. I want. I want to lay down and be fed grapes. I want like the giant leaf fans. All right, we'll get on that. I'm. I'm very we'll high that. maintenance, John. I'm a very high maintenance guy. You're not uh, high maintenance enough to uh, to have a kick ass time. Uh, which uh, shout out to Vince from Philly Sports Trips. Uh, dot com. Uh, the the tailgate was absolutely amazing, and then everybody walked over to the link. So, like, what I'm expecting tonight, just because this is a little bit unique, I saw the fireworks go off at the link. That's how close we are. So, yep. Um, I see AJ Brown on our screens, uh, praying on the no offense, Julian, the worst fonts of all time. <laughs> I can't believe they're here for the opener. They look so bad in the end zone. Can we start there? Yeah, it looks like shit. The Discord has been right. Well, the Discord's <sighs> been at war about the word mark. Folks, I will keep saying this. 2024. Okay. <laughs> 2024. They built it for Kelly Green. They just did. I, I don't understand why they released it now. Yeah, why are they doing it now? I don't know. I, I just, Julian's I don't know. Ball. I don't know. It doesn't make any sense. Nobody, I, like, they released all the gear in the shop and nobody bought it, is my understanding. So they're not, like, yeah. selling it massively wide. You know what I yeah. mean? They had, to, they had to reroute all of that. So, bit of a problem. It looks like crap. Uh, but it's going to look great on Kelly Green, so it's it'll be okay. Um, so, uh, I don't think anything crazy with uh, inactives tonight. As uh, we have, uh, yeah, I forgot where those were. I got a juicy rumor. I was running all around here. You I'll were. I'll have to get into that in some point in the yeah. live stream here. So uh, things might get interesting this week. I'll just say that for now. But uh, it looks like uh, Jalen Hurts and everyone else is ready to go. I don't know what just happened there. I don't know if anybody's watching the broadcast or can hear the broadcast more or less. Uh, they just did like a big thing in the end zone with, with some people. And like we're acknowledging all the fans there. I don't know if that's a new thing between him and uh, A.J. Brown and like Kayvon Wallace, I think, there. But. I, I, I feel like that's worth the three extra points right there. I don't know what well, happened. But. Well, if it's between them and Kayvon Wallace, it might not last all that long. Uh, so. Ooh, there's the fireworks again, Vince Quinn, right there. They're going off Look right now. The, yeah, we that's, can see it from the Navy Yard. That's I hope amazing. You can hear it, too. Which, by the way, if, you, if awesome. you didn't get the chance to make it out of here today, it's a 10-minute walk to the link. Ten minutes. Like, uh, Vince went, okay, cool, see you later, at 7.55, and he texted right now. He's comfortably in his seat. It's pretty, pretty amazing. Uh, this is like the most unknown spot of all time. I don't know what's going on. And by the way, from here on out on Sundays, free parking, 100% free parking. All of this stuff behind us, all of these, these thousands of parking spaces, all free. It's crazy uh, what they uh, totally are, are doing here. Because uh, did you see this? Tim McManus literally rolled up somewhere today and took a picture. 45 bucks to park somewhere today. Ew. $45. Ew. Unbelievable. So don't have to do that here. It's really fun. And what's more fun... I don't know if you saw this. Uh, Kyle Brandt from the NFL Network, who is, wow, you can hear the crowd, too. I know. This, this is, is awesome. So cool. that is this crazy. is so cool. But, that is crazy. See, and this is like watch parties here from, from, from oh, man, this, you got to come down here. That's yeah. all I'm saying. But Kyle Brandt, apparently, ha is, is saying tonight that one Justin Jefferson, if the Vikings win this football game, 
is going to have some surprise at the post-game interview. I would love your thoughts. One, what could that be? Two, will it embarrass us? Because I think it might. Um, I, I think he's going to <laughs> introduce Chris Angel, and then he's going to swap bodies with Jalen Rager. And it's just going to be the ultimate mind fuck to see Jalen Rager play exactly like Who's Justin Jefferson. Who? Yeah, like that would be <laughs> that would be the ultimate chaos. And if he pulls that off, Ooh. good for him. Uh, okay, but serious note, do you think he would pull Jalen Rager up there and he just like cuts a WWE type promo? Oh yeah, that would honestly mm. if if they win the game and he does that, I'd I'd kind of respect it. <laughs> uh, it's, we'll see how bad it gets, but I could respect that. Uh well um we uh your thoughts on on what Justin Jefferson might pull out of his ha- helmet I guess instead well, of hat yeah I would love to know that's that's really the one of the major pivotal things of this because think about it right we we obsess well we didn't obsess enough about AJ Brown because everything else was weird things that caught yeah. our attention like you know Jalen Hurts having successful plays got everybody <laughs> very upset yeah there's that um so that that was a big deal the defense is an atrocity we're figuring out what's going on with all that but like as much as AJ Brown dominated last week. Justin Jefferson was better. He was better. Yeah, ridiculously I mean, he had, better. He had like 185 yards and two touchdowns. He had like holy shit numbers last week. There was so, no one on him at all, all game long. Partly, mostly him and partly the Packers. Yeah. We're about 50 50. The I don't Packers know. stink, folks. I've told you that. I don't care that they beat Chicago. That doesn't prove anything. That team stinks. <laughs> so right, uh, right. we'll see where it goes. But yeah, <laughs> that's that's going to be one of the bigger things tonight is how do they lock him down? Are they applying pressure? Are, are we going to see, you know, corners within five yards of a receiver at the line of scrimmage? Are we going to see, I don't know, a blitz? Uh, you know, might be might be asking too much. I, I might be greedy, but asking for like five blitzes. I don't think that's greedy at all. I, like I would be, and I'm I'm I'll, I'll probably have to talk to Jonathan on Tuesday. Like mm. real, real, real tough. Yeah. Uh, I need forty percent blitzing tonight. Woo! Like, what's the point of hanging back and letting Kirk Cousins gut you up? Because like you've seen the tape on every team that he has been on and every opportunity. Since he's played the Eagles, no matter what the defensive coordinator is, you know what he's going to fucking do? He's going to throw in the middle, and he's going to throw it quick. So just, like, like everybody hands up and engage eight. I don't know. Like, Justin Jefferson is going to do that to you. If you're sitting back in zone, like, it'll really piss me off if he's so passive tonight. And that's what I'm still deathly afraid of. So yeah. I I hope I'm wrong with that. I see Justin Jefferson getting all fired up on the sideline. Like, I, I, I don't know. Do you think the... The Jalen Rager thing kind of fueled him, <laughs> not necessarily Jalen Rager. Yeah, it's like, I mean, I'm, I, this is like the the Ben Simmons coming out to Brooklyn and playing the Sixers for the first time, where they're just going to protect him and everybody's going to go have a good game, so you don't have to hear about it the next day. It could be. I look, it's <laughs> it is a bit of a weird place, right? Because for Justin Jefferson, your mentions from the moment you started making plays in the NFL, yeah, have been full of Jalen Jalen Rager comments. So like. Does he look at that and go, man, this guy's gotten a raw deal because of me, and it's not my fault that I'm good and he sucks. Like, yeah. I'm going to stand up for this guy now. He's my teammate. Maybe. Maybe. And if that's the case, then, like, I totally respect him for doing that. It's it's a classy thing to do for a guy his age, unless he throws a WWE promo like we talked about. But uh, big picture, wow, as the fireworks oh go God. off again. They're literally going off this right there. So I cool. hope you see it in the background. You can, this still, is so cool. you can still hear the crowd now. Yeah, you can hear the crowd it's here, crazy. too. This is, this is awesome, guys. And... Just a little uh, to further accentuate the point how awesome this place is. The manager just came over because we had a good angle of the TV, but he just made sure we had a great angle of the TV. That is when you know there's attention to detail here, and uh, we're just about ready to get the kickoff. Uh, so any any less predictions as this goes off? 28-23, Birds, that's how I'm saying it. All right, 24-20 is my final score, Birds. 24-20. It's a little higher. God, I, I said this to Vince. I don't think this is going to happen. But, man, oh, man, we could use a blowout tonight. That would just, like, to get a blowout as we're rolling deep into Washington. And I've got so many Carson Wentz takes, I can't wait for Tuesday. But Oh, yeah. Uh, this week's going to be so much fun. <laughs> it's right. going to be amazing. I need somebody to tell me, did the Eagles lose the toss or not? I'm assuming they did because the offense is coming out in the field. Yeah. Um, I see Watkins. I see Brown. I see Smitty. I like 11 personnel here. I would love Jalen Hurd's. To just go deep, and I hope that's what happens. All First right, little play. little play action right off the stop. 
right off the start there here. There is no running backs in the no, backfield. Right, this is a fuck you yeah. formation on first and ten. <laughs> fuck your run game, everybody. Right. Come on, Jalen. Here we go. First play of the game. First and ten from their 19. A little flip out to the left-hand side. It's Devontae Smith with wow, a catch. The there we go. Man. First all official right. catch of the season. People can breathe a little bit. All right. He's, they, they know he exists. And it's the same as last week, right? We That's talked right. about this during the week. Hey, they hey, tried to get hey, him the hey, ball early. Oh, hey, hey, tempo. we're going no tempo. We some got no tempo. huddle. We're going five wide i love Someone's this excited i love this this is good nick sirianis slash shane we've got uh from the eagles 23 jalen plenty of time now under some pressure looking out to his right fires that way finds a man and there he is dallas goddard first down let's move the chains don't huddle yes i'm telling you guys yeah this is all you got to do, and I'm not talking about pace, but just don't huddle. And the Vikings defense doesn't know what to do right now. This is great. Well, yeah, look, I, I don't mind them once in a while, especially to start a game. They've had so many problems with starting games under this regime. So to be able to start a game just coming out hot, here we are again. It looks like they're already at the line of scrimmage. With 15 seconds left on the clock, they could be snapping this Love ball. that. Back at home, Miles Sanders in on the RPO, gets the carry well off to blocked. the left-hand side, off to and across the 50 for a first down and more for 12. They are driving, and this is some sweet sauce here in the opening drive. God, I'm excited. Come on. Miles Sanders reading the, reading the blocking and hitting the hole and having a big gain. I, we're finding a trend, John. Who We're finding is, it. He's figuring it out. Who replaced this man that wears 26? Yeah, you know the whole Jay, uh, Jalen Rager, Jefferson, mind meld <laughs> right swap thing? Right back to it, by the way. Uh, quick RPO out to the right-hand side. Good stuff. Sorry, Vince. Go ahead. Uh, no, it doesn't happen there. But, uh, I mean, the the idea is nice, though. It, it's nice to see them coming to this game. All right. Uh, go, like, mid-range throws, getting a cup five yards on the first one, maybe ten yards on the second. Then they run. They get about ten yards on that. Like, they're, they're moving. So, here they go again. Tempo. Uh, Speed. Nice, nice and quick. They listen to the podcast, Vince. That's all I That's can right. say. That's right. I know Here Julian we... does. I know 20 Julian on the does. Play clock from the Vikings 45. Jalen, plenty of time. Under some pressure now. Oh, Runs no. up into it and is sacked. That uh, is uh, probably his first bad play of the night after having some juice there. Yeah, Damn. that was, uh, that kind of felt like, you know how late at night when bugs fly into a light? It just kind of, <laughs> he just went right into it. He just went right into I it. I think he can feel my energy. That's what it is. I think yeah. we're so close to one another now that he's just he's trying to impress us all. You know, and he doesn't need to do that. No, right? no. I, 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 he saw an opening in the middle, so he was trying to break it through, hey and guys, he, he could have gotten I 12. Do, I but. hate to spoil this, but I just heard the crowd go fucking nuts, so I hope it's for a good reason. <laughs> and here is Miles Sanders out to the right-hand side in shotgun. And I believe... A big play Whoa. coming from Kenny Gainwell, who is a cross to the 30, Whoa. to the 25, and trips over himself. He does a, uh, a I'm, I'm, I'm mis uh, misremembering the Daniel Giants quarterback, Jones. a little Daniel Jones, a flag on the play, though. He's Damn easy it. to forget. Damn it. Oh, man. Ineligible. Oh, no, no, no. No, wait, wait. No, yep, no. Yep, that's bad news, Bears. No. Son of a bitch. No. Well, it looked really good. It did look really good. This is, okay, so, unfortunately... Uh, we're going to have tip plays, or we'll be right in sync with you. I have no idea. <laughs> yeah, yeah, go birds. <laughs> go birds. So, yeah, look, it, it was a nice play. Uh, interesting stat that went across the screen, by the way, as they were lining up for that one. Jalen Hurts, 3.1 seconds per throw, which is the longest time to throw in the league. Which is a terrible stat. Kyler Murray would like a word. Hey, guys. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I hate to tell you this. The crowd just went nuts again. So I hope this is for another big what's, game on what's... third and 13 as we are three wide. Devontae Smith out to the right-hand side. Jalen with plenty of time. Still looking. Firing. Yeah. Finds a completion. And there is the one and the only A.J. Brown. Get your number 11 switched out with the nameplate A.J. Brown. Good <laughs> Lord. Yes. And that's what this team is all about, right? That's what this offense is supposed to be. You you have the run game. You have the threats there. You create opportunities for A.J. Brown in the middle of the field. He's Man. wide open there, wide gap open. in the zone. He knew exactly where to sit. Jalen delivers the ball. Quick delivery here, and it's Kenny Gainwell, RPO in the backfield. Jalen going to keep it, tuck and run, and just for a few yards out to the right-hand side. I love this tempo, Vince Quinn. No, it's a nice thing to see, and right there, it's keeping things on schedule, right? He gets four yards on that play. It's nice and easy. It's exactly where you want to be, a second and six for a team like this you got a lot of options and you got to figure look this has been a really fast and physical four minutes and for minnesota in this drive it feels like they're caught off guard man and i gotta tell you this eagles offensive line is whooping their ass right now i mean there is just nothing doing there uh, some of the pressure there i would even say has been jalen based so 
Really great start from them, too. And that's going to be one of the big things is how did Jalen's legs factor into this game? There was an easy four yards. Pascal was in on the motion. Boston Scott with the head of steam. And uh, what do you think? About four yards there? Yeah, three, four yards. So I wouldn't be surprised if this is third and three. And there you hey, go. Hey, look at that. Put the tail on the donkey. Look at that. <laughs> so here we go. Pascal Ooh, in the backfield. Oh, yeah. This is interesting. They go Whoa. pistol with Boston Scott right behind Jalen Hurts. And it is to Boston Scott. Nope. They bring it back down. They throw it back to Pascal. What a design for a first down to the 15. I love that. All there right. Go. And that's what this is supposed to be, and it's the kind of thing we're going to see from the Vikings as well, is getting movement across the formation, trying to get opportunities for a guy like Jefferson out of the backfield in weird coverage situations and giving him some space to run. To see the Eagles do that, though, mm. is refreshing. Mm. Uh, it's very refreshing, and it makes me feel a little bit better about this whole operation. So Eric, great play there. Eric Kendricks with a nice lick on Jalen Hurts towards the end of that as well. Is that uh, 35 in there again? Yes, it, it is. is. No, it's oh, no, Sanders. Sanders, but it's an outlet to Goddard, who's got the first down. Ooh, baby, I feel a touchdown coming right back to him. Yeah, I feel it. <laughs> yeah, they're ready to go. I would wonder if this is an Tempo. opportunity where they set up an opportunity for Jalen to roll out, and then if he wants to throw it in the end zone, he can. This Otherwise, if miles. he wants to test his legs. This is going to Miles, and guess what, guys? There's a touchdown coming because I just heard the roar of the crowd. So let's see where this goes. I oh, think this is man. right to Miles Sanders, right up the gut for six, yeah, baby. But let's the go. word mark's so let's ugly. Go. So Come bad. on, put it in there. Put it in there. No, it's a pull down from Jalen. And, and yes, yeah. sir. Send off the fireworks. Woo! Get that dance on number one. Dance, dance, I don't care if you throw another fucking touchdown for the rest of the season if that's the drive. There Unbelievable. Prem with the Prem. dance. Uh, we'll be getting Prem in a little bit. Jamie from Calf Barbecue's here. It's a party. <laughs> hey, Justin Jefferson, what do you think about that? Your turn. I would love to see this. I would love to see an epic Monday night shootout right here. This is, this would be fun. This would well, be fun. I'll, I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what, Justin Jefferson, I don't give a shit who was in the first round because that guy was in the second round right behind y'all, and I'll take that dude who just scored a touchdown over any wide receiver that's not A.J. Brown. Cheers. There you go. There's my comment. Put that one on up, Kyle Brandt. Yeah, put that in your pipe and smoke it, <laughs> all right? Put that in the post-game presser, I'm Jefferson. A, I'm a little fired up. You scumbag. Uh, I have no reason for that, but I'm just going to call Wait, him scumbag. He seems like a nice guy. Yeah, yeah. He's, he's a sweetheart. Also, um, the Eagles just got a delay game penalty on the extra point, so. Oh, that's good. Uh, is Nathaniel Hackett coaching the team? <laughs> well, what happened there? We can talk about that, too. I know you want to oh, yell at me. I know you want to yell at me for all the for Russell half-time. Wilson shit. <laughs> I'm, and I'm happy to, to yell at you for all of those things. Yeah, I, I'm fine. ready to fight, so I'm, I'm well prepared for that. But let, let me get you something, because now that we just got, I mean, first drive, very successful, a lot of tempo, different guys touching the ball. A.J. Brown, Devontae, Dallas Goddard, Zach Paschal, Miles Sanders, Jalen Hurts, all those guys, Kenny Gainwell, Boston Scott, like everybody in some capacity was involved in that drive. Absolutely excellent. Uh, can you really ask for anything better to open this game? I, nope. I mean, that was electric. Yeah, I mean, uh, you're, you, that was just a couple of plays off from perfection. And honestly, uh, if the ineligible probably – and I'd love to review that. I can't wait to watch that tomorrow. <laughs> uh, just incredibly smart plays. Not too cute plays, not this, not that. Like, <laughs> There's another flag. Are you kidding me? And it's now an encroachment on the uh, – <laughs> On the Vikings? We're just going to run this extra point 15 times. <laughs> Take we're it just, back five yards. Yeah, we're we're going to run this until it's 1130. <laughs> this game is all about making the dads go to sleep by half. Good Lord. That's it what this is, whole thing is about. It is. They're, they're going to take it back another five yards. So uh, this will this be is from. This great. Uh, what are we at now? Uh, 43 yards on yeah, this extra so, point? Something, let's, yeah, let's make it dramatic. Go for it. Yeah, just, yeah, there. Let's go. Yeah, let's go for two. <laughs> Can I just go for? I would just right. Oh no, they won't allow you to get it at the two. You have to take it at the forty. Yeah, you would what, have right? to for wherever the the yardage well, uh, is. At they this made point. it because oh, the fireworks right. are going off. So the Vikings declined. Never yeah. mind. Never mind. Is How that like cool a four second delay for us? It might, um, I, it might be. Yeah, I think the stadium's on a delay. We're we're on time. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we're so everybody time. in the so stadium is on a delay. They're on the, a forty second delay. The gatehouse is in. Yeah, a time yes. space continuum. And that is correct. Which is why you should be here at the gatehouse for the tailgates. Because we, first off, all you can eat, all you can drink. Food is ridiculous. Beer is ridiculous. Yeah. We're we're going to be upping the stakes when the Jacksonville game. I mean, it is getting out of control down here, folks. Yeah. Uh, if you have not heard of the band Snack Time, you need to go look at them immediately because they will be here October second. And like I said, like the, even 
just being here right now, uh, the bar is open. The staff has been so friendly. And let me tell you, you know if you've watched me, Vincent Taylor, go walk through many different establishments, and no disrespect to them, but, man, they have rolled out the red carpet here. And it is an unbelievable scene if you're going to the game or if you're just hanging out right now. And, honestly, even if you want to come down here right now, I will come buy you this because – uh, Jamie just told me about the um, the Surfside Stateside Vodka oh, Johns yeah. that they have in here. It's pretty good. I I was uh, I usually tend to hate these things, but this is this is nailing it. So like the staff's friendly. They recommend great stuff for you. They know what your tastes are, and the the Cavs catering food was unbelievable today. So please come hang out, uh, only because uh, it's an amazing experience and free parking. <laughs> like yep. half of the ticket cost is would be parking. So like it's just it's crazy and. Uh, um, I, I don't think I expected, speaking of crazy, I don't think I expected the Eagles' first 10 scripted plays to go that well, man. No, I don't that know if I've ever seen a first scripted drive go that well from them. Yeah, when's the it's, last time uh, that like, happened? When's the last time they scored on their opening drives I, under a Nick Sirianni fran- uh, regime? I, I don't know, but that was phenomenal. I mean, it was a bit of everything. Jalen ran last, a little was bit. Was it last Every, week? Everybody they, got the ball involved. I feel like that was last week. Was it last week? <laughs> did, did it feel as good? On the opening drive? No. I think they did, but no. it didn't look as good. <laughs> Uh, I don't know. That was phenomenal, though. That was a killer fucking drive, man. So I, I got to give it to him. In a game where, like, look, we, I, I think they can win this game, and I think they're the better roster, which I've, I've said loud and proud for quite some time. But uh, it, it's still a tough game, and you just never know in the moment. There's so many things that can happen. So for seeing them come out the way that they did, it's a home crowd. Everybody's yep. fired up. We can hear them from here at the gatehouse. It's just it's fucking awesome, man. And you know what makes me happy, too, is this first drive, how many runs were called? Not many. There was like two, three. And like to come out and say like all week, all fucking week we have heard about Jalen's legs. And what does Nick Sirianni do? No problem. Let's go five wide and you just plant your legs in. What are the Vikings doing? This is what I thought was very interesting. I expected them to put a ton of pressure. Or no, we expected them to play back, right? So the Vikings just came out and be like, no problem. We'll play this kid back. If it worked for Aaron Rodgers, it'll probably work for Jalen Hurts. Whoops. So, like, to get that strike early, to know that their defensive game plan does not work with their first 10 scripted plays makes me feel awesome. I hear more noises, and I hope it's just loud because Kirk Cousins sucks and he's taking the field right now. And that's exactly what it is. As soon as Cousins is trying to get the play, he immediately put his hands over the ear holes of his helmet. He's trying to figure out what the hell they're telling him, and he's having a hard time, which is what you want, and that's what this crowd's supposed to do, and you love seeing that right off the jump. Also, five guys on the line immediately. Excellent. Excellent. The last time the Vikings were at the link? Was uh, NFC Championship game exactly? Was it? I thought yeah. they played here on uh, in 2019. Am I making that oh, up? And you know what, Jamie? Let's go, come over here, Jamie. Come on in. Jo- come join the show. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, Jamie from Calf Barbecue, who will be joining us next weekend, who's bringing two briskets on our bus, along with Allison and the Jello Thanks shots. Yeah, so it is, good. It is so, ridiculous. Um, I love this. Uh, I I yeah, I said Jonathan Gannon choose something. He has chose to sh- shut down the run. Um. So far, so uh, here we go, second and 11. As uh, Kirk Cousins says, oh, yeah, come get some of this. As he goes empty set, he's looking back, he throws, and then he finds Justin Jefferson. Uh, And uh, we have a very loud crowd because they know that third down is coming up, and that is awesome to hear. Yep. (laughs) <laughs> that's, that's what this is supposed to be, and that's the whole thing, man. The energy building up to this, because we could feel it this afternoon. We got here for the tailgate driving in, seeing everybody just wearing Eagles shit all around the city all, all day today. But how great is it? To, to, I mean, it's Monday night. It's the home opener. It's the Vikings. People hate that team. To be here in this moment, like, this is what it's really all about, and the fans are showing it. Okay, Slay, I, I want you to make a play. I heard the crowd get get a little jumpy and loud, so we'll see what happens on third and five. As here's Kirk Cousins from the gun oh, with protection. The and there's the throw out to the left, and it is yeah! Slay with yes! the knockaway. And Justin Jefferson being a big, fat baby. Where, where, where? I'm a pro. Ma, ma, ma. Are we getting, uh, we getting interference? Sorry, buddy. Uh, oh, it's, right. it's because of the phone. <laughs> oh, is it my phone? Uh, but, uh, oh, my, I cannot believe Justin Jefferson's calling for yeah, something that's, there. No, that oh, is what an unbelievable baby. I, he is making, oh, I love this. Jamie, he's, I, he's turning into enemy number one over here. I thought they taught you in the SEC how to catch the ball. <laughs> <laughs> Bet you Jalen Rager could. Uh, oh. I'm just, I'm just hey. kidding. Here's Britton Covey with a punt return out to nowhere. Oof. Actually gets uh, gets a little gets a little dinged up there, but uh, 
45 on the Vikings special teams die. I feel like I've heard his name before. Very fired up about this. And that will be the last Vikings celebration of the game is my thought. Yeah, uh, research <laughs> tells me his first name is Never Say. Uh, <laughs> so, anyway, uh, th- now we move past that terrible joke. Uh, so, Jamie, first off, you just watched the whole first drive. You were behind us for all that. What did you think of the first drive? It's finally efficient. Right? Finally efficient. Um you know, they, they ran it, what, three times, but they could pass it. Um, it was nice to see they got Devontae in it. Goddard, uh, Taylor and I need that over for Goddard to hit tonight. <laughs> what is the over for Goddard oh, tonight? Yeah. 45 we'll and a half. 45, 45 and a half? Where right. are we at right now? About 12? Yeah. I had, okay. Um, I also had A.J. Brown anytime touchdown, but I also put him on for first touchdown. Just oh. if you're going to do any time, you might as well play. You only, you only live once. Up. You only live once. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so are there any other bets between the two of you? A- any money on the line tonight? No, I I had a bad feeling all day. <laughs> Until that first drive, I had a bad feeling. Okay, Taylor? A.J. Brown, anytime touchdown, and the over. Right. Oh, man. All right, love that. There you go. 49 and a half? Uh, 50, 51. Four, no, it was at 49. Oh, yeah. nice. All right. Yeah. It was, it was at 51 looking. all week, and then it went down to 49. There you go. So right now, and Eagles uh, spread for this game was Eagles minus two and a half last I checked. Is that right? Is that is that that's what it closed? I think it got it got. Oh really? It was uh, it was two and a half. It closed. Got down to two. I think at one point during the day. So Um, interesting. Okay. There you go. The bet was split fifty fifty, but I think it was like sixty five percent of the money was on the Eagles. Got it. Going into it. All right. Now, uh, we just did. I mean, that was a quick drive there. The Eagles go get a three and out. So excellent from them right off the top. That's exactly what you want to see. Uh, one of the questions, though, just thinking about where this game is going to be and, and really the greater picture of within the course of the season. Everybody was flipping his shit about Jordan Davis and the snaps that he got because he had, what, 22 last week? So mm-hmm. out of curiosity, first off, did you notice him on that drive? Because I didn't. Uh, I don't I know if he was in or not. There. So I, I didn't. I, yeah. Unfortunately, this game's not on Amazon where we don't have the. Uh, all 22. Uh, prime that tracker was pretty I nice. Wanted, I want to talk about that a little bit, too, as, as we get everything moving here, because I thought that broadcast, they did a lot of really interesting shit. I I loved it. I I hope Sunday Ticket gets to Amazon, because I think that will make it a better product. It's, I, had, I had no issues. Oh, yeah, and Sunday Ticket had another issue with DirecTV. They yeah. couldn't stream it for the well, second DirecTV's week. Well, thrown in the towel. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> Just the last little money grab yeah. here. Yeah, they know they're not getting that contract. Oh, uh, they probably diverted all the money. And Jamie, real quick, because we're about to head out. Man, they're running pistol again. What are they doing? Oh, there's all sorts of surprises in the book. Sorry, right back to it. A little screen out to A.J. Brown. He's to the 30 and to the 30-something. Uh, Man, I love – what is what is this? I felt now, like they were running vanilla in the, with, against Detroit. They, yeah. they were. I Another legal man down. Man, this is, this is some – Come on. This is Who? some – Bullshit. Is that like three or four flags on them already? So Lane Reminds Johnson, me of Chip Kelly. Sorry. Was it, <laughs> crazy. Was it Lane Johnson? Because they're just so ner- – or they're also – Dickerson. Totally Dickerson now. Now, yeah, that always – it's always going to be an O-line call. Always. Yeah. I don't. I rarely, yeah. I think, is that uh, anybody else. Yep. All right, so it was on Dickerson. A little sloppy early. Uh, and I don't really know – like those, those bubble screens, those slip screens, I really – it feels like they are – enforcing those a little heavier this year too from what i remember reading i could be wrong on that but uh first and 15 then in a oh, and a really bad wow. exchange on the rpo by the way speaking of that from hertz to miles sanders so bad to worse and now third and a mile and oh second and 18 i forgot that's yeah. uh, it's just yeah, first down on the fr- oh, bad, oh uh, so here we go jalen missed the snap sanders had to pick it up the line got crushed anyway that was just a terrible play all around. <laughs> there was nothing redeemable in that play. They didn't turn it over. That's See? it's it's a po- it's a positive. They didn't turn it over. There you go. Yeah, true. Huddling creates problems. I just I'm just gonna keep saying. I like saying this it. new turn from you. <laughs> that now huddling is a problem for this team. Huddling creates problems. Second and eighteen. Jalen, plenty of time. Steps step up, up step. a little bit and does throw across Ooh. a little high. But Devontae right. Smith says, "Oh no, Quez Watkins, Hank Basket." Welcome to the Philadelphia Eagles season. So, uh, oh, we got to switch out of mic. My bad. Uh, so uh, Taylor Cardenas, making sure we sound as clean and wonderful as possible. But yeah, nice recovery here from the offense, and it looked like. Like a who is that? They're oh, they are running. <laughs> Man, Jalen should tear this team up if they're going to keep giving him that. They are giving him such a big zone. They're playing, you know, three safeties high here. 
and uh, I'm it's slipping my mind because it's an easy coverage to remember, and I can't remember about that. But three probably. Uh, uh, there you go. Cover three, probably. Yeah. Oh, I, I got another note from that last play in a minute, but first, Jalen Hurts. Jalen Hurts. There got go. it. Uh, flag. Flag. Another flag. A flag on who? Devontae Smith looks frustrated. I would bet there was some sort of pick play there, and uh, he's not happy about it. Defensive, it offensive PI. Pass interference, offensive. Ref there you go. All right. Well, he, people pay to see the refs. AJ, wow. AJ Brown is notorious for do. Oh, no, that was yeah, a, it's, it's was on a Devontae. Devontae Smith call? He's, yeah, he's pissed about it. I would, I would bet there was some sort of – I didn't get a full look at the play because, uh, you know, we have to we have to figure shit out. So Things happen technologically. Sometimes wires fail you, but uh, he cuts in, which is a great play. Oh my that's god! A, they are, that yeah, man, it's the it's the pick shit that you that's like to, you want him to sell that route a little bit more. It was it was a little too I don't know. It was a little so, too blatant. I get it, but it's that's yeah tack. yeah. And and Sirianni's yelling here, and I can only be reminded of the Tim Donahue movie because it just I just saw the documentary about like. You know, when a ref crew decides they're going to just call this for the game, they're going to call this for the game. And when AI is, you know, turning his ball over, they call it hard, whatever. I just feel oh, like that's happening. Jalen Hurts gets sacked on third and 12, and this is where the bullshit right. starts. I hate this. It's fine. This the, is why it was at minus two and a half. <laughs> the, the drive's going to end in a kick. That's a positive. Lots of booze coming from the link right now, by yeah, the way. Yeah, wow, you can hear that from here. The, the drive ends in a kick. That's a positive. And a, and a big and cheer. There's a big cheer now, oh, and I have uh, no Jalen idea why. So, <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, it would be that, that would be, be amazing. Hilarious. But one, uh, one of the things I want to know. Let's see what let's happens on the, on the kickoff play, here. I guess. And uh, end over end. Because Sipos having a good punt and, is a shocker. Uh, uh, it's oh, it's just Rager just getting Rager. crushed. <laughs> yeah, all right. The people like Very seeing Rager get crushed, which I totally understand. That's that's a spiteful thing. But something interesting about this. So a couple plays ago. Jalen rolls out to his right, and he gets that throw to Quez just before the first down marker. Now, the fascinating thing about that is I'm not sure which player it was, but there was somebody that was clearly spying Jalen Hurts a couple yards back and waiting for him to make the move. So the Lions' inability to cover Jalen in any way, shape, or form whatsoever as a runner, clearly they've tried to make that an emphasis this week. So something to monitor as the game goes on for yes, Minnesota. It is, it is. Now, as we're doing all this, I mean, John, you're, you're going to eat, is that a nice uh, spicy sauce, uh, spicy Italian <laughs> sausage there? You got, yeah, he's, he's <laughs> you know, the hands, the, the Italian hands. He takes a nice bite. He can't handle it. But as a, bread. as John is is uh, gorging got himself a nice taste of bread on that there, delicious all-you-can-eat food here at the tailgates, it, it's worth noting with Jamie here, who is ripping branches off of the tree. I love it. It's in his way. Very nice, better view. He's, he's got he's to see what's going on. So there you go. Uh, he's, he's taking some of that down. But Jamie, by the way, who popped up today from mm. Calf Barbecue, made the greatest ribs we've ever had in our lives like a month ago, popped up today some specialty Cheez-Its and, and goldfish, this whole mixture you've got. But also, for the people going on the washing tip, Jamie, because uh, we have a lot of people on the bus with us to D.C., what are you bringing? I will be making two briskets and two chickens. The chickens will be pulled. The briskets I will slice there. Um, if you are looking for... Just the lean side, I will give you the lean. If you're looking for the fat, I'll give you the fat. If you want the burn end, I will give you the burn end. Burn end. Yeah, burn ends are always happy. <laughs> if, yep. if it's all gone, by the time you show up, that's on you. Yeah, and that's why you had to get on the Bell and the Birdman bus, uh, which, again, shout out to everybody that is on the bus with us. It's so awesome that all these people have, have seen us getting this trip together for all these months and go, hey, we want to come, we want to hang out with you, to be able to be on the bus with you for a couple hours, going to the game, coming back, celebrating the victory, all that kind of stuff. It means everything to us, and that's why this, doing all of this, mm -hmm. is so much fun because it's just being about seeing people that are diehard Eagles fans, making those friendships, hanging out, talking about the team, and just having a good time together. So, uh, Jamie, I mean, just uh, with you, the fact over these last couple of weeks to, to meet you, hang out at your place, eat your food, now you're coming to D.C. with us, it's just awesome, man. It's awesome. Yeah, I'm th thank you for, for allowing me to do this. It means a lot. It means a lot. Yeah. You know, just man, this is awesome. You know, you giving about? the cheese that's to a few people today and just seeing their reaction. Hollis Thomas loving it. You know, that's a big endorsement. If you, if you get a unit to like the food you make, yep. you're good. Hollis is a picky eater, by the way. I've seen him in eating contests be a very tough judge, like a very tough judge. And he ate those yeah. and loved them. So that's a big credit to you. And uh, Kurt Cousins back on the field. God, he's so ugly. He's Justin Jefferson loser. from right to left here as they hand it off to Dalvin Cook. And uh, all right, about three, four yards there. There's Jordan Davis. Jordan Davis is on the field he, for that. He's in with 
Fletcher. Yeah, which is interesting. Uh, Marlon Tua Palatu. See, do we? They see listen him? to the podcast, Vince. I'm yeah. telling you. Do we see Marlon Tua <laughs> Palatu for 29 plays today? I hope not. Over under. Under. It better be under. I'll take under. Um, I was going to do some trivia on this, by the way, but they just spoiled it. So <laughs> there you go. Which was what? Uh, where where did he get drafted? And uh, what round was going to be my first question? For Kevin O'Connell. Yep. And uh, here is uh, me. I want to see this. Man, Reddick is just getting eaten alive Fletcher on a double Cox team with the opening. And uh, you've got another third down coming here after a little dump off. Man, that crowd is so loud. I love this. Can we get another three and out? That would be amazing. Get another three and out. Would third and five. It. Look, D-line's causing some problems right now. That is the game to me. Like, that is everything in this. Big I expect reaction. both these teams to have some opportunity to put up points. But when you're looking at this defensive line, can they get home this week against a just notoriously awful offensive line in Minnesota? That's the big stick. Well, here point. it comes. Kirk Cousins back and throwing and is deflected. Yeah! Look at that. Bradbury. Look at that. Bradbury. And uh, the crowd, once again, helping us out. This is awesome. Good things are happening. That is two consecutive back-to-back three and outs, question mark, right? We, I didn't miss yeah. anything there. Yeah. Uh, what a great start for this uh, Eagles defense after we were beating the shit out of it. Fletcher Cox and, uh, and Jordan Davis on the field at the same time. That makes me feel good against this team. Sausages taste great. I mean, we're on a roll here. This there is awesome. Go. No, that's that's <laughs> what it's all about, man. And look, the defensive line, as much as they're not fully getting home, they're causing problems. Like, Javon Hargrave, the, he just broke through on that one. That's better than anything he did in the entire Detroit game, and he just did it there. So that is encouraging, you know? It's just finding those signs, seeing what they can make of this opportunity. Cause it's a matchup that really should favor them, and so far they're making the most of it. Got some whistles here before the punt. Britain time. Discord hero, Britain Cuddy. <laughs> The people love him. If he runs one back, I'm running down Broad Street right now. Yeah, yeah, let's do it. I would love to see you run. I mean, not as fast as me, uh, but. Wow. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Mm. Rematch? A, rematch? Oh, no, no, it's a, yeah. Yeah, we can, I would we're, rematch. We're rematching. Yeah, well, I think that's an end of the re, season thing. Re, rematch in proper attire. <laughs> yeah, we I, we should go all out. I want track shoes, skin tight track suits. Shoes. Yes, if we're gonna if we're going to complain about equipment. All right, the, the list is complaint shoes. of equipment. I want to I want to get track shoes. I, I want us to no be excuses. top of the line, yeah. fully fully geared as aerodynamic as possible. Just like Britton Covey catching that punt, very aerodynamic, straight and narrow. Everyone's on the same page. It was my fault. There you go. It's I blame my. I no, like you know, you're a better athlete than me. What can I say? <laughs> I have to say that now. Taylor Print it. Uh, it was a better good. runner. And, and we're open to suggestions, yeah. by the way. So if you're out there watching, listening, whatever, hanging out in the Discord and just reacting to the game and have us in the background, either way, uh, we're going to compete in a lot of different things over the course of the season. That is our goal. So we're figuring that out. We've had suggestions already of uh, a taco eating contest. I, I liked uh, Pat's with the beer run. Oh, nice. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Pat O'Leary recommended a beer run. A yeah. one, uh, the one-mile beer run. Which yeah. would be chugging a beer, running a lap, chugging a beer, running a lap, chugging a beer, running a lap, so chugging a beer, running a lap, vomiting everywhere. Yeah, four um, beers and then a mile, basically. Yes. I, I don't know why we would want to do that to ourselves. I don't know. Uh, don't, that doesn't sound don't fun. Don't do the donut run in Raleigh, <laughs> I think? Is that they eat donuts and run a lap? That's yeah, so I th- funny. I think, I think it's um, Krispy Kreme. It's like you eat a donut. You run a mile, <laughs> eat a donut, and then run another mile. I think like that's like the run. All right. Well, we can we can add that to the something list. like that because yeah. we're we're open to a lot of stuff. Like the other thing. So selfishly, I would love to play mini golf. I, oh yes, please. I love mini golf. So I would happily play you anywhere, whether we do it in another city, somewhere on the well, road, I, or I, actually, it might be perfect for Arizona because. All the people are doing the fancy golf stuff, and yeah. I am not a fancy golfer. So, like, if we do a mini golf tour while they're doing that, I'm totally down. Yeah, that I think Herm Edwards can join you. <laughs> yeah, no, what? that's not that's not nice. What, that's, that's, that's what, what happened mean. with? The, I saw. He, nice. Is he getting investigated for something? I feel like I saw something about. He, no, he, he, investigated. he got fired. The, well, he, I know he, he got he fired, was fired, but the, um, they were being investigated for breaking like the NCAA like, COVID rules of having of doing like um, recruiting tours when they were told don't bring anyone on campus oh. and then doing workouts when they were told don't have workouts. Man, of what course, Herman Edwards did what that. A crappy way well, to go. That, that's Arizona State for you. Yeah. Let's be honest. <laughs> yeah, you you get fired because you did tours. Like that's such a lame. 
You know what I mean? It's like, oh, how did you get that scar? He, uh, I was opening a can of beans. Like, it's just, it's not cool. <laughs> he was he was fired walking off the field Saturday night. Oh, it was the, bad. Yeah. The it was a, bad. The AD fired him. Like, it wasn't a tarmac fire. It was, you're walking back to the locker room. You're gone. Wow. You lost to Eastern Michigan, which is a terrible program. Like, Yep, don't even go to the locker room, Coach. Man, I missed all he of that. He literally didn't make it to the end zone. <laughs> losing losing Jaden Daniels was huge, too, the quarterback from last season. Yep, who's at LSU now. Woof. Uh, not have to worry about that. A.J. Brown, not on either of those teams. <laughs> uh, hold Nor on. does he have to talk to Herm Edwards. W- one last uh, thing about Herm Edwards. Eastern Michigan had the greatest post-win tweet. And it was a poster that just said, you play to win the game. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Nice. That is, uh, that is a beautiful burn. Well, you know, shout out to Herm Edwards. I'm sure we'll see him on some dumb local television station soon. Yeah, pour some out. Uh, meanwhile, Eagles tried to run the ball there. They got three yards. I mean, it, look, it, Vikings defensive line causing some problems there, but second and seven's all right. Uh, so they're going back to their dumb huddling, and uh, there's Jalen Hurts with plenty of time. Dumps out to the left-hand side, finds Miles Sanders, uh, although nothing doing there. I think just another couple of yards there for – Manageable third and six slash five question mark. Yeah, some somewhere in that ballpark, which not great. And one of the things I was mentioning, you would you would take in a stroll for a second to get the nice delicious meal. Ah, uh, yes, which I don't yes, blame you yeah, for, right. But they they were spying Hertz early in the last drive, so I would wonder how much that's prevalent, how much Jalen notices it. Are they doing that every down? Does he have that option here? I don't know, but it feels like they are keeping a steady eye on Jalen. Yep, and that's okay. Seven for seven, as it just flashed up on the screen. Wow. I would love uh, for that to continue here is they go empty now in uh, third and five. Jalen Hurts all by himself. Three out to his right-hand side. He is not looking that way. Looks to his left. There we go. Finds Devontae Smith. Another big gain and a first down. <laughs> Gotta love this. I'm so glad I uh, started Devontae Smith over Kyle Phillips. I'm so sorry, uh, Jay Kent, in the Discord. <sighs> yep. Feel much better about it. That's my man. And and look, <laughs> it's it, this is the kind of stuff I was talking about. You get the snap. It's a pretty quick read. You get the ball out of your hands. Now they're doing the tempo thing again. Like right this back is to a, it. Yeah, good place to be. First and 10, Quez Watkins doing the oop-de-oop motion, and Woo! they find Dallas Goddard, Whoa! who tries to stiff arm. Goddard. And uh, is that the oh. over for you guys, a flag on the play? Nah, we're just getting there. Big Pro- steps. Probably in the 25-yard range, I'd think, right now, 20 to 25, because that second catch was pretty short. Uh, Hurt shaking his head so obvious on the Eagles here. Damn. Can't wait to see what they came up with here. Too wide open? Is that the fucking flag? Too wide open? Is this another pick thing? So God damn it is. Three. This is. I'm That's telling three. you. I'm telling you that it's in for this game tonight that they're calling this specifically with this crew. And this only happens when refs get together and say the Eagles do this shit all the time. If they do it, we're calling it tonight. No questions asked. That's uh, why uh, the line's at two. Sam, I was like four yards downfield. Okay, that's. All right, he that, fucked that up. Was, all right. <laughs> Forget everything I said. Yep. For, for that call. But, yeah, say, say them all. <laughs> but I'm still up. right on everything else. Yeah. So they got to they gotta tighten that up. John's really stuck on this uh, NBA. It's, it's, it's yeah. that just damn Netflix special yeah. as Jalen Hurts it. fires A.J. Brown and it doesn't matter. He kind of makes that up right away. It's going to be second and, short. what, four? Yeah. What a great throw. When's the last time they ran the ball? Can anybody remember? Uh, they, did, they did it. I feel like a couple. They got three yards on the first play of the drive. Can but when but when you're thinking about the rhythm of this, like that's a good place to be, you know. Like I've said, if this like a 65-35 kind of thing, and some of that is Jalen running to make up that 35, that's a good spot. Hey, there, look at that! Here that's we go. Nice under center run, which I think is the second or third and time. Another wow. flag! Oh God, you got There's be another me. flag. Okay, I'm telling you. There's another one. <laughs> well, it can't be a legal man downfield. Yeah, there's a the nice little uh, hold right, on the defense. Right, there we go. All right. All right. It's Give me been some like, meatballs, mama. I think it's legitimately been about seven or eight flags already. We're in one. We're one quarter in. Seven or eight flags. Crawling to get out of this first quarter. Thirty-two seconds left, by the way. Is Brutal. it me, or does the Vikings coach just look like Brandon Staley? Yeah. I keep, Kevin, s- yeah. I keep thinking it's Brandon Staley. <laughs> Is that why they hired him? <laughs> they all. Yeah. It's like, oh wow. You no, look you, like a guy who could like fuck Brandon up a quarterback. <laughs> you look like Brandon Staley, and you know Jer, and you know Sean McVay. You're yeah. good. Yeah. I love this pistol again. Uh, Pascal in motion. It's a run play to Boston Scott, basically for nothing. But I really like the so, design so far, guys. Love so it. So they've done two in the pistol and then one in that pony with the offset. 
Pony, that's what I meant to say. Thank you. So they got to keep going back. I think that's a very good well that they're at with that that formation. Yep. Yep. No doubt about it. Uh, yeah, the variety is good, and that's what it is. Like, because part of it is you gotta you gotta think about this too. It's early in the game, so a lot of the things they're doing now they're doing it to set up something later. So okay, how can you get the run stuff going? So all right, some play action stuff and Jalen uh, Jalen hitting AJ over the middle. Those are the kinds of things you're working into. Yep. How does this lead into deep shots or bootlegs where they think it's the handoff and then he's gonna go out wide? So it it's gonna be part of that game's chip. But what do they do on top of this? But the fact that the initial stuff is working and you're pretty much staying on schedule so far. That's what this is all about. So I think really, for now, very encouraging start. Does anyone have any further questions if Jalen Hurts can throw a football? I mean, he's throwing it eight yards now, and he's throwing it in the middle of the field. So, uh, <laughs> oh I mean, my it's, God. it's, a, it's a no and a yes. It's a no and a yes. No and a yes. What are the air yard stats? Uh, I, I don't know. But by the end of this, like, if, if, if we're starting the offensive identity two games in a row by throwing the football, it, like – they're not guessing if he can or cannot do it, guys. That's all I mean. But here. they're changing this is, the this, way that they do it. Yeah, Kirk Cousins but, has thrown three passes and it hasn't looked great. And the Eagles are dominating the Vikings defense. The, the I have no the, more questions. If they continue this, yeah, the narrative will be: well, they're not stretching the field. It, it's it's <laughs> they just because they're, they're playing back. They're playing they're just, three safeties deep. But, but I'm talking yeah. about the, the general public of just moving that. I know. I'm just yelling at them. Of, <laughs> and yell at them in that case. Yeah. Like, I'm, see, and that's that's where I want to be clear about all of this. This is the kind of stuff I wanted them to do last year. This yeah. is what I wanted the offense to be last year. This looks good. Run the ball, short, easy stuff, things on the outside, a couple of passes to the middle of the field. You're running pick plays, you're running slants, those kinds of things are screened about constantly. They're doing it. So that is a good place to be. Then it's, okay, now take your deep shots here and there when they start to cheat in on the middle of the field and this underneath stuff, and you can go over the top. So it's just it's building up to that and taking your shot. So I, yep. it's like I uh, feel, yeah, you're right, Vince. It's yep. like punch out, John. You know mm. punch out very well. That's a <laughs> favorite of yours. It's, but of course. Uh, yeah, it's, it's the same kind of thing. You're following the pattern. You're following the pattern. You're waiting for the moment. Bam. Like that's that's what this is. So are we at uh, King Hippo? <laughs> We're just waiting for the pants to drop, and yeah, then all of a sudden he just most, falls down. Uh, who's the most Kirk Cousins-y guy Ooh, in Punch-Out? good out? question. Well, uh, they're, they're all just racial stereotypes in that game. If you oh, is that right? Oh, they, yeah, 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 you're I'm probably right. I'm pretty sure they are, yeah. <laughs> like the drunk Russian on vodka. You know. Oh, yeah, 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 that makes sense, yeah. Uh, but for uh, Don Flamenco, I guess, right? He was the most annoying one in that game. There you go, that works. <laughs> yeah, I, I, can, I can hear that. Uh, so, uh, big crowd noise. That means good news. I'm very excited about what's happening here on our screens. Uh, Jalen Ryder right, was just uh, We are going, uh, wow, in a, in a weird three-bunch oh, no. set. There's a touchdown coming, oh, everybody. No Here's way. Jalen Hurts. He's, He's back. Fight. He's going to throw it deep. Oh. And it is oh. wide oh. open to Chris yeah. Watkins for a touchdown. Yeah. Eagles. Oh, my God. He crushed his arms. Are you fucking kidding me? Let's go to the Super Bowl, baby. 14 nothing with an extra point coming. Unbelievable. There. There. Unbelievable. He the field. You just said. I just you just said. said there's the fucking uppercut. Bang! Let's go. That is a beautiful thing. That's what this is all about, right? It's balance, balance, balance to keep them off balance. And then once they're not ready Let's for it, Let's see how bad they game. fucked up here. Yeah, somebody so they fucked have, up. They have, I think they're playing four quarters here, which is crazy. So no you've got, uh, oh, no, they're not. Yeah, like, it's just, oh, man. Oh, they spit on Dallas Jesus, Goddard there. That is so awesome. That's, that's great. Jamie, That's they came, exactly what it's supposed to do. <laughs> they came. It's this. So the one thing I will say, <laughs> what just happened? What did I miss? So Hertz was walking around like serious swag. Yeah, just Hertz is like indifference. It's like, yeah, I just threw a 58 <laughs> yard. I hope that's a fuck you to the, enti the entire, I no disrespect to the fan base that bitched about his legs all last week. Sorry. Yeah, that's, that's a good fuck you. I, I think I'm going to take credit for that touchdown. <laughs> yeah, you can. I, I said he needs to stretch the field. <laughs> That's the narrative. That, think, yep, that everybody you, he just there, he crushed it. it. Listen, man. I Oh, sorry. That's what I was going to say. And that's illustrating it right there. I This is my favorite thing in football. What they just ran is out of a mesh set. So it's always three wide receivers. They're all going to run the same way, and they're all just going to like airplanes. So like it's just it's the best thing for this offense. You get people to bite all the time, and look what happened. To your point, they did set them up. They set them up the entire time. What happened? We're going to play back, bang Devontae Smith, bang A.J. Brown, 
bang Dallas Goddard. Fuck this. We're not going to get gashed anymore. I'm going to bite on Dallas. Whoops. That's exactly what happened there. 10 for 10. He has not missed a fucking pass this entire quarter going into the second. Wow. Y'all going to be so wrong. All right. I'll, <laughs> I, I'll say this, John. Oh, God, it feels good, man. It just you'll, feels you'll good. S- you'll say that Russell Wilson uh, was under 50%? Well, yesterday. I'm, I mean, I'm, I'm so right about all of this that clearly I'm still right about Russell Wilson. I just need time. Uh, <laughs> also, I'm going to get slapped in the face in, in six weeks, I think, is, is well, where this is going. Well, I but mean, we'll I mean, see. we'll see. I, what would lead to a draw? Because I really don't want to slap you in no, the face. No, I, I kind of want <laughs> oh, you, you to. Oh, you kind of want to. I, yeah. I mean, a little bit. I, I kind of want you to. I think it'd be fun. The defense um, is playing great right now, though. Can, yeah. we, can, we, can we acknowledge that? Like, no, outstanding. They, for, it, that Vikings didn't have a first down in that quarter. No, it's nice to see. And uh, let's go. Are they getting some push here? Here we go. A little push up the Ooh, middle. A little play action. No there surprise there. A couple of yards. TJ Edwards another, having another really strong game so hey, far, too. Hey, Vince, it's okay. J- Jalen Hurts was just taking oxygen like Russell Wilson would in the Alps. <laughs> so he's trying to emulate Russ is yeah, what you're all. saying. Yeah, there that you is go. all. He God. walked himself into a nightmare, man. He he found a, a quality roster in another city, and it is a fucking nightmare. <laughs> yeah, well, Nathaniel can't hack it. That's yes. the truth. Oh, yes. That, that is, is so the true. absolute truth. Uh, Eagles have had the ball for 12 minutes. That doesn't Five matter. Five down again. Pressure on this. the line. They're lined up over. Okay. Justin Jefferson in motion. They spread out two. Kirk Cousins doesn't really have anybody to throw to, so he's going to run, and he dives head first <laughs> like an idiot. And I believe is just short of the first down, so this will be third and inches. Uh, good coverage, good coverage from the Eagles' defense. Unbelievable. Yeah. They are, man, they are very loud right now. So Because Kirk Cousins isn't a guy that's quick to run. He's capable of it, and he'll do it when he has to, but that's not his goal. That's not what he's aiming to do. So to get a guy like that having to run, yeah, good coverage. Oh, my God. Kirk Cousins is already panicking. I can see it in his eyes on third and one. Oh, there's uh, that guy's hats. pumped. There, there it is. Um, I need one of those hats, man. All right, they're going to get the first so down bad. here. They're going to get the first down here. Flapping eagle. Uh, it's a good play on a jet motion. Wow, really good play. It's Rager. Of course it is. It's a Rager end around. <laughs> of course it is. Oh, he's number five. I didn't yeah. Know. I knew he was going to get a couple. Just like Donovan McNabb was out in uh, in Minnesota. <laughs> it's it's so uh, funny. I mean, that's the only good thing he can do. So, yeah, perfect timing. No, Guy that's still it. has not caught a ball yet. <laughs> no, Pascal, Pascal had a catch. No, I'm talking about Rager. That's oh, all. Yeah, I, you yeah, probably oh, won't see a catch from him yeah, today. I, that's all. No, I, I doubt it. But that's what oh, that, was a, that was a bad graph that they showed for like half a second. Here was uh, Jalen Rager, 21st. <laughs> Justin Jefferson, 22nd. Uh, Kirk Cousins, first and 10 in shotgun. Four wide out. And finds Justin Jefferson, speaking of which, across the middle, first down. And uh, Avante Maddox on the coverage one-on-one there. Interesting. I think you saw Eagles legend Marlon Tua Palatu in there. Fan favorite. Fan favorite. Gotta love that. Jalen Rager getting some water. Much needed. <laughs> he earned it. <laughs> He's exhausted. <laughs> uh, Vikings going a little quick here. They've got three or four wide out to the left-hand side. Oh. Little bobble from Davin, uh, Dalvin Cook. And he's going to lose about two yards there. Nice swarm. Okay. Actually, by Avante and by uh, Edwards there. And that's one of the things that, thinking about where this game is supposed to be and, and the narratives, you know, it's it's like, all right, are they going to tackle well? Are, are they set yeah. up in better positions? Are they going to have clean tackling lanes that are going to capitalize on those tackle opportunities? And right now, so far, tackling has been sharp. Man, and they just showed us a better wide receiver than Justin Jefferson. His name's Stephon Diggs. He scored a touchdown today. Don't want to let people forget that. He's on a whole other planet. Make that two touchdowns. Oh, two touchdowns today. Woo. So there you go. Uh, Dalvin Cook out to the left-hand side. They're trying to find some room, and he does. That Man, really good second effort. That's Madison. Is that Madison? That's oh my Alexander God, my Madison, yeah, who is welcome on this team anytime. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> that, that is true. Yes. Man, what a run by him. Third and six. Uh, crowd is loud. Very loud. Uh, I'm going to let them cue it this. out. It's about time that crowd's loud. Yeah, man, it is Not super loud. We can hear it from here. Again, yeah. we're a 10-minute walk away, and it is blaringly loud. Um, and Brandon it just Graham got quiet, so that's up. not great. Don't no, like what's not. coming. Don't like what's coming, guys, unless okay. it's a timeout. It's going to be a timeout. Ten seconds on the play clock. Make it nine. Make it eight. Please be a timeout. Make it seven. In motion, Jefferson. Make it six. Uh, nope. They're going to run the play. Jefferson and the Cousins out to the left-hand side. Oh, man. One seven. Osborne. Osborne with the... Gain and a lot more. Looks like uh, two first downs on that. That really sucks butt. 
It's a nice play. <laughs> I mean, they do, they do a bunch formation. A sucking butt is a whole different thing. Yeah. But a uh, bunch formation. Jefferson goes, takes some heat. Thielen takes some heat. They set it up for Osborne. That's what that play was Good all about. Play. It was basically a, a two-man pick for Osborne, and they nailed the throw. Defense wasn't really that bad either. Just found the right pocket, right zone. Yeah, some, sometimes stinks. the other team calls a good play. You hate to say it, but it does happen. Now Reddick is sitting back in coverage, which is so dumb, and he's going to blitz most likely, which well, is a waste of all those steps. They are going oh, no, he's in five coverage wide, in and uh, Cousins looking oh, in space. Oh, he's cooked. He's, he's absolutely fucking cooked. cooked. I'm telling you guys, this Reddick thing is not a fit as long as Fletcher Cox is here, and he's just fucking useless until that happens. First and goal, by the way, for the Vikings now. It's like... That's what I'm saying. Like, how do you end up with that? That's like, look at that. Oh, uh, you know, want to know why the Vikings? The Vikings got him there. I think they were right. Like, they just uh, the, uh, it's yeah. a double move because he's going to the outside and then he's cutting it back in. But it, they're looking. I just meant substitutions. My if bad. I'm an offensive clear. coordinator, I'm trying to get Hassan Reddick in coverage, and when I see those matchups, I'm fucking going after him. First and goal. Cousins looking wide wow. open, touchdown, and my goodness. Too easy on that drive for sure. They yeah. had to let the Vikings get back in the game. Gap in the zone, maybe. <laughs> not not sure what happened there, but uh, fantasy darling Irv Smith. Irv Smith Jr. I know a lot of people got excited about him this year, and uh, that was an easy one. Hey, as long as um, as Justin Jefferson is not the guy that's completely killing you so far, I think that's a win. So, but that was just a little bit, a tiny bit of bad luck and just really bad execution uh, uh, right towards the end there. Yeah, and part of it is, like, look, I think Kevin O'Connell is a good coach. From the things I've seen so far, he seems to have a good grip of what the offense is supposed to be, modern offensive principles, getting opportunities for his guys to be open. So if he's a good coach, I mean, sometimes when you got talent, a good coach, they're going to give up points. So it's yep. it, it's part of it just it's just execution, and it's an offensive game. So right now the benefit is you're up 14-7 to seven still, and you don't have to panic. But uh, nice drive by the Vikings. Yeah, and it's just now, like, this is usually, typically, like when you also see their defense, I would assume, start to make an adjustment or two. I would just go, okay, let's start blitzing again because th the funny thing is Jalen is worse under pressure, at least as of note and analytically, than anything else. Like you can see that comfortably. He hasn't missed a pass, and they're letting him – they're just letting him like, I don't think you can throw, kid, and that has not worked out. So I would expect a lot of heavy pressure early – here in the first two downs, uh, Vince Quinn, if I was the Vikings. Yeah, and that that's really the kind of place that they should be is just keep going after Jalen, especially if they're spying to try to sort of trap him, send some yep. pressure and, and see what you can make him do, try to get him to make some mistakes. But for now, it's it's been a pretty clean game, and, and we'll see. I mean, Steichen, like they, the way they telegraphed this game to start was excellent. So what's next? Now that you're off script, what do you have next? And, and we'll see what that is. But also, uh, before we, we get into anything else, yeah. we're going we're gonna to be having Prem in a couple of minutes oh, here. Oh, awesome. So, so before we get Prem on, Jamie, your food is amazing. It is so you're good. You're going to make me fat as shit, and I love you for it. Yeah. And where can people find you and your delicious food? On Instagram, on TikTok. Calf BBQ, C A L F BBQ. It is uh, I tank approved. So yeah. like, can't get much better than that if you don't trust our palates. Like, I I made wings last yesterday for the games. <sighs> if you want to learn how to make wings on the Traeger, I think I figured out a really good way of doing it. So head on over there, learn how to do that. Um, I have some brisket tutorials, rib tutorials. Mm. Uh, that's all I want to do. I just want to teach people how to make barbecue. And Nothing else. I am uh, happy to keep eating what you're teaching us. So, <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Uh, calf barbecue, uh, Jamie. Thank you so much. And if you're a college football fan, uh, definitely worth the follow as well, because like he's the only guy that understands my pain on Saturdays most of the time. So appreciate I, I, that. I just buddy. wish John stayed up till three a.m. for the end of that <laughs> Iowa game. Saturday. I couldn't even do that. Uh, fuck Kirk Ferentz and uh, love to Jamie as always. Yes. So w w one last thing. Yes. Before we end, or before I get out of here. John, what did I tell you about Fletcher Cox the other day? Who who oh. would I take? Oh, oh, shoot. No, yeah, no, I forget. But I uh, told him, I said this before the season started. I would take Jalen Carter from Georgia and <laughs> Brian Brzee from, <laughs> Ooh, right, from Clemson. I That's love right. that. Over yes. Fletcher Cox right, right now. <laughs> and and I think I think Brian Brzee is going to be a stud in this league. Mm. And, you know, well, this leads me to one thing, draft ribs. 
because you gotta you gotta you gotta come and 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 tell oh, us all yeah. the all the prospects that you like mainly by making the the foods and and why you, we need them and uh, you we, got it we can do all that fun you stuff buddy. Deal. all right but you jamie thank you good. so much man absolutely man uh, thank you so much we're gonna be taking lots of video what is this yes. awful we got the awful graphics yes. my favorite part about monday night what the is weird this? graphics yes are they munchkins oh, look at jordan i think jordan they're going Davis. for always sunny i think yeah. they're doing oh, it they always are. sunny they're doing always sunny and uh, jordan davis is charlie oh, day yes on steroids so great del- choice they're always delightfully <laughs> so weird like they're that so was, weird that was always sunny and a claymation almost it was yeah. crazy uh, I don't know who ran it out for the Eagles, but they did a bad job. It is first and ten as uh, Jalen Hurts on the keeper. I think that was actually a bad choice. Uh, They're yes. playing it well. Lost uh, lost yardage there. I don't I don't know why he pulled that down. Miles looked like he had a lane. That was really really bad RPO decision. Doesn't really happen with Jalen that no, often. But Minnesota's going to lose. There's there's plenty of ways to lose. They've decided Jalen Hurts running the ball is not one of them. Yep. He's like if I, I don't know what the the Here. line was for Jalen Hurts yards for example rushing, but I'd be looking at the under right now. I think that's a good call, Vince. That's uh, and I don't think Shane's gonna get out of it right now either. Second and ten. Although, here comes AJ Brown in motion, going left to right. Miles Sanders, <laughs> and uh, has time and he does. And oh, Miles Sanders. Oh, he ran backwards. My God. That was one of the dumbest plays I've ever seen. That'll no happen. offense, Miles. I mean, what am I saying? That's one of the dumbest plays I've ever seen. What's up, Prem? Prem, oh, buddy. why did you do that? <laughs> you what joined the broadcast, and then Miles Sanders decided to catch a football and run backwards for a tackle. Well, Miles Sanders is from the same neighborhood I used to live in. Actually. Really? So why did you do that? Why, why did Miles you Sanders, do that? Why did you make him run backwards? We had Miles Sanders, youth football coach, Scrap Wilson on with us on the Vet Alumni Podcast two years ago. He coached Miles Sanders when he was nine years old. Mm. Scrap said, Wilson is a great name. He's It is. Well, it's John Scrap. But Scrap is a great name. definitely go by coach. Scrap. So, Hold on, fellas. Third and 12. Here's Jalen Hurts. He's got time. And he is scrambling out to his left-hand rolling, side. Rolling, He's rolling, got rolling. Kenny Gainwell. There's a flag on the play, so I'm sure that's going to go... Against the Eagles it's like somehow. The 30th this game. That's never good when that happens. <laughs> so, uh, Prem, what it, was it Scrappy? Scrap Wilson. Scrap Wilson. Scrap Wilson is the Swissvale, it's like a township in Pittsburgh, Swissvale, PA, and he's the youth football coach there. And he coached Miles, and he, he said that his Miles' brother was better than him. Ah. Believe it or not. But Where's Miles', Miles brother? I can right now, believe that. I'll tell <laughs> you. I can believe that. But Miles' brother ended up being a successful <laughs> music producer. So, uh, wow. by the way, illegal contact uh, on the Vikings looks like uh, Devontae okay. Smith got yep. just, man, I mean, I got to be honest with you. That That's is pretty incredibly ticky tech, but whatever. It's been called both ways. So, automatic first down. Uh, crowd seems awfully quiet. I think that's a good, good sign for now. First and 10. They go heavy bunch set. There go. goes A.J. Brown from left to right in motion. And here comes the loss of yards there. from Miles Sanders against a professional run-stopping team. Mm. Mm. All right. Well, not doing so well off script so far, not I would great. say. Not the, great. The phenomenal early. Little struggle the last <laughs> couple of drives here. Let's see if they can. Can, can we go back something. to the deep passes and the nice yeah. big comebacks and all you know, that? They, was working great. They get up 14-0, and I'm thinking to myself, <laughs> the, the – Vikings are going to go down the field and score a touchdown here. Yep. Uh, and I had a feeling we'd have to keep scoring. You just hope that Steichen has more than his scripted plays in his back he pocket. He does not. He does not, because that's Nick Sirianni. Well, I don't like him that, that And Here's Jalen Hurts, second and 12 with a nice yeah. foul. Oh, oh, and an incomplete catch just he in and ball. out of the hands of Dallas Goddard. And, uh, man, the over. safety, the over. Uh, the safety, give it safety, the take it away. Almost hit right there. Taylor why. screaming for the over, so close. We're f- we're feeling for you, man. We're feeling for you. I gotta say, couldn't put the ball anywhere else, right? You guys agree? Disagree? No, it's a ni- it's a nice play. He's throwing it over two guys. Goddard's fully capable of going up and getting it. We've seen him do it a million times. It's just like it, it's a tough, tough play. I mean, he's coming down it in traffic, three turned around. Whoever that is, he made he made a nice play on the ball. So, just gotta give him credit. Cameron Denzel Denzel, your senior. Denzler? That's probably wrong. Oh, uh, third and 12, Big then. play. Big early play. Three bunch set again for the Eagles. Plenty of time for Jalen Hurts. Looks, fires underneath oh. to Zach Pascal to the 30. And uh, that's, that's probably going to do it for fourth down and a punt. So here comes the momentum switch, guys. I think guys. they adjusted. I think they adjusted You're on learning. defense. They adjusted on the defense. The momentum. No, no, Prem. It's just momentum. Right, there, there's mo- no is, adjustment. Well, Prem, I want to ask you something. Real. Is momentum real? It is. It is. Thank you. It is. Thank However, you. I want to remind you of the early Andy years. Andy would do this a lot. 
we would get up 14 nothing. all of a sudden, it's 17-17. Yep. And I feel like I'm watching early Andy teams when I watch this Eagles team, but that makes me excited because early Andy teams turned into better Andy teams. And That's true. Yes. And uh, Jalen Rager this time with a uh, fair catch. So. I'm not saying that Sirianni is Andy because that's insulting to Andy. However, Sirianni has the potential to surprise everybody in the fan base. You know he what? Might look good in the Hawaiian shirt. Uh, <laughs> the man who's being uh, well, just to bring it up again. I'm out of, out of curiosity, Prem, because I don't think I ever asked you this. Dick Vermeil is getting uh, honored at halftime. I actually see Dick Vermeil in Nick Sirianni in terms of character, person. I don't know about X's nose and all that other crap yet, but like, uh, I think he has a very good chance to remind a lot of people of new age Dick Vermeil. I think you're right. They're both young coaches at that point. I know Vermeil had experience with the Rams prior to coming here, right? Uh, he was on the Rams first. I, believe. I think that's right. And he was, uh, you know, he was a young guy trying to take over a team that was pretty bad. So there's a comparison there. Because when Vermeil took over the bad, birds, they were right. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, in the seventies, they were pretty porous. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but I, I think there's a comparison, there's a parallel. The only issue really is for me is Sirianni doesn't have the moxie that Vermeil had. I don't know. I uh, like because he has those moments, right? Wasn't there a time? It was the preseason game when Jalen got hit. He got that dirty hit in the preseason. Yeah. Yeah. He Sirianni, was fired up. He was fired up. He went off, and everybody was like, "Oh, I like this Sirianni." Yeah. And yeah. women were like, "I'm attracted to the Sirianni," and it was just a whole thing. So uh, that's true. He's, he's got those moments. But there's also, if you plant a seed, that flower will grow. That's but that the, worked that's out. The line but that's that what I'm saying. It's, 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 I, I, I hear you, John. I think that there's a nice comparison. They're both young coaches with, like, you know, a lot of uh, the emotional NFL intelligence stuff. part. I guess. I like more that. Or less. Yeah, yeah. yeah I, I like that Sirianni's kind of like a sensitive guy, and that he's gonna look out for his players. He's rocking their shirts. People get on him for that, but I like it. If you're you're gonna coach a team, you want to empower your guys. How do you empower your guys besides showing them that you have confidence that they could perform? T-shirt sales. You buy their shirts, <laughs> you buy their hats. And then I they think, get injured, I think you throw it, a little patch like on. Twenty two yeah. ninety five at a time. <laughs> Which, by the way, Bell and the Birdman shirt. It's available. Bell and the Birdman dot com. <laughs> oh, uh, absolutely. Serious note. Tomorrow morning, hoodies are on sale. Just from me to you. Yep. Just throwing that out there. Philly sports. It's that season. Shirts. It's that season, John. Dot com. I know we're getting officially into fall, so like, yeah. gotta have them ready. And uh, I'd rather be wearing our stuff than, uh, you know, anybody else's. Maybe you want to, too. I need a new hoodie, too. Yeah. I've just had, like, the same hoodie I've been wearing for, like, four years, and it's getting a little <laughs> run down. You know what I mean? Uh, it's just like, all right, breaking it's news. To it there he is. Breaking there news. Is. Breaking uh -oh. news. Breaking news. Uh, A.J. Brown to the medical tent. No. Not great. No. Bryce Harper's there tonight. Next to Mike Trout. you got to be kidding me. Bradley Cooper's there tonight. <laughs> Who else is there tonight? James Harden's oh, hanging out. Damn. And, uh... Quinta Brunson. Yo, she's awesome. Big Quinta Brunson fan. Big Quinta Brunson fan. She's Abbott Elementary. Quinta. She's an Eagles fan. Is she? I, guess. I have no idea. Well, her show, oh. Abbott Elementary, is about the Philly public oh, schools. Oh, Abbott Elementary. I haven't watched that yet. Wow. Yeah, that's why that's a good show. Part. It's a good, like, you're getting a network sitcom, but it's a really good network sitcom. Uh, so, guys. Justin uh, Jefferson on the uh, f uh, first play, by the way, about uh, five yards up AJ, to the left. AJ Brown going to the medical tent is not good for my parlay. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> so, I cashed it out. Okay. We weep for Prem. <laughs> just in case. Oh, you cashed it out. All right, <laughs> Just there you in go. case. Uh, wow. Uh, Dalvin Cook just fell over on second and three, which was nice, and I think... His butt gained a yard. Well, the Bills are hammering the Titans as expected. Which, yeah, definitely as expected. The Titans suck. I wonder if they miss A.J. Brown. They're going to lose yeah. probably 12 <laughs> games this year, Tennessee. I can't wait. I can't wait. I wouldn't be shocked. They suck. The division stinks, too, so that might third help. And two, they third and two, the crowd is very loud outside of the link right now. As yeah, you Cousins can see, can't cousins. hear. Look at them. And wow, I hear big loud. cheers. Yeah. I hear Come big on. cheers, everybody. Come on. Something and not the type about that's just, uh, you know, like, meh, meh, I feel an incompletion coming. The best spoiler. Come like. on, baby. Come on, incompletion. Where's Patrick Robinson? Oh, they are him. on the line. I love this. Here comes the pressure. Yes, semi. Get in there. Ah, what yeah. a play. Ah, what a play, 5-7. Textbook seven. defense. Dude. Textbook defense. Yo, they need to pay TJ a lot more than they're TJ paying him right now. TJ is a good player. They just extended him a year ago, right? He's they just gave him that yeah. tender a year ago? They need to... I said, can I just say again for like the ninth time in a row, Reddick has a one-on-one -on -one matchup, which is what you asked for, and he can't fucking do it. I'm so sick of looking at this. He needs to be stacked behind a defensive lineman. Please give him space. Absolutely. What man. a waste of fucking money this is. Why are you not using him the right way? It reminds me of DeMarco Murray running out of shotguns. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? That's exactly what's like happening. Like using oh, the, wrong, the guy the wrong way.
If Hassan Reddick becomes DeMarco Murray, I'm going to be so sick. I can't believe I'm complaining on a, after a third and two stop, by the way. Here's Britton Covey. <laughs> uh, from the, the 10th. I like this kid. To He's the got 15th, quickness. And surrounded by nothing but white and purple. Well, Rager would have let it bounce. And they're claiming fumble. There's a little fighting nah. over it. No, no, no. Everyone can go F themselves in the A's. Whoa. And there's a toss yeah, here, come, here comes some laundry. Uh, no. it's gonna be home, cooking, flag. home cooking, no, home cooking, no home flags, cooking, home cooking. No flags. No flags. Wow, home that's no flags. a miracle there's no flag on that. Um, well, when you're the host of the party. <laughs> uh, AJ Brown uh, uh, back in here, so I guess it wasn't that big of a deal. Well, I All shouldn't right. have cashed out my bet then, should I, gentlemen? Probably, probably not. You made a mistake, Tram. It's okay. But well, what was the parlay? Someone by the way? scared me with the uh, AJ Brown to the medical tent talk. Well, just you know, just let getting everybody know. I'm sorry, I just cost you money. I hope. No, 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 no. I not. still won. I still oh, cashed okay. out right. for uh, as a ten dollar bet, fifty dollars back. That's fair. Oh, there you go. That's fair. Would have been two twelve, but I'll Whew. take it. It's excellent. Now, a quick point on the game here, just in terms of the flow of this, and something I did not expect to say, but the defensive coverage has really been the star so far. Absolutely. I mean, been. they've had we've yeah, seen yeah. three different plays where the coverage has been right behind the guy, getting in front, swatting it down. Yeah. Like that's textbook shit. Yeah. And it's not easy to do that, and they've done that with three different players. I think it's been Slay, Bradbury, and TJ Edwards. That is phenomenal. It has. You know what I think happened this week, guys? I think in the locker room, they got behind their defensive coordinator and said, listen, this is our guy. Like, play for this guy. These these this, these fans are berating Gannon. The, the media is berating Gannon. Can he do it? But we missed 14 tackles in week one. <clears throat> Let's get our defensive coordinators back. Let's play hard. I hope because because if they get his back, then his schemes I will work. I, I think well, Fletcher Cox I, hates I, him. That's I mean, our theory. They, yeah, there's. Did you hear? Well, I talked about this is on the show. The, that's the story. Did, that's Les, our theory. Les yeah. Bowen asked him a direct question. Like Does this defensive coordinator put all the guys in the right place or whatever it is? And he just dead looked at him and said, "It's tough to win in the NFL." Da -da 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 -da. Oh. And I was like, "You gave him that answer, and everybody just blew by it this week." Which so I thought Fletch was will, Fletch will be going by the deadline, is what you're telling me. Yeah, well, yeah, and there was a chance last year. Remember that because there was the whole thing of like maybe he goes to Cleveland and he had some problems with Gannon last season. So yeah, we're thinking, yeah. all right, maybe that's that's still lingering. But Cox took the money, which makes sense. Like, right, oh right, no, Vince, right. it's totally cool now. They figured out. They shook hands. They had tea. It was great. <laughs> it's not a problem anymore. Has yeah. anyone been looking at the defensive <laughs> line play tonight yet? Yes, because so I haven't been looking enough at the defensive line. I'm looking at skill positions. It's been. Uh, I mean, mostly five, five down. Uh, and not, yeah. They only sent somebody once, I think, right? But they've well, they've had the oh, five than guys lined right, right, up. Right. You know what I mean? So they've had five man fronts a couple of times, and that's how they've played it. So they've essentially yeah, yeah. sent a guy a couple of times. But uh, for the most part, I, I, they've been able to break through a little bit. It hasn't been enough, obviously, to like really disrupt a play. It's been okay in run coverage, but not as spectacular. Man. Yeah, the D line is the key. You want to know why Monday Night Football is not as good? This broadcast is so fucking sloppy. It's unbelievable how many bad, like, <laughs> missed graphics there has been, bad camera cuts. It's not just, you can't just bring Joe Buck and everybody over there and have some fun as Jalen Hurts. Come on, 85 yard drive. Let's go. Let's go. 85 yard drive. Let's go. 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 let us go let us go just a nice, nice slant route from Devontae Smith and then the yak from that man. Mm. Let's just say Smitty with the visor. Here I'll we go. A little tempo. First and ten. Five wide. I absolutely love that it says, fine, you want to shut down the RPO on the run? We're going to go right back at you. Here's Jalen Hurts from his own 35-ish. Fires. Throws to oh, the right-hand yeah. side. Open. Boom. In the middle of the field, Vince Quinn. And I believe that was Quez Watkins. Did I get that right? I didn't see the number. Uh, Smitty again. Smitty again. Another big game. Well, he had no catches he's last back. week, so it's a big night he's for back. Smitty tonight. Yeah, Got to get him the ball. He's in the ballpark of 50 yards at this point. Now they're all going to complain that A.J. Brown didn't get the ball enough, right? <laughs> right. That's what happens. Right. Yeah, Unbelievable. That's, that's what they well, will you do. Ta you take what the defense gives you. Real quick, I believe that's Boston Scott in the right-hand side. Check me on that. Yeah, yes. that, that's Boston. Four wide receivers. Otherwise, Jalen, plenty of time. Go he's going to go deep. All. Down to the left-hand side. He has got well, A.J. Crowd, but the crowd over. didn't roar, so we know it just by a little bit. The crowd would have roared. I would say we're about two... Good two yards ahead of him, and uh, man, that that uh, who's that safety again? That yeah, number uh, three, Harrison keeps... Smith. Nah, I, 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 he's nah. still there. He's uh, Jalen Hurts, ninety percent passing, almost two hundred yards, and a touch on the ground, touch through the air. This guy is a franchise quarterback. I'm saying it on the show. <laughs> John loves hearing that. I still, yeah, and he's look, he's he's looking better. He's a this franchise year. quarterback.
He's looking better this year. I can't say that yet, oh, but wow. he's looking better this year. There's oh, a reason wow. why Vegas has his second best odds to I'm win the NFC. To Here we go. It. I'm starting to believe Second it. and ten from the he's 50. He's showing you everything you want to see. It is a quick see. draw to Boston Scott up the middle. All day. To the 40, All day. To the 35. 35 for 35. Let's go. <laughs> Vince, is there anything tonight that could convince you otherwise? No, it's week two. Wait, of the wait, season. I got Taylor on the mic. Wait, wait. There's, oh boy, there's nothing it's... that could convince you otherwise tonight. I mean, what? I saw Tua throw six touchdowns today oh, on Sunday. He did. He go. did. He I'm did. just saying he did. Like nobody's like, oh my God, Tua is Against... he? A, is he a Pro Bowler or whatever? All yeah, Pro? Like that's are... a different comparison. It's, but no, but it's uh, they're they're young guys that are still figuring Boston's it out. Boston Scott goes it's nowhere on first down. By the way, I got. I still. <laughs> I just. I can't. I can't suddenly flip a guy as not franchise guy to franchise guy in a half of a well, game. Well, listen. I let me just bring something to your attention. Aaron Rodgers scored seven points on this defense last week. You already are on track for 28 points yeah. against the same defense with a quarterback with far less accolades than Aaron Rodgers. I know you have better weapons on the outside. Way better, way better offense to all across but the board. if you're telling me All right, well, hold on. Jalen Let's see Hurts if he can make some Aaron accolades Rogers. right now, fellas. Second and 11. Three wide for Jalen Hurts to the right-hand side. It's another quick draw to Miles Sanders, all who day. does find some shuffling room up and close to the first nice down marker. Down I'm going to say up. third and uh, one and a half yards on this. Uh... A lot of draws here. What do you think of this, Vince Quinn? Kind of dig it. Yeah, I, I don't mind it. And, like, this is the thing. It's it's all about finding that balance. You're running five wide for a little bit. All right, now the pass rush gets aggressive. You run a draw. You go fight that. So when they when they have to hesitate and start thinking about everything you're doing, because when they feel like <laughs> they finally got that sense, you're Still changing that it on stat them. real quick. That's amazing. Jason that? Kelsey has 161 starts. The whole Vikings team has 150. <laughs> Amazing. Crazy. Third and two. Dallas Goddard shuffles back just behind the offensive line. They run ah. pistol, and we've got ah. a All day. big ah. Jalen Hurts run to the right to the 15. He's going to keep it going to the five. No He's way. still fighting, and he gets He's over in. the line. No Are you He's fucking in. kidding me? He's in. Put him up. Touchdown. Woo. Call it 21. Let's Unreal. Go. Did, the Viking, did the fireworks go yes. off in the middle of that? That's that is why, so that's amazing. Touching. Franchise quarterback. Bits. I don't care how much he throws or how much he runs. That man can play football. If you're not on fucking board right now, where you been for Get two years? Board. I've been yelling at you for two years that this was going to happen. He's the guy. <laughs> he's a winner. You want a winner. He's, he's what Randall Cunningham was trying to be. This is, this is exactly what everyone, this is the biggest mistake that they made against Aaron Rodgers. Because Aaron Rodgers can't run, all the Vikings DBs, they send turn back, up, back. they go back, yeah. and it, there is 10, 15 yards it's a clip. I don't know if you saw that against Green Bay, too, but, man, just so much wide open space. Vince Quinn, you have nailed this ever since we were talking about the ebb and flow of the first quarter, honestly. Like, no, that part of it you have done. Like, this is – they are setting up the Vikings defense left and right. They are, quote, unquote – to quote, well, actually, Xavier Rose, they are scheming their ass to death right now, Ooh. and I love it. Yeah, pl look, play calling is is as good as it's ever been for this team right now with wow. this, with these guys. It's as good as it's ever wow. been. And, like, that's why all this stuff mixes together, right? Coaching's doing a great job. Jalen's making good plays. Is he on the road to being a franchise guy? Yes. There games. it is. That's but on that, the road that to is, a franchise yes. QB. That, is, <laughs> that matters. <laughs> like, how, how far down the road? Did he just start driving or talk to talk to me? No, I mean last year. A couple exits out. I, I always said he's got a shot. You know, I always like I haven't completely ruled him out. I've been skeptical, but I haven't ruled him out. And and the way he played last week, the way he's playing this week, and frankly, again, I will say this: it is the offense I've been yelling at them to run from the moment he's been the main starter with this team. Now that they're running it, he looks really fucking good. So Nick Sirianni, Julian Lurie, you're welcome. I'm gonna say this: follow the money, right? You always got to follow the money no matter what. Las Vegas has the Eagles as the second best odds to win the conference. And that's the money. They're putting their money on. The Eagles are second. I don't even know who's first. I'm guessing it's L.A. I'm guessing it's Tampa or L.A. I don't yeah, even know. So it's got to be one of those. So two. Fuck if, if the money is telling you that this guy has a trajectory that is on par with a Super Bowl winning quarterback, then you follow the money. And they have more information than we have. Yeah. And that comes down to information. Matthew McConaughey said it best in Two for the Money. It's about how much information you have. <laughs> this, I love that. I, love I, Prem, I love that you're just pulling quotes out of Two for the Money. Yeah, that, <laughs> and I love that. It's true. Follow the money. Jalen Hurts is a franchise is quarterback. I'm tired of fans that are just waiting to get on this kid because he's not a prototypical pocket passer. The kid's a winner. When you're a winner, you find a way to get the first down. You find a way to score the ball. You find a way to win. He's a winner. And a winner will adapt and evolve. 
Man, because he's a winner. Prim, I'm going to tell you right now. I'll tell you what's not a winner. Whatever they're just displaying on, on on Hulu <laughs> with Johnny Knoxville and, and God knows cause. whatever that he's was. He's a lost cause. Unbelievable. But I do agree with literally everything else you said. I know Thank it, you. it sounds – see, that's what I'm saying. I, I, I get it. We have a tendency as Eagles fans, and I am one of them. And I it, like when when it's something sounds like Kool Aid or someone sounds like right. it's juicing it up. Everybody just retracts from it. It's like, no, it can't be true. My partner, but man, technique included. Uh, <laughs> yes, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, he's a uh, main offender. I love tech. Um, <laughs> I just this is this is every criticism from what happened last week has been pretty much answered there. Now, Absolutely. consistency is always going to be yep. like where we we were on this trek with Carson Wentz. We all thought everything was good. Yes, it was a unique situation, and we're going to say hello to him. I can't wait for Jalen Hurts to play Carson Wentz next week. First oh, of all. Oh, I'll be uh, in a stance. I'll be in a stance. This is easing my mind in terms of the team overall, though. Like, we'll, 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 we will continue to be, uh, debate Jalen, but, like, Vince, this is, this is, this is a top five NFC team. It is. Yeah, it well, play, they're playing three. like one through uh, six quarters or oh, so. Oh, yeah, yeah. No, I, yeah, hey, sure. I, I told you it's the best roster in the NFC. I'm all in. I mean, it's just, is the coaching good enough? Tonight, it's kicking ass. Uh, it tonight, is kicking it's kicking ass. ass. In front of the world, to, for the world to see, and I'm glad that Jalen has a chance to answer the detractors for the world to see because this is what it takes. The world has to see you do it, and no one's seen him do it either oh, because man. he hasn't done it or uh, they haven't seen it. I, I am hearing... Lots of noises already, and we haven't seen Kirk Cousins take the field on television. So, first play is going to be good, fellas. Muffed kickoff, maybe. Yeah, I'm excited about this. Here we go. Here's a snap. There's Cousins. He's back, and he is sacked. He's back. eating up. Swallow. <laughs> Swallow. Oh, and oh, a, flag a flag right away. That's Josh that's weak. Sweat Fuck really weak. gets the, gets really the weak. sack, but. We have a 10-second delay. I count it. A 10-second delay. Okay. From the, that's not bad. From, from the yell to the flag. And here comes the booze, so definitely on the Eagles. Man, they are really taking their time. Well, what I saw was the gentleman struck him in the leg, then got up and, oh, no, personal foul, face mask. How on earth can you get a face mask on the on a sack? Let's just say this. Adam <laughs> Thielen shut out so far. Which is, which is nice. James oh, Bradbury so wait, he got, out he, got, he got a face mask on the sack? Uh, oh, man. He had him, too. It was unnecessary. Yeah, it's clean. I mean, it's clean face mask view. <laughs> so you got to throw the flag. Clean face mask view. All right. You know what? Rough him up. I'm okay with that. You're up by 14. Rough him up. You know what? Hit him, hit him in the midsection next time. <laughs> That's right. Just <laughs> kick him in the junk. Go yeah. low on this guy. Yeah. All right. So there's 15 and a fresh. Well, I mean, not that it was fresh anyway. First and 10. A little uh, jet motion here. And Blow out to the left-hand side. Oh. And fumbled away. <laughs> uh, incomplete. Pitch. Incomplete. Yep. I got excited. All right. A little sloppy <laughs> it's there. It's okay to get excited, John. Now, <laughs> all right. Three timeouts. You got three timeouts. It's second and ten. There is Josh potential. Allen is a man. Another. Hey, he throws Stephon another Diggs, by the way. Touchdown. Three to Four. Oh, three touchdowns. Wow, My this bad. This is what I need to win this fantasy game, fellas. Uh, That's in fantasy. It's that's, that's ridiculous over <laughs> here. Two, two yeah. Monday night it's, blowouts. It's two ridiculous. Monday night blowouts. We could. I, I like where you're thinking, T. Uh, oh, there's a big. All yeah. oh, right, oh, we got yeah. ten seconds to glory here. Okay, twenty-one-seven. I, I like that. <laughs> <laughs> One forty-one. The Eagles' defense about to wreck shop on this play as the Vikings are from their own thirty-five. Here comes Sweat Ooh. around the bed again. It's a throw and. It is, oh, oh my God, oh. avoiding disaster. Is that Marcus Epps making a big play, just interfering with the eyesight and the hand-eye coordination. <laughs> yes, there sure. you go. Sure. That's what that is. That's, or a couple of flies. The, that's safety play. Getting that's into what you Irv want your Smith's. safety to do. You don't want your safety to get beat on that. You're, you want your safety to get enough in the eyes of the receiver. I he think got he's, beat on he that. got screwed up. No, he Epps, screwed Epps up. was the safety. No, the look, hold on, hold on. We'll see right here. We'll yeah, see right here. Yeah, he's the right over-the-top guy. Yeah, he screwed up. What are you talking about? He fucked up. He got burned. He oh, was, it's Chauncey. Oh, it's Chauncey. That's okay. Way, Chauncey you know, what I'm saying, the hand in the face, that, that's the difference. Well, yeah. The hand's in the face. Yep. That's, that's the literally it. I don't know if it was the hand in his face. Third and ten. All right. Third and ten. Empty set. Yeah. I feels like the Vikings are going to convert this because the Eagles <laughs> oh. got quiet. And there's the throw to yeah. nobody. So never mind. <laughs> I are love it. Are they muted sometimes over Get there? Get off the field. And uh, here we go. Yeah, hold on. Let me fix that. All right. Uh, they're unmuted. They're unmuted. Uh, so with a uh, a minute and thirty one left, Nick Sirianni's holding up his. Oh, he just said, "What the fuck? Where, are you talking where's the about? intentional grounding at? Who's the where's the receiver uh -oh. at?" Oh yeah, fair. 
All right, Chauncey, uh, that's a blitz. He's that's outside the nice pocket, though. He's outside the pocket, right? Oh, uh, I don't that's know. That's why they didn't throw the flag. He was just outside the hash bar. No. They're going? No, they're punting. They're punting. No, they they're can't punting. They they're can't just in the... Yeah, the, they're getting the, the, the ball dumb. at half. It'd be every special team coach look that way. thinks they're they're so cool. Um, <laughs> Who's okay, that? we're gonna come out and <laughs> rush the line on Brooklyn, and we're gonna punt the ball. <laughs> Fucking hate that, uh, Joe Just, Judge. Yeah, here's the punt away to Cubby. What do you think he Joe better Judge let that go right now. Probably crying in his soup. Oh, that's a good punt. Wow, that's uh, a great punt. All right, gentlemen, uh, real quickly oh, with with 121, I'm gonna use the facilities because the uh, water and the deliciousness is. Uh, does anybody else need uh, need the facilities or water? No, by the I'm, way, I'm gonna go fill up uh, our water bottle. Yards pale ale if the bar still is. All right, I will. Uh, does anybody need anything to drink? Are we good. No, I'm good? I'm good. All right. Yeah, I'm good, man. Uh, if you just want to fill up the water I'm maybe totally on the way back, that. That, would, that would work for me. Billy's baseball park all green. That's a nice touch. Oh, wow. Yeah, that is a nice touch on the TV. You can see Citizens Bank Park. The whole thing is like this really nice, bright green. It's almost a Kelly green, which That's is really what's going to be the yeah. default in 2024. I like that. I like uh, that they're bringing that back, Vince. Yeah, it's a, it's a really good look. So here we go, folks. I mean, we, minute 21 here. Eagles, by the way, they're on like their own two. This, is a, this was a deep fucking punt. It was. And what we're looking at, three timeouts for the Eagles. So they've got all their timeouts trying to get down the field here. Jalen Hurts is going to be in the shotgun because he's always in the shotgun. You're, yeah, yeah. But three he's, points. Three he's points. He's starting here. shotgun in his own end zone. Jalen Hurts receivers. on the goal line, four wide and a tight end. And he's just going to run right away. And wow, they had so much space. Minnesota did not see that coming. When you have three timeouts, you can get away with that kind of shit. And they shit. better take it right here, so, right? So, uh, not taking a timeout. Let's see what happens here. If not, they got to get moving. They're they're pretty lackadaisical right now. The clock is ticking. I so think no. you should be going to make this. A, you should be going for a field goal here. Your, uh, your this, plan is, is a coach. this is not acceptable, though. I don't understand what Sirianni is, way is too doing. Slow. I'm confused. If, this I'm, is if I'm the coach here, I'm going for three points. This and you have a kicker that can kick a 61 yard field goal. We've seen it happen. So, you should be going for three points here. You're just not taking it to the, the half. Go up three scores. Go up three scores. Put the foot uh, yeah, on the throat. hustle. There's 10 seconds the left on the play on the clock. Throat. They're just running the ball. That's Vince. that's an embarrassment. I don't know what the I hell they're doing here. I don't understand three timeouts after, while you're doing that. After, you can get away with that run call if you're calling a timeout off no, the that's, spot. No, that's goofy. But that is goofy. Yeah, to waste another, like, 30 seconds and then run a run? After you, that? You take a shot, you get a pass interference. You take a shot, Vince, you get a pass interference on a well-designed play. Yeah, and, you're, and you're in field goal range immediately on a bomb with a well-designed play pass interference. That's what you're going for oh, here look as, a, at as this. a play caller. You, yeah, you got to look for some opportunities oh as, as we're seeing play-by-play -play of Jalen Hurts in a singlet in high school. That does wow. not look like Jalen. Is he pressing 500 pounds in high school? Holy crap. Here's his whole team going nuts as he's getting ready this on another shoot. This dude huge. is a monster. That barbell just bent in half, it looks like. He My is a monster. God. Look at, look at these numbers. This is a better's dream. How much can you guys squat? Uh, <laughs> I, I do it once or twice a day, usually after my coffee. I yeah, got a yeah. back that's, injury, that's Taylor. <laughs> I can't do squats. I got a back injury. Yeah, I, I've never even tried. I'm 39 uh, years old in a week. So we, no got, we got two body weights. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's, I'll hold the bar on the side. Yeah, I'm, I'm happy I'm to do that. that. I'm down for that. Jalen actually throws a pass in a two-minute drill because who knows what the fuck is going on. I have on. no idea what just happened. I, I don't know either. I mean, at least they tried to throw the ball there. But now you, you went from having a minute 23 timeouts and having a successful first play to now second and 10, 33 seconds. Right. And two right. timeouts. You wasted, uh, I mean, way too much time. Y you're supposed to be playing for three points here, and that's the goal. You just want to get 50, 60 yards from where they started the drive and kick a field goal. And the fact that Sirianni wasn't even trying to get a pass interference downfield bewilders me. Yeah, or at least try to throw something on the sideline and said that they're their own 16 and handing it off again. They, they just gave up. Wow, and they, now, they Minnesota, now Minnesota's going to get the ball back. They because didn't they try. can take their timeouts, and Minnesota's going to get a chance they at a should. Jalen Rager punt return touchdown. Oh, Doug, And dude. you know what? Because right, this is the Eagles. Drunk. Because th I'm fine. No, it's because <laughs> this is the Eagles. The Eagles. I'm going to say that Jalen's going to have a chance to go return here, and that makes me sick. Man, I, I just well, I'm just saying because I don't trust Rager at all on a return. But oh, so what the a Bills get blowout. a pick six. Yeah, wow. Bills look like they just got a pick six. That game is a joke. This the spread was two and a half points on this game, guys. What? Really? Two and a half. Tennessee's awful. Four Ooh. and a half at one point, maybe. Well, everyone knows now Tennessee's awful. I think that just got made abundantly clear. Also, Buffalo is holy shit good. Well, they got to convert this now. You have to convert this now. Well, you, you convert this now, and then you can also run, I don't know, another 25 seconds off the clock just for no reason and what hand it off. On, uh, what happened on second down? John, uh, when they, you were gone, they stopped. They didn't play the game right. This drive has been shit. 
It's been absolute shit. It's a complete embarrassment. I have no idea what they're doing. Oh, the wow. two-minute drill last week was not great either. There even it is. Though they Six got and a nice strike to Devontae Smith, well, now though. Now you have a chance at your field goal. Now, Time one out. more 25-yard pass, and you can kick a field goal. Time out. It'd be nice if you had another, you know, 30 seconds on the clock Wait so you could scramble so, or. So you're telling me they didn't call. Did they call a timeout after Jalen's they, scramble no, on the first down? No, they, they let called, the clock run. They let the clock run and then called another run play is what they did. So welcome back. That's good what they man. did. Yeah, can't wait it was to a see complete joke. Again. Jamie, good seeing you, brother. So, yeah, uh, two-minute drills stunk. Maybe they can salvage this still, but if they do, it's it's not a testament to the coaching. It's a fucking joke. This has been so bad. <laughs> wow. All right. I'm really surprised that uh, they just let this second half end this way. Yeah. Or the first half end this way. Five receptions tonight for Devontae. They're throwing that up, which is very nice for my you, fantasy you, you team. You may as well take shots now. I mean, what else are you going to do? I think like, they probably will. They're from their own 40 here. 304 yards to 90. Oh, I know it's guys. coming. Wow. I know it's coming right here. You're going to see the Dallas old Goddard. Texas route from Kenny Gainwell where it goes this way and then across the middle again for hopeful field goal coverage across the 50. Let's see it, Kenny. Let's see it, Kenny. There he goes. Show me, Kenny. Uh, oh, and is that All to right, Dallas? Get out, Dallas. Get and out. a baby. Give I me love three that. points. And they weren't even trying to get three. That's how good this offense can be. I they weren't even trying to kick a field goal. <laughs> All right. Over. Hey. Hooray. Yes. Congratulations to uh, hope that holds up. You hit the over for, the for, over. Uh, for uh, wide receiving yards. I, All right, so we got a timeout. We got 15 seconds. This is thanks to getting out of bounds. Oh, thanks for taking notes too, buddy. Uh, that's what our, I do. Our, man. our scrambled egg brains at the end of the show would have been terrible. Yeah. Thank no, you. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, we got noise. We oh, got noise, everybody. On. We got noise as they are going Ten three seconds. wide. Ten seconds. Kenny Gainwell, we have got uh, Dallas Goddard in the slot to my left. Kenny Gainwell to Jalen Hurts' is right. Here he is in shotgun. The snap. Decent amount of time. He looks. He throws. Woo. He's got it over the middle. And a that, catch to Mark woo. Pavaro slash Dallas Goddard like for a first down. <laughs> I like it. Seven and six and five. Make it four and three. And I believe that's where they'll take the timeout. There out, you go. Because that's all it takes to kick a field goal. Wow. So this will end soon as wow. it hopefully hits the uprights. Wow. Well, there we go. Not they hits. Get three goes through. All, Vince. They all right. No, they, I mean, look, they got lucky. They got like Minnesota just totally blew that because they had every opportunity to shut that down. I mean, the, the, the Eagles were thrown 16 with like 25 seconds left. That's just. God, he took the hit, too. Good for them. I mean, so just want to point out, points. Jalen Hurts has not left the pocket under pressure, has stayed in there and taken a hit every time that a ball like that has been able to be delivered. Y'all gonna have to come up with me with something better on Tuesday. <laughs> Jalen's Not the you, guy, I'm man. Just saying, Jalen ain't you, going nowhere. He ain't going guys nowhere. Are gonna have to come up with something a lot better than can't throw now. This team's gonna be twelve and five this year. That was my that was my prediction. I said, I said eleven and six, best. but I'm adjusting after a two and zero start. Hopefully, I like to, twelve and five. Yeah, I like him five. to be in the conversation of MVP. He probably won't, he won't win it. No, he but won't. he'll be he in won't. the conversation because the team will be too good. Wow. Unbelievable. Can we wow. get some Justin Jefferson stat lines? Because I believe I've only seen one catch so far. Fuck that guy. Does he even have a catch? I He's feel got like one catch. I know he definitely has one catch. Justin Jefferson has four targets, three catches, 24 okay. yards. Okay. Nothing with a long it. of 11. Nothing doing. Uh, nothing stands out. Dalvin Cook, three yards on three carries. Wow. <laughs> I thought Dalvin was going to be a nightmare tonight. I thought he was, too. I had him 40-plus yards. You better get those 37. Well, here's the thing, too, and here's the biggest difference of, like, I don't know what uh, – can. Well, let's talk about this at halftime. And, by the way, shout-out to Lucky Cap uh, Brewery uh, because they have been amazing uh, so far. We've just kind of uh, talked to Jason over there for, like, a couple of days, <laughs> it feels like. We've met him once. The second time he was giving us all this wonderful beer, and – uh um, it is it is hitting the spot tonight. So I'm uh, trying out their Lucky Cat uh, uh, Residue of Design IPA. It's fantastic, and uh, I hate IPAs. You can you know that, uh, yeah. and I will drink this all day because <laughs> it doesn't taste like an IPA. So I'll it's have delicious. I'll try one. I'll have to, I haven't tried one yet. I'll try no, one. it's it's really good. We had a ton of those there yeah. at the bar today, and and they went. So uh, people seem to be enjoying them for sure. And by the way, all this is happening at the Gatehouse. That's yes. where we are right now. Yes. Gatehouse in the Navy Yard, where we've been hearing the people screaming and booing, and I can actually see the fireworks reflect in the window across the street. <laughs> and, can, and if you look over that way to our right, yeah, on the other side of the building, you can literally see the link in the fireworks. So the location is amazing. All you can eat, all you can drink. Prem was playing music all oh, day. Oh, I was blessed. It's, it's a party down here, folks, and that's all we're trying to do. So John's been working, getting people like Lucky Cat involved. 
Great opening so far. You got to get down here for Jacksonville because it is yep. going to be um, insane. Mainly because of this. We'll, 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 secrets. Carl and, Paul, Carl and Paul from Awesome Sauce and Andy <laughs> from Iron Hill Brewery. Yes. We're talking a lot. That's all I'm going to tell you. So it well, seems that's like, good. That's seems good. like it's, uh, it's good news to get down here at the uh, gatehouse. Uh, we'll be here for every home tailgate. And I just want to remind everybody, free parking. Huge. Free parking. Parking, all these parking spots that you really can't see on camera behind us, but like there's thousands of free parking spots back here that's never heard of uh, down in these parts next to the stadium. So, uh, just a reminder of all that, and let's get into it, big boy. There are two things I want to talk about. One, okay, uh, I want everyone to shut up about what happened last week from Detroit after viewing Carson Wentz play the Lions' defense. Secondly, we have to respect the Lions' offensive line way more than what we have seen tonight with the Vikings. Yeah. Like, there is – it is just – man, the Lions' offensive line might be, like, straight-up dominant, y'all. Like, that good. So They're pretty good. Um, They're pretty good. Yeah. I would say they got a very tough test on the road in the opener, and they couldn't hear anything, so they could barely audible. And now that you can kind of see, like, this is what I wanted to see. Yeah. Where is the jump from the coaching staff this year? Bang. That was Holy the shit. The first week was the preseason for this team. Vince Quinn, your thoughts on uh, offensively, schematically, love it, like it, hate it. Where are you at right now? No, I love it. And that was the thing. We had this conversation in the middle of the week. It was like, how do we feel about the offense? And you, you weren't feeling so good about it. But I was looking at the bones of it, and I was like, man, this is these are the right elements that I want to see. And now, like the same way I was talking about in that first half, how you're, you're going to run certain plays to set things up and take advantage of those opportunities – the same thing's happening from game one to game two. What happens game one? A.J. Brown goes off. Now, Jalen Jalen Hurts also goes off with his legs. So what happens? Minnesota goes, all right, we got to stop those things. So now they're trying to stop A.J. Yeah. Devontae Smith is wide open. Dallas Goddard is wide open. They're exactly. getting enough in the running game. And when they try to stop all of that stuff because, like, oh, we can't just shut down A.J. All these other guys are making things happen. Well, then they do turn their backs, and Jalen runs for 25, and he knocks it in the end zone. Like, yeah. they just— It's a pick-your-poison situation. Which is the beauty of this. That's what it's supposed to be when this team is so top-to-bottom, ridiculously talented. Offensive line, wide receiver, tight end, running back, quarterback. It's just the athleticism is through the roof, and this is what it needs to be. It really is. I mean, you're seeing a defense that is kind of clueless on who to try to cover most. Yeah. Which and that's is, really what you want. That's what good offenses do. And exactly. that's like, that's, you know, um, I don't want to start throwing it around like it's nothing. But, you know, uh, 16 into 17 was that kind of big leap, too. It was just it was focused on one in particular person. So you had Zach Ertz. Great. That was a connection. It worked good. Kind of how it felt like with Devontae Smith last year. It was good. It wasn't great. Um, and now you had like, you know. Nine touchdowns each between, like, tight end, wide receiver. Everyone kind of got their yards whenever it needed to. It all equated to, like, about 900 or 1,000. If that And, like, you know, forget that on the, on the screen. Ugh, Quez with a huge bomb, 53 oh, yards. It's, it's, it's amazing. Man. Finally. He's going to be singled up all season long. Yep. And when they want to dial that up after, you know, hitting him with some runs and hitting him with some AJ or some Devontae, Quez is going to be a second, third quarter monster because they're not going to be thinking about him. And that's all he needs to be, right? It's just like that's that's the beauty of an offense like this when your top guys, your your top three weapons are so good. I know. You just can't like Quez was one of the fastest guys coming out of that draft. His his forty was like a four two four or it's something. Crazy. It's, I mean, that's faster than Deion Sanders, right? Yeah, it's like it was it was crazy elite speed, and they bet on that. And for him to develop into a guy that you can just chuck in bombs like that in one on one yeah. situations, because yeah. that whole play was set up for him, yep. like. Dallas Goddard goes deep. He cuts it to the sideline right in front of the safety. The safety bites because Quez has not been a factor, and that's the right play to make, and he just gets burned over the top. We got a uh, Quez equals 2017 Aguilar in the chat. Oh, Whoa. yeah. Wow. Wow. Spicy. Well, also, let's hope he stays. Nice call, Jamie. I like that. Also, my mother in the chat says, love the podcast. Hey. Hey. Very nice. She did. She did have one complaint. She wants less f bombs from John. I knew that. Uh, that's my. That's the number. <laughs> that's I knew that was going to say. I was like, said about the show. You know what? Well, if I think John you guys were on real radio for so long that you like had all them f bombs bottled. Well, up. It, it actually it was the reverse for me. <laughs> I was always used to doing the f bombs, and then I had to turn them off. So turn like, them off. Yeah, yeah. All right. Up uh, for for Taylor's mom, for Vince's mom, and for doggone it, my mom. I'm going to try and clean up my act. 
Well, we'll see how that goes. After before that, but that's I haven't drank in this beer yet. So yep. we'll, if, we'll, if, <laughs> look, good, good fudge and luck. <laughs> Residue right? of language. If, if they went tonight, there's no way. Yeah, there's like <laughs> uh, just um, uh, Taylor's um, uh, and Vince's moms. Um, you have to understand this is a this is a two year bet that I placed on this quarterback, and so like every milestone this man hits, I feel like I'm achieving it at the same time, which is stupid and crazy. So that's um, makes sense. There'll be a lot of f bombs, is what I'm saying. If well, this if yeah. this team is heading where I think it's going, like um, for instance, Vince's mom, I want to talk to you for a second. <laughs> um, <laughs> this your son wanted a guy that went six for sixteen yesterday mm-hmm. and couldn't find his running back in the middle of a end zone, and mm-hmm. he's not alone in that. So I don't want to single him out here, but like no single can, me out. Can we? I said literally before Sunday. Jalen Hurts is going to have a better career than Russell Wilson. I've seen all I've needed to see out of that Denver sham. You've got everyone tripling and doubling down now, including Richard Sherman, who is just tweeting cooked emojis oh like, boy. Uh, and all this stuff. How honestly, like, is Russell Wilson done? And am I, like, way right on this? Because I feel like it just came to fruition in 48 hours. Look, he's fucked right now. I'll tell you, Nathaniel Hackett is atrocious. Think so? A tr- no, Russ. Russ has his problems too. <laughs> Russ. Russ has his problems too. I'm not going to put this solely, but part of it is, look, this is what happens when a team on the national scale that has all these expectations sucks. What happens? Everybody goes, all right. What's going on here? So now every small thing that happens, like the Javante Williams in the red zone clip, that comes out because everybody is desperately looking into what is going wrong with the team. Right. If they were just any other regular team that lost the game. Not in the AFC West. Nobody sees that. Wait, wait, <laughs> wait. Are you seeing the Titan of all Titans? I will give my life to this because he's the best quarterback on the planet and he's not delivering in the first two games. And you're like, oh, I guess that's that's just if it was any normal team, it would be fine. But, yeah, that's yeah. the point. It's Russell Wilson. He's a Hall of Fame quarterback yeah. and he has not played anywhere close to that first two weeks nah, of the he's season. Looking the, very different. For the first two weeks on a brand new team, which somehow is a worse coaching staff than Seattle's offensive coaching Pete staff. Pete Carroll. It is. Pete is Carroll's it not? Terrible. It, is it, is. it is. It is. So that matters. That but Javante matters. Williams, Javante Williams is an NFL running back. The backpedaling. My God. Yeah, it like, is. No, I, Russ is a fucking phenomenal talent. I am not coming off of that hill. He just hill. cursed. I, 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 I'm that? sorry. Mrs. What? Quinn. what? I'm <laughs> sorry. Mrs. Quinn. Irresponsible right. gentleman. I'm not sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, uh, but, but look, I, I, I would still go in on Russell Wilson. I would have done it. That's where I was in the moment. That's that was the guy, and and it's so, only two so, weeks so in. So I would like to it's s- only two weeks point in. out that the problem with Russell Wilson is his coaching staff. That's and if he was I mean, here, it would be much yeah. different. Is that what I'm hearing, Taylor? We, we've we've got a uh, maybe Russ is a problem in the chat too. So yes. Yes, I mean, lay, lay, lay it down, chat. Lay it down. He's, look, he's a problem. He is not the problem. He's a problem. He's a problem. Two weeks into the season, you can, yes. you're acknowledging two, that, right? Two weeks yeah. into the it season, it was the Texans. <laughs> the Texans. Yeah, at home. Yeah, the Texans who tied, tied the Colts. The, the Colts are I atrocious. Know. I picked the Jaguars upset on Sunday morning. Ooh, that was an that, obvious pick. That, yeah, that the Jaguars one. are more dynamic and. Peterson yeah. and Reich know each other so well, you had a feeling that the Jaguars were going to get up for that game. And, and Vince coach. Quinn, again, maybe, and this is, I got to lump myself into this pool here, but Doug P is back, question mark. Seems like it. He's <laughs> <laughs> a really bad team. Yeah, just, just he's, he's back. Trevor Lawrence it. is going to be good. Look, I guess it's it's better than Dougie P. trash, which is what was there That's before. That's the tough thing. I mean, it's so early, so you want to you wanna go to all these radical things. Like, here's, here was the thing that I will get. I will absolutely lay this out and hand this to you right now, week two. The Broncos have no fucking chance of winning the Super Bowl. Well, no, happening. of course not. Zero. Course it is not. a literal bold, bold zero. Take. Bold take. It's a zero. It's not like I will give put, that up. Right, put hey in guys. the papers. <laughs> put it's in right. the papers. <laughs> it's right. Broncos chance is not looking so good. It's for a the literal Super Bowl. It, no, it is a literal zero. It is like it, it does not exist. Okay. It's not happening. Are they getting can I can we go back to this? Is Seattle gonna have more wins? No. Okay. All right. I think that I still think they are. It's like seven and eight wins. Yeah. Seattle's four and thirteen. How about the Jets? Uh the Jets will be five <laughs> oh, and twelve. Jets. Five and twelve. Yeah, I mean the, the Jets aren't winning much. Five and twelve. That, yeah, I, that team stinks. Um, Cowboys nine and eight. Anything? Oh yeah, and, and that too. Let's let's dive into that. Nine and eight. Uh, the Bengals. 
oh, Cowboys from yesterday. Oh, yeah. Wow, wow, yeah. wow. Yeah. Just uh, that's unpack. That's, that's Saw that coming. The, the, the funny thing. Did you? So hey, I've been caught. down on the Bengals all off. You call you thought I thought Cooper Rush would have a good game. Actually, I thought it was going that they, they got a chance to cover. I don't even think he had that good of a game. The the Bengals were just like, <laughs> but it was early, opportunity early, to go early. He was making big throws early. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just mean as the game went on. Right, right, like, right. There was down, there yeah. was so um, just a, a you don't realize how non dynamic anything on the Bengals offensive line is. Uh, right, they are clearly Super Bowl tired. How like did they the Eagles get to the were. Super Bowl? Because Joe Burrow it was amazing. They got, you know, yeah, like, they the got Bills, hot, the and other teams shat the bed. Like, Crazy that's, to me. It, that's it's, just, yeah, well, Mahomes did them a favor by taking care of Josh Allen. Let's just yeah. be honest now. Because the yeah. Bills are winning that ring last year if they get past my Patrick Mahomes. Probably. In my opinion. Probably. I, I'm with you on that. But, yeah, like the, the problem for the Bengals, their offensive line sucks. They did have that whole offseason hangover. Yep. And it's it's just one of those things where Make the talent call, the Jesus. talent in jet like the defense is, it's not like an elite defense they're no, fine well, well, that's they're th- fine I, I guess that's why you know arguing with Bengals fans on the whole Jesse Bates thing and like you're, we're not gonna like you could feel that they were not at, I like they look like a team that might not make the playoffs let alone. You know, uh, yeah, they're not. Well, in that division, I mean, the Steelers are probably possibly going to win more games than they are at this point. Which is which is really sad. I mean, too. It, it's probably not, but yeah, but it looks like that's possible, and that's crazy to say. Um, either way, I didn't expect. Uh, you know the. Oh, uh, there he is! Oh, finally, they showed Jonathan. I mean, you hold, you hold the Vikings night. to seven points in the first half, and Justin Jefferson under thirty yards. I have nothing bad to say about Jonathan uh, Gannon right now. Right now, yes, that might change in about thirty minutes of. Game. The infamous <laughs> halftime adjustments. Fellas. That's a quick halftime, no? I felt like it. Forty-one to Kinda, yeah. seven in Buffalo. Good lord! It's about to be forty-one-seven here as well. Um, there goes uh, plus ten and a half. Shout out to uh, Teron Davenport and Buck Riesling for having to cover that tonight. Ugh. Glad we don't have to be there as Jake Elliott, just ten minutes away from us, is kicking it off to that ugly ass new font in the end zone. It's so bad. <laughs> it, is it is really so bad. bad. I heard they used it because they're going back to the Kelly Green, and it looks better with the Kelly Green. That's it my theory. No. Doesn't well, that's that what was. Font, that's, what I, that's your theory. That yeah. font doesn't. You coined that theory. Huh? I've been screaming yeah. about that from the moment it came that's out. That's where I heard it. Then that must be where I heard it. It, subliminally on Twitter. It's your call. <laughs> <laughs> um, I um, what was I going to say? Oh yeah. That uh, font does not look good in invisible ink. Like it's just it, it's wait, 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 wait. bad. Re- rewind. So bad. They don't sell that up. after 1998. What's that? Invisible ink? Yeah. I don't know. I haven't seen it since I'm, Spencer's maybe not. in the 90s. <laughs> Who's down? Spencer's. Who's down right now? No, is Hertz, I think it hurts to stretch. Okay, he's stretching. Give right, the man a massage <laughs> for this vaunted uh, Vikings offense. As uh, it is Cook for about five and drags him for six. Shit, that might be seven. All right, Davison on the first play. Was that Davidson? He's in. Oh, How damn. about Hassan Reddick looking like Mike Vick again. and wearing his number? Like he has the visor, he's wearing number seven. Wait, what is Cook's number? It's like a big Vic. 40. He's four. No, no, four. Four, four okay. Four, All right. Four. Yeah, Not he bad. was in the 20s before, I, and then he changed it. I really hate this single-digit shit. I like <laughs> it. The more I've seen it, the more I for like it. For defensive players, he I like it. He did change his number, yeah. didn't he? Wow. Four yeah. wide for the Vikings. Yeah. Cook on the left-hand side. Cousins looking and throwing, and he finds Jefferson. Oh, Reddick, the linebacker. Does a uh, Misses the fucking tackle. loop and scoop, and I think that's his fourth catch for almost 30 yards. Now, congratulations About on that. the finger point, bud. Woof. So, uh, a lot of Justin Jefferson's slot. Are you kidding me? Reddick is in coverage you, you on him. Know, you know why. what I smell, this guys? Is, guys, every time that there's, I just want to point out, it's another four-man front. Reddick has no place why when there's a four-man front. It? I, I, it's just got I don't him, know. got him. Come on, oh! Cousins outlet finds it after a good rush. Another first down. Son of a bitch. I still smell a Kirk Cousins interception on this drive. I smell it. I smelt it from the first throw, and I think we're going to see a Cousins pick. I'll kiss your forehead if that happens. I sir. think we're going to see a Cousins pick here, gentlemen. I'd like it, to live stream that. Preferably is, um, in the end zone. Anybody tell us? Uh, oh yeah, hey. there's a Vince uh, from Philly sports trips already coming back from. All right, game one to hang out in the second half of the gatehouse. Pretty awesome. Kirk Cousins first and ten, and hopefully offsides on the Vikings. Fletcher yep. Cox is and doing Fletcher a point. Cox. <laughs> a nice little That's pose, making everybody know. Love this. Uh, if you're just tuning into the broadcast, twenty-four to seven. By the way, Vikings just went offside. Had two good, really, really good plays back to back here. Ed Ingram, that dummy, went offsides. <laughs> 
I don't know. <laughs> Womp. Uh, but this is one thing that the... Uh, Got him. Uh, <laughs> that Ed Ingram. This is uh, part of that interior, though. The, this is uh, They have been struggling, and it doesn't it look comes, like guys. this hasn't gotten Here much better. First and 15. <laughs> Pressure's there. Dump off in the middle. It's Cousins finds... Uh, I don't even know who that touch. is. Is that not Thielen? One of their tight ends. Is Definitely not, not Kyle Rudolph. No. Months. Munt. <laughs> Should have known. Months for 11. God dang. That was a rip. Yeah, one of the linemen got their hands up, too, trying to deflect that or, or just give Cousins a tough lane. He worked his way around it. It was a nice throw. Second and four. Fake jet motion from Thielen. And now everyone is just chilling. Uh, Cousins audibling massively. Eagles defense doing the same thing. Ten on the clock. Motion the other way. And there oh, is nice some very nice moves. Wow. For a first down for the Vikings. They could have had Dalvin Cook. Could have, but Can decided. We not do this? Wait, who was, who was the guy in that draft? <laughs> <laughs> who, was, who was in that Dalvin All Cook right, draft? So that was uh, the uh, the corners draft, Razul Douglas and uh, what's his oh, face in the second round? God, Sydney Jones. Sydney Jones. Jones. Dalvin Cook went ahead and then Sydney yeah, went right after that. he was right in the first that. rounder. First and ten. And they took Sydney with the Dalvin pick. Uh, audibling again, first and ten. Slay saying switch out. Now they're off. going into the bunch, and it is a play action. Cousins, plenty of time. Dumps it off to Cook Wide under open. the left hand side. TJ Edwards is running for his life, and now who is scheming who to death? Jonathan Gannon. Nobody good in Lord. a flat. Nobody in a flat. Yeah, there was no one within a mile of Dalvin Cook on that play. That's good scheming. So That's the first, uh, brutal. Yeah, the first uh, 10 plays in the. Uh, yeah, the pick in the end zone is looking good. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, they, I mean, everybody's on the right side of the field. T.J. Edwards, I think, just lost track of him. I think that was his guy, and he just there's he had no idea what he was doing. That is his guy. There's there's a linebacker and a corner that were sitting on the bubble guy, too, which is a mistake Rush as well. Russian five. Russian five. Jefferson with the completion. Mm. First down. First and ten to first and ten to first and ten, fellas. Now it turns into <laughs> a football game, guys. Now it's a football game. Halftime adjustments. The infamous halftime adjustments. Momentum. You're always adjusting. Halftime adjustments. You're always adjustments, everybody. Yep. I still think Cousins is not a big game player. Two and nine on Monday Night Football, Kirk Cousins. Two and nine. Yeah, he. I think he's the worst starting quarterback in Monday Night Football history. That would percentage. be understandable with the two and nine record. Apps. That's like what? A, yeah, starts a, starts allowing. I mean, he started eleven games. Cousins so. just checking off left and right size. on Jonathan Gannon right now with eight on the clock, first and ten. Cousins with plenty of time, but fires Oof. out to the left hand side to the other guy that I can't remember who's in the Vikings backfield. Alexander Madison. Thank you very much. Uh, second and ten, and all of that fucking yip yapping for Kirk Cousins to dump it off like a little baby. They haven't <laughs> been able to make any real plays. It's been a lot of short underneath, but like screen dump, like yeah. whatever. Like they just they have not been able to execute yeah. anything more than fifteen yards down the field. Is Adam Thielen on the field? Uh, I have not he's seen him a lot. Total to be non-factor. With you. He's, he's been he's out there. He's just blocking. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's it's it's distracting. Sure, there, oh, there he is. There, right he is there. there he is. There you go. They like him in the red zone. That's why. Eleven I asked. personnel again. They like him they in the red zone. They just rush four cousins. There he is. A little oh. bit of pressure. Oh! Picked off. Prem call it. Prem call it. There goes Slay to the what Eagles I tell you twenty. I'm kissing your forehead. Wait, there's whoa, a flag. Whoa, 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 there's a flag. Right. There's it's after the pick. It's after the Kiss pick. Pending. It is after the flag. No, oh, Cousins like, is saying uh, it. Cousins is shaking his head. I told That's you I smelt it, though, guys. Hargrave got him. Hargrave hit him. I don't know. Turn around, man. There's a flag, man. There's a flag, man. Don't give the ball. Oh, give it to James, James Harden. Harden. Did he give it to James Harden? <laughs> okay, it's holding on them. All right. Whoa! Kiss Wait, him. where? Kiss, 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 kiss. kiss. All right. I don't lie. When I smell it. I smell it. <laughs> where, where was where was the crowd on that one? I, I have like no that idea. Been, what, oh, I, 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 that was unbelievable. I'm so glad that Slay gets the pick. Let's see it on the replay here. What the hell the was Kirk Cousins again. looking at? This is so freaking ridiculous. Yeah, watch Hargrave on the left. He's going to break wow. through. That, oh, yeah. That, that is that a hold. massive that's hold. That's a big it's a good thing hold. he held him. It's a good thing. Coverage and, is and all wait, over. It's a good thing dude. he held him. That throw doesn't get made if he doesn't hold him. I don't know what Kirk Cousins would. They're that kicking was, a field goal if he doesn't hold him. It's a terrible throw. He threw it way to the right. Wow. And, like, Slay, was, Slay was in decent position for coverage. But Woo! Big play Slay coming through, earning his paycheck. He Man. threw Slay open. Yeah, Slay's what the hell was game. that? There was... Wow. I saw two Vikings wide receivers head towards the other corner of the end zone. There must have been a route mix up. Kirk Whatever. Cousins, we'll two and it. nine, about to be two and ten Look, on Monday Night Football. It, it's Kirk under pressure, and that's the that's the bum, frustrating bum, bum, thing because Gannon bum. always wants to get it from four or at most five. But like yeah. 
that's a guy that you send the house on from time to time and force him to make a quick decision. So they'll, they'll, I, I they'll still win their division. Gentlemen, it's Vikings? been a lot of fun yeah. serving with you on the panel. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, so I have to exit. Please. And I, uh, we will be doing this all year, and I'm excited. And I appreciate I'm excited the gentleman too, Prem. a lot. Thank you for calling that fucking interception Dude. before leaving. That's I think that, that saved the game. From. We got a whole season <laughs> to go. <laughs> Thank you, Taylor. Of course. And uh, two good. and O oh birds. Two and O oh birds. Go there check go. out the uh, Vet Alumni podcasts with uh, our friends uh, Prem and Tech. Tech will be the one that is uh, destroying all optimism at any time, and <laughs> that's why we love him. Honestly, keeps us in check. So, guys, what a fucking incredible game this is so far. Yeah, <laughs> we we were talking. I mean, John John went up to me like two hours ago, and he was like, you know, I mean, I don't know if there's going to be a blowout tonight, but it'd be nice. It'd be nice. It'd be nice. It's leaning that way. It is certainly leaning that way. Now, if I'm Nick Sirianni or Shane Steichen, I am uh, not fucking around. I'm going traditional under center, PA. Let's take a shot for AJ Brown right now. Oh, okay. I like okay. It. All it night. I like it. We've been waiting for it all fucking night. I think it's just the best time to do it is right now after the interception. All right. If it was, if it's for a shot, I'm good with it. Otherwise, it's just like that same typical like we're just slowly waiting to die. Let's <laughs> let's play very casual, safe football until the clock runs out and hope we don't lose. One like, more score and then give Miles Sanders all the carries he wants. Yeah, that works for me. Oh God. <laughs> Bar- Barney's saying this is the Miles drive. Ah! There we go. <laughs> We got calls all over the place. Barney, um, I can't wait for you to be on the show, first of all. You've earned it. Uh, can't wait to have him all, on the bus. Can't wait. To, oh, yeah, he's coming on the bus You're on, on the Sunday. bus, Barney. Let's go. Um, so if you don't know, by the way, uh, and, uh, well, we're going to wait until see uh, right now if this is a this is a big bomb. It doesn't look like it. They're going to go pistol, and it is a jailbreak out to Dallas Goddard, and uh, Taylor is... Saying That's bonus points money. on the over. That's cash money. <laughs> <laughs> oh, do you get more uh, oh, on, no, on no, every no, yard? No. Okay, okay. I thought it was like one of those lightning right. bets. Speak. Oh, it was a Justin Jefferson. Did he cut off the route? They're going over that right now. And I guess. Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. It's just short and wide. Wow. <laughs> it's a oh. terrible throw. Don't. Uh, don't show up as Jalen Hurts is scrambling out to his right-hand side. Sorry, I forgot what we were doing. As oh! mesmerized, looking for A.J. Brown, second and two, now third and two. Wow. Yeah, where's uh, Justin's Jefferson's? Uh, where's Justin Jefferson's interview, by the way? Where's that? When's that coming? Yeah, it's going to be on the toilet. Uh, he's <laughs> oh, look at that. When Slay's on him, oh, two. Oh, and two when Slay's on him. See, and that's, wh- that's what happened early is Jonathan Gannon was going zone. Vikings figured it out. They switched over. And I wonder on that drive if they stuck with uh, just stay with Jefferson. Yeah, I, I I'm not sure what. Oh the, no, they didn't. They d- they clearly didn't. But but they need to. Coverage again. Secondary's been great tonight. Third and two. Miles Sanders gets the first down. Good for you, buddy. Looking good for Barney. I have had to say good positive things about Miles Sanders for two weeks in a row. I know. Uh, look, I, I was telling you, man. Back half of the season last year, I kept you, know, you kept laughing at me. <laughs> That's, it that's sounded like a Sam Bradford argument. That's I know, why. but it just yeah. Oh God, don't say that name. <laughs> he's figured it out. Well, and Vikings, Vikings legend as well, yeah. Sam Bradford. So um, I don't want to jinx it, but we are getting really stop close. <laughs> jinx it to a thing. <laughs> Get weird. <laughs> God, don't do it. Get uh, weird. First and ten from the Eagles thirty. Got it in slight motion as there goes. Yeah. Is it Miles Sanders? This might yep. be the Miles Sanders drive, Barney. Look at that. Second down. Good blocking there. Shane with his big-ass play chart saying, no, 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 scrambled eggs and bacon. Oh, my God. Did, did, all right. He looks like Dak Shepard. Yeah, he totally does. Good call. He does. Yeah, I, It I, is I, Dak Shepard. Right? Wait, <laughs> Dak Shepard and uh, Napoleon Dynamite. Like, come on. Yeah. yeah yes. Yeah. It's, wow. That's Wow. That's so funny. Let's go call Shane's parents and tell them we figured it out. <laughs> and also Taylor's Second, mom. Yes. Hi, Taylor's mom. Hi, Taylor's mom. Hope Second and four. She's probably asleep by now. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Jalen Hurts <laughs> off to the Ooh, races whoa. again is Miles Sanders. All right, Barney. Gashing for another 10. Yeah, Barney's, Barney's on fire right now. Cut to the Eagles cheerleader for no reason whatsoever. What was that? <laughs> okay, I've never seen that. Monday like, night. <laughs> Usually it's like hey, when there's pom a poms. when there's like a you know like a the review in the play or something but yeah. I don't know whatever <laughs> Amazon's pushing them first and ten Boston Scott checking in late not sure where he's supposed to be four wide Eagles almost to midfield Jalen hurts plenty of time fires and has Devonte Smith for about five 
God, what's he up to now? Is that seven catches for him? Something like that. What an unbelievable day. How many has A.J. Brown had? One? one or two. Uh, I feel, it feels like one, yeah. Yeah, he has not been a major factor. They've targeted him, what, like three times? Yeah. See, man, I Hasn't love this. Much. You just It's going to be wide receiver A, wide receiver 1AB, however you want to And Goddard is really good. <laughs> I mean, oh, Goddard's God, a great. top five tight end, man. Mm-hmm. Like, he is, he's like that. He's like a more athletic Mark Andrews almost. Yep. Like, it's, it's crazy. Second uh, and six, just across midfield for the Eagles. Jalen Hurts, who has had plenty of time oh, all day, there. finds A.J. Brown across the middle, does a little stutter step, oh, makes his sail to the no outside way. to the 30. Look at that Oh, yak. my God. Wow. Another 11 yards worth of yak on that play. A.J. Brown is better than Justin Jefferson. I can't even believe that that was a question walking into this game. Devontae with uh, five receptions and 64 yards. <sighs> Not bad. Not bad. Yep. He have the perfect, like, stutter step. Yeah. Oh, my God. That was nasty. Oh, Eric Kendricks, go sit down and have a Snickers. Oh, my God. <laughs> Oh, yeah, he's not made for that. I love this fucking team, man. This team is so fun. They're good, dude. Uh, the Devontae so Smith good. in the slot to the left-hand side. I see A.J. Brown getting stacked. Yep. Five wide and flags all over nope. the place. I think they were looking for the quick hitter. False start. That guy's eating a hot dog. Oh. <laughs> Jordan. I want to eat a sausage. We have so much food left over, but yeah. I'm just I'm so fat. I can't I I'm, can't hey, do it. Hey, come on. I outweigh you by like seventy pounds or something. That's but it's relative. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's all right. You, you also like your calves weigh forty pounds. Well, that's very true. You have the biggest calves I've ever seen in my life. Thank you very much. It's what about crazy. mine? Yeah, I mean like we're pretty we're pretty we got, right, we got uh, some pretty stacked up, calves up, over here. Line them up. Yeah. What you know about these some, calves, Jalen Hurts? Thick legs over here. <laughs> First and 15, they are not going five wide this time. They keep Boston Scott in. I have no idea why. Is a uh, quick fire to A.J. Brown across the middle. God dang. I just, mm. Quick side note, I love A.J. Brown saying we have a bunch of Batmans on this team. Yeah. No Robins. <laughs> yeah. No Robins. <laughs> That's the best. That well, was so awesome. You know, skinny Batman has been holding yeah, it down. Yeah, skinny Batman, big Batman. <laughs> Swole Batman is... Uh, yeah. He's making a. I think he's going to make his way to the end zone, fellas. That's what I think right now. Man, AJ Brown still four for sixty-five, and three of those that's, have that's come a, on this drive. Yeah, very quiet one. Too. Very quiet. Quez Watkins with the dipsy do. Jalen Hurts. Oh, oh my oh, God! Wow. Just a yeah. Trying to do too much there. He almost got decapitated. Good thing he got <laughs> down. That was that was close. Yeah, that was. Uh, that's what I'd like to call overthinking the play too. Yeah. That's okay. I don't I, understand. Like, there's nothing to th- to think about too much here. Like, the Vikings have are giving you everything in the middle of the field. Everything. All game long. Just keep running slants. All right, round touchdown. That's what, that's what we right, need let's here. let's listen okay. for Okay. Third and five. Crowd's been... Oh, Kenny, get out of there. I don't like it. <laughs> <laughs> Third and five. And... What? False start. Somebody oh, saying false flag. start. And there's now a we flag. have it again. Unreal. That's all right. It was going to be a delay game anyway. Penalties today are just awful. All start Lane Johnson. Ein Schlatten hein wie bitte. I think that means pass me another beer in German. Und keine Eine. I know that means I know eggs. If uh, <laughs> I know eggs? And no eggs. Oh, and? Yeah, like. What? Can I have some pancakes and no eggs, please? Okay. <laughs> und, und keine Eine. Third and ten. <laughs> oh, no. Keep going, please. <laughs> Yeah, German <laughs> lessons with John. Uh, Jalen Hurts has the legs, oh. and he's going to shoot through to the 30, to the 25, and just say, no, nope, nope. this is good All for right. a field goal. That's fine. Just play conservative, and that's okay. Hey, 27 seven's good in my book. And I guess that's what I want to say about Jalen Hurts. Like, we, we keep trying to define his play style. Um, nowhere do I think <laughs> – Oh, what do you got? What do you got? <laughs> In my one group chat, my friend Dylan said, Slay giving the ball to Harden better than Wentz giving the ball to Trout. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so much better. Yes. <laughs> so, so, so much better. Um, I feel as though Jalen Hurts gets somehow tagged with, ooh, oh, God, it's, it's a block. It's a no block. Way. No way. No, no way. way. Jake no Elliott way. trying to get the tackle. Oh, oh my God. God. Shout Zipos. out to Sipos for the tackle at the Holy Eagles 29 yard line. Oh. I was just about to say a lot of positive things, and now we got a pause. God dang, that's such a 
bad fucking time for that to happen. <laughs> Damn. I was just going to say, because what happened here? They just broke through. They just broke through. Wow. Just a good special teams play. You know who wouldn't have allowed that, John? Chip Oh, Kelly. my God. Sipos has the laces facing the wrong way. And so that I don't think that kick was going in either way. The faces were the laces were facing Jake Elliott. So just sloppy all around on that. Really sloppy all around on the thirty. Patrick Peterson, really? <laughs> I, I guess so. Really? It's the seven. He's, it's it's the single a, digit. He's in a field goal block team at his age. He's like 32, 33. He? Yeah, he was. He got. He did not Isn't have he? that great of a game last yes last week. Yeah, so I would swear he's in his. Early 30s. All right, first and 10 32. for the Vikings. And uh, it doesn't sound good from the Eagles crowd getting loud to quiet. And so uh, here is Dalvin Cook around the outside. All right, pretty good stop. Pretty good stop. Second down upcoming. Man. Fletcher Cox been a little more active in this one compared to last yeah. week. Yeah. And it's going to continue to happen here. When's the last time you've seen Reddick on the field, by the way? I mean, I see him a lot. He's not doing much. He's had he's had like two <laughs> opportunities to potentially get some pressure. I don't know if he even has a charted pressure, technically speaking, but it's been the vicinity here and there. Yeah, it's it's just not enough. Field goal would be awesome here if he can hold it to him, or of course another slay interception. I don't mind that. And shotgun second and seven. Cousin says two next to him. They throw oh, out the screen. There you go. Speaking of Reddick, Speaking he of finally devil. broke it up. See, he's in space and he can make plays when he's in space. Wake up. Jesus Christ. That was a great read by Reddick. I read. mean, they'll, they'll, they'll show that. He was running a stunt from the outside, so it's a delayed stunt. He's going to be on the outside here, and then he's going to come across, and as he comes across right around the center, he's going to see the gap and the play develop, and then he goes and breaks out and just gets right yeah. on it. That is a killer look by Reddick on that killer one. Killer look. Mm. Crowd is really fucking loud in our ears good. from 10 minutes of walking away here. We see it on the screen, yes. and there are good things Ooh, coming, folks. Yeah. There pumped. are good things coming because they just went wild, and let's hope there's no flags. Third and seven as the Eagles defense is going to win this rep. Vikings, to the le uh, three to the left. Vic or, uh, Cousins has a decent amount of time. He zips in. Oh, another another oh, interception. Yes. There he is. Is that Maddox? Let's yes, go. it is, baby. It is Maddox again with the interception. And not again, but another one for Kirk Cousins. What a dumb son of a bitch. I can't believe you paid this man $84 million. Oh, my God. So why why didn't they stick to game manager plan? Like, that's what they were doing before. Uh, yeah, it's... Like, I, it, 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 I mean, they didn't score, but it was way better than <laughs> taking shots. I, uh, they found a way to neutralize Justin Jefferson. Jonathan Gannon found a way to neutralize Justin Jefferson. Yeah. <laughs> Look, you got to print nerds, that tomorrow. Film nerds, do your thing. Film nerds, do your thing, please. Yeah, Because I, I am so curious to see what they did to limit Justin Jefferson. <laughs> oh, the media's not going to care tomorrow. Oh, well, no. No, of course not. That's It's too nuanced for them. Yeah, they're, they're not going to be like, oh, Justin Jefferson got shot down. Just like, oh, the Eagles look really good. <laughs> yeah. Like, that's just going to be it. it it's going to be Jalen No, 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 no. It's not the Eagles are going to be look, look good. It's the Bills are going to the Super Bowl. Well, that's. Because that's the other game Oh, tonight. right. Yeah. Everywhere yeah. else. Everywhere yeah. else in the country, it's going to be Bills are going to the Super Bowl. I wonder if the Bills punted tonight, which would be seven consecutive games Ooh. of not punting. That's not, that's not possible. They have 41 points, though. So. They uh, they literally might have seven consecutive games without a punt. You know what? Like, <laughs> this... Nah, I'm not going to say that after two weeks. They're too far away. But I think uh, if you let this team massage themselves to get into November like this, Jesus. I mean, Bills won't seem as bad to face. Well, it's... <laughs> Look, it, it ultimately, those are the teams, if this goes the way we think it's going to go, we're going to be comparing them to those teams. There's no doubt about it. The They're nice ahead. Thing is, I'm, not, I'm not even yeah. trying oh, to compare. Please. They're no. so yes. far ahead. Yes, it's, it's not even close. Yeah. But, but you can but, look like them in, in, in a couple of months. Look, everybody that's close-ish to the Bills, they're all in the AFC. All of them. I mean, it's, it, it's, it's just a fact. So the ability to go, okay, well, again, the conference is incredibly weak. You still might not ever play the Bills this year. Mm -hmm. And you could go win the Super Bowl that way. So that's that's where my mind is at, is like, all right, 
handle the conference, and just hope the Bills don't make it. Like that's where I want to be. Well, here's my here's where my mind's at. Which pass rusher do you want to go poach? Because that is all I want Howie Roseman to do right now. That's like all right. Priority number one is finding the great pass rusher on a supposedly what was supposed to be a good team. And the Bengals would be my first choice. You can start picking there. Um, I still don't believe the Rams are going to get back to it necessarily, and they are desperate for picks. I just, I that's that's where I would start looking. You know, like, do the Bears really want to hold on to Roquan Smith now? Okay, let's figure it out. You know, like, let's talk. That's uh, I need this team to be a little bit better and. Sorry, I was distracted uh, by that uh, Miles Sanders after some positive yeah, d- uh, yardage Yeah, there. dump off to Miles, and he got a lot of yardage there. It's going to be Beautiful. a really short second down. But but I would start making phone calls uh, for, you know, week six, seven, eight, et cetera. Well, well, that's what you should do. I mean, if you're a team with real expectations, which they should have been to start the year, now that you're going to be 2-0 and most likely, well, you know, most likely, <laughs> uh, then, yeah, yeah you, most you, likely. you start to think about those things a little bit, just like little light perfunctory scouting, all right, who's here on this team, would we be interested? Like, you, you start to compile those lists a little bit just in case. Is there anything else right now that you would be like, all right, maybe this, this, this is what this team needs right now? Well, here's the truth. Uh, the, as much as I've seen this now, because Miles has answered the question that I needed him to answer, which is, is he just going to hit the goddamn hole? He's doing that. So, oh, sneak here. Sneak tech. Got it. Perfect. No problem. The Bears needed that last night. <laughs> God, yeah. God. Oh, man. Yeah. Can we talk about that for a sec? Shotgun <laughs> on fourth and inches against the, the quarterback that's been owning you for a decade? <laughs> it's so My bad. My God. <sighs> They're so bad, dude. And that was a touchdown, by the way. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. There's, uh, yeah, the... I fell asleep in the middle of that, but watching the highlights, the extended version of that uh, this morning was. Uh, I said, I said very the, ref, bears. the refs just called it not a touchdown because that was the dumbest play to run. <laughs> yeah, it's like no, nope, you don't. Even if it was, nope. you don't deserve yeah, it. Yeah, fuck you. We're not so, counting that. They were totally right. First and ten. Oh boy, Jalen Hurts empty set five wide, has plenty of time. Finds and fires out to his left hand side is Boston Scott. Uh, known as the new Darren Sproles by Miles Sanders this week, by the That's way. That's right, and a former Saint. Um, but <laughs> l- looking at going back to the running backs, it's it's the idea of like, okay, we talked about running back was the weakest spot. Mm-hmm. They don't, they literally don't have a weak spot on offense. <sighs> uh, yeah, and if it is one, it's it's would be the best. There would be a starter somewhere on all thirty-two teams with this offense. Yes. Yeah, I mean, these guys are like, uh, uh, what's your weakness now? A uh, wide or tight end two? Tight, is that yeah. our kids? Oh, we got to upgrade Jack Stoll. <laughs> is that, <laughs> that going to be the hot topic? Like, yeah, Probably something like that. And uh, uh, Eagles just going to run it out to uh, start the fourth quarter here. So very exciting. Is uh, 24-7. Oh, look at James. He's oh, loving yes. it. James Harden loving getting the ball. And you know who needs the ball? James Harden. If, if t- Hold on. Why is Bradley Cooper wearing an Iverson shirt that looks like it came from the Gap? He loves cheesesteaks like us, John. Come on. <laughs> yeah, he's one of that, us. He's a Philly guy. Yeah, total Philly guy. <laughs> Took a private plane here from his mansion in Los Angeles for the day. He probably totally did. Totally one of us. He probably Bradley did. Cooper. He probably bought that shirt today, too. Um, but uh, one thing that um, is not bought in is our love for the place that we are at and streaming, which is the Gatehouse in the Navy Yard. So... If you're saying, like, oh, we can hear the crowd, and you're like, what the fuck are they talking about? Literally, Lincoln Financial Field is right over there. Right there. there. We can see the fireworks go off. It is a 10-minute walk to the stadium, um, and everyone took advantage of that and the free parking that is here. From here on out, there will be free parking, all-inclusive tailgate with booze, food, and, like, every possible fun thing you could experience at a tailgate, including, you know, giveaways and all that fun stuff, too. So, um yeah, the environment, the the everything here has been phenomenal. There's 12 flat screen TVs. You know, this is uh, something that they haven't done before. T- uh, typically, the gatehouse won't is is not open on Sunday, so this is a new venture for them to kind of bring everybody in, and we're excited to do that this season. So we'll be here doing that. I'll be making fun of uh, Russell Wilson and Vince Quinn for like the next decade. Um, <laughs> Um, and, and we talked a little bit about halftime, uh, Vince Quinn, but I was actually curious. On, honestly, you and yeah. Taylor thought that Detroit-Washington uh, game yesterday. Boy. Man. Um, Carson Wentz 
has never changed, ever. He will not change, and every storyline defending him will be exactly the same. Uh, the, all the Washington beat reporters were blaming the offensive line yet again. Like it's, it's just like so you bizarre. know, you know the guy holds on to the football. <laughs> don't call those plays. Like I don't know if you know this, guys, but the Carson Wentz can't throw quick throws. Like he can't do it. He can't throw flats. He can't throw swing passes. He can't do any of that shit. He so. doesn't want to. It's it's all about the glory. Like he's like, oh, I need to make these big plays and be the like. C- Carson Wentz is constantly trying to recapture the guy that he was. He's not that guy anymore. Like, you just can't, if you're a 40-year-old man, and you're like, man, I want to be the same person I was in high school. It's over. <laughs> it's too late. Be somebody else. Be or, whoever or you are now. you're in a midlife now. crisis, yeah. Yes, but that's exactly, like, that's what it is, though. He's just, like, he's trying to be that 2017 guy again, and he's never going to find it because he's not that. And right. he just needs to evolve into whatever he can be, and he won't do it. Unlike Jalen Hurts, who is literally evolving in front of us at every moment, second and eight, back from commercial, start of... The fourth quarter, empty set, Ooh, and whoa. a questionable ball, <laughs> questionable ball throw, I would say, but a nice catch by Devontae Smith yet again. I believe that's yep. number six on the night. Yeah, he's been on fire. A little behind, a little low, nice grab still. To, to go back to Wentz real quick, uh, I forget who it was, but somebody quote tweeted a, a Washington reporter saying, like, Oh, Wentz actually had a really good game and then gave his, like, stat line. <laughs> yeah. And then the quote tweet was like, oh, they're at this point in the Wentz relationship. <laughs> yeah, that was so good. Hurts uh, evading Ooh. pressure, throwing downfield, what? and gets Quez no, Watkins. Quez got one foot, I think. Flag uh, holding. It's coming back. Yeah, if I was but Minnesota, man. I'd challenge the shit out of that. I don't know if he got to him. I still liked it anyway. They should let him do it because it was cool. No, nice. Yes. <laughs> Yeah, cool points. Nice, nice throw on the move, though. It was a nice I mean, throw that on the was move. yeah. He was in an awkward position, and he Jordan really again ran that ball in. What are you talking about? No, that is not anywhere close to an Australian Excuse accent, me, and I'm so again? sorry. Nope, nope. We're gonna let the beard do the talking. For sorry, Nanks. <laughs> I apologize. If you're watching Nanks. this at like what? Well, it's probably an actual reasonable hour for him in Australia. Uh, Fourteen hours ahead, for, right? So yeah, from from He's, where we are. Like, so yeah, yeah, it's probably like two in the afternoon or something. Good afternoon. Like, yeah, enjoy yourself, Nanx. Go off. Um, so that'll be a first and <laughs> Quez's stats. Yeah, it's pretty pretty ridiculous. Good reception, I dropped him this week too. Whoops. First and twenty. Jalen Hurts with a jailbreak screen to AJ Brown. It doesn't have too much going on there. So I don't know what they keep saying on the broadcast, but I'm sure Troy Aikman is is pointing out like. The Vikings' defense is just kind of keeping them in an umbrella uh, or something like that. <laughs> I don't yeah, know if that's anything different than they've been doing all game, but it seems like no. cover three to me. So, Yeah, they're, they're trying to limit Jalen on the ground. This was their game plan. I mean, it's it's not really working. And, and look, th- this is the biggest criticism about Jalen Hurts was can he paper cut a team to death? And he's doing that. Like, he's, yeah. he is absolutely doing that. He's, he hit a couple of tight throws in the slant last week. He's done it again this week. A uh, little delay to Miles Sanders here to the right side. He gets around a couple of defenders, but, yeah, the Vikings are just saying, like, nah. Nope, we're just going to close you out. Miles with the chain. Oh, he's got a chain you on? see that? Yeah. Patrick Peterson trying to snatch that? <laughs> That's the uh, the Akib Tlaib special Good right guy. there. Ripping a guy's chain off. Got to bring Jeez. it back. That was a great move. All right, third and 14. Uh, if they've got the uh, all the third down specialists out there, Kenny Gainwell, who's he looking at? Uh, third and fourteen, Jesus Christ! Uh, that's who he's looking I at. I don't. I don't think he's a receiver. <laughs> I think this is. I think this is a a Goddard. I think this is Goddard in the middle to try and stretch out a first down. We'll see. Devontae. Jalen Hurts, plenty of time. No. Throws short. Kenny Gainwell. Not going to get there. So many jerseys. I lied. Wow. What? Oh, great effort regardless. Go well, he's Still g- going? Yeah, he got Never like down? 11 out of 14 on that. I'd be talking shit, too. I mean, he c- uh, you could go for it. You shouldn't. Yo, but Joe, you could. I never went down. Oh, sorry. Sorry. If this was a tighter game, I'd I'd go for it. Um, Where are they? They're, not, they're on they're, their side. They're at their own 50. 47, so they're not going to do it. I thought they were at the 50. I so think, did I. I think oh, the right line is the yeah. 50. Um, fourth and, man, I probably would have gone for this, See, honestly. think about, like, it's it's tempting, but you're going to pin Minnesota like their own two. Yeah, you're probably you right. This right. 
Uh, Which they don't because Sip Boss is And there's great. Jalen Rager trying to do some shit. <laughs> For nothing. Oh, yeah. oh, I bet the crowd loves that. The crowd loves it. I heard a roar. <laughs> That's what the cheers were about. Kayvon Wallace tackling his old friends. That's very nice. What's going on in the... Anybody have any good comments in there? Uh, I apologize to our YouTube audience. We haven't uh, uh, let's seen see. much of anything to you, but appreciate you guys tuning in. Wherever our, you are out there. <laughs> Seriously. Uh, Joe Conti saying ban the bubble screen. <laughs> I agree. <laughs> I think we're getting there. That was like a whole era of football. People it's, it's just. Na- it's not going anywhere. That bubble screen is stamped. That was like a revelation. And then everybody was doing bubble screens all the time. And it just. It took a while to get out of that phase. Yeah, I remember hearing like. And then, and then from bubble, you heard like tunnel screen. And that was like, what's a tunnel screen? <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Yeah. And uh, yeah, that's where we are in screen. So yeah, Joe, I'm with you. Um. I, am, I, I, have, I have not one ounce of nervousness at all, and that's uh, feeling great. i got to tell you that much. It's right not now. enough cushion. There's enough no. cushion. There's enough mm-hmm. cushion. We, this There's is guys, a historic guys, did I was going to say, did we not watch football yesterday? I'm just saying you can did avoid. Did we not watch football yesterday? You can have two big mistakes here and still get out of this. Ugh. That's all. That's the truth. You can have two big mistakes and still get out of this. This is coming from a man that won Arizona Cardinals money line yesterday. (laughs) (laughs) My God. I think Kyler Murray um, saved our season, too. Or my fantasy season, too. Um, So, his real quick, his uh, first two-point completion took 20 seconds. (laughs) He was running around for 20 seconds. Which is insane, because McNabb had that iconic play. I think he hit 14. Right. That's six seconds extra. Six more seconds. He ran a whole other play on top of McNabb's literally legendary 14-second play. And that's why I keep going back to. I'm just like, I'm sure there's a lot of truth to like him not doing the homework or anything, but, man, you kind of just have to let him do his thing if you're already committed to it. <laughs> the, the, the talent is just so elite that you can't even yeah. argue it. That's the thing. The coaching sucks. Kingsbury sucks. He's dragging Kingsbury's corpse into which he just got an extension. Oh right, that's right. Well, like because he's got because he's got to deal with well because I think the, Q, the QB wants him there. See, this is another instance. T.J. Edwards was just on just Justin Jefferson yeah, and look at that did his job. To be honest with you, so man, he's no Hassan Reddick in coverage. I'll tell you, that. <laughs> I actually am very excited. Oh my god, that's late interception, so good. Yeah, it's so it's good. Right there, Cousins is such an idiot. 15 115 for 24. Whoa, Dalvin, yards. Those Dalvin Cook stats are insane. Wow. That's pretty insane. What a terrible I game. I thought he was going to be a monster tonight. Uh, and uh, Cousins trying to literally do anything now. Running around is, uh, there's nothing there. That's unbelievable. Everybody's covered up. Kirk Cousins throws it away on first and 10 on the uh, opening uh, series for them in the fourth quarter. There's a flag on the play, though. Please, so many flags. Could we get some offensive anything here and just drive him back and get a safety here? That'd be that'd be so sweet. Ineligible. There we go. <laughs> okay. That's half the distance. Love to see it. First down. Twenty-four to seven. The Philadelphia Eagles are slapping the ever living crap out of the Vikings. And it uh, might not totally look like it on the scoreboard yet, but I'm pretty sure it'll get there. Man, they're going to. All right. Well, for oh, look at this guy. Oh, that guy's amazing. He's got an eagle helmet. Their eagle head. Uh, we are Mascot 14, head. We're 14 points shy of 38 to 7. I just want to note <laughs> I, that. Ah, why did you say Whoa. that loud? Drop pass on first and 15. There you go. As soon as Munt. I said it. There we go. No hands, Munt. Uh, whenever you guys want it, I've got the spiciest take in one of my group chats from here. <laughs> oh, yeah, hit us. Fire it oh, out. Oh, right now? Yeah, okay. fire yeah. it out. So this was during the Cowboys game yesterday. It's a good thing Eagles fans fetishize Devontae. Otherwise, we'd be losing our minds that they passed up a guy who was the best defensive player in football by year two for poor man's Calvin Ridley. <laughs> oh, man. Poor man's Calvin Ridley. <laughs> wow, he's really trying to dig the dagger deep on that. Hey, there's Adam Thielen's first catch of the night, I believe, uh, covered up by Bradbury. And uh, the link crowd is very loud as it is becoming third down. Kirk Cousins is, pr- is probably pissing Adam Thielen off with whatever he's saying right now, if we're being honest. Uh, and uh, bad news, Bears, I think this is going to be a first down for the Vikings. Let's see here. 
Dalvin Cook in the backfield with Cousins. He's got four wide, two to his left and two to his right. Here's the snap, third and ten. Looks and fires and oh, wide that was almost open. There. Wide open, Adam Thielen. Slay almost did it again. Yeah, he did. He was really close. I think he was going for the ball there, wasn't he? Uh, mm. Quick quick side note, Slay was on um, – oh, God, I'm blanking on his name. Uh, Thielen? No, a oh. podcast. Uh, Seattle cornerback. Retired. Oh, Richard Sherman? Richard Sherman. He was on Sherman's podcast. They oh, were, he was? They were like, that is talking cornerback shop. <laughs> I got to go look yeah. for that. His cousins. Oh, oh my man. God. He almost did it again. He's trying to bait him in there. He's dying to he, throw another pick. God, because of that. Uh, I, I, yeah, it's that Justin Jefferson had to open his mouth this week. That's what I think a lot of this is. When you're thinking about your post-game speech, mm, and your you're saying, not in the right place. I'm glad I'm not in Philly or whatever, and I know that's, you know, players always have to say that. I'm just saying, I feel like a gay, guy like Slay is going to use that to uh, – his mental noggin there. Everybody meant to say uh, Slay's post game, not uh, Justin Jefferson. <laughs> That's what happened. A good amount of cushion this time. Second and ten. Cousins fires. Oh, oh my oh. gosh, man! Got to say that was probably his best ball of the night. Yeah, that was a really nice pass. And Smith got crushed by Marcus Epps at the end of that, and he still held on to it. Whew. Yeah, guys, I got to say I was really wrong about Marcus Epps and the whole like we believe in him thing. Yeah, that he has been pretty dang good so far. Two weeks in. But, but, <laughs> but, he did almost but. give up, like, a 50-yard bomb. Oh, never mind. That was Oops. Chauncey. We got yeah, that, that wrong. Chauncey. That was Chauncey. Never mind. I rescind everything. Oh, oh my God. God. Oh, put your hands up in the air next time at Mr. Kaiser White. I haven't seen him a lot, actually, tonight. Speaking of which, maybe that's just because I haven't been paying attention. No, uh, I mean, Minnesota's had a lot of three and outs, and you know what I mean? Yeah. I think that's yeah, part of it, too. too. They haven't had to be a major factor. Uh, there there he, is. he is. Salute to the GOAT. Never seen Howie. Howie. When is the last time you've seen a Howie Roseman jump to There's him a play going love? on. Oh, no, that's the replay. That's seen the replay. him in the booth yeah. without <laughs> binoculars. They're just like, no, we have to stay on Howie. Come on, ESPN. <laughs> so uh, here we go, Cousins. Second and ten. Fires out to the right. Oh, <laughs> wow. Eight. This is falling apart quick. Uh, also, no Julian can ESPN. Yeah, where's oh, right. what's going on? They can't show him until he comes on the show. Oh, there's oh the he's smirking. Ugly hat. Dude, oh, yeah, the ugly hat. hat looks so bad, too. Howie Roseman is smirking. That's what happens when you're in the front office box, right? Like, if you're in the owner's box, you got to wear that shit hat. <laughs> uh, it's just the rules. Oh, Howie, do we have to? Yes, Julian said so. Sorry. Speaking of hats. <laughs> Stay tuned. Oh, yes. Yes. Got some great info about that tonight. Third and ten. Cousins back. Looking. Plenty of time. Rush does not get there. Irv Smith uh. does and also gets a first down. That's okay. I mean, like, if they want to do this uh, and kill their own clock in the fourth quarter, no problem. I think, yeah, this is So far, so good. This is back to game manager. Yeah. Quarterback time. Totally. Yeah, which is fine. Yeah, run all the clock. Take your time. There's no rush here. There's There's no pressure. Dude, don't not uh, not down seventeen points or anything. <laughs> first Whoa. and ten, cousins. Is that the first blitz of the oh, night? Oh, so close! That's uh, like the fourth ball Slay's yep. almost had in the last five minutes. He has been unbelievable. God damn, he's the best. He is. He really is the best. Do you remember when people wanted Byron Jones over him? Oh. <laughs> oh. I'd like to remember uh, remind everybody when the Eagles fans were wrong, as opposed to all the fucking Justin Jefferson DK Metcalf takes. And I don't know That's how all. much everybody was really regretting that the second it happened. I, of, I thought Rager was overrated, people. but very Oh, with Rager, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I yep. think all that, a lot of that happens after the fact, mm -hmm. I think. Another blitz here from the Eagles what? and Cousins. Rager, gets the and yips. Rager wasn't ready for it. <laughs> Rager had no idea that ball was coming his way. He was completely off guard. He's going, what? That was to me. Yeah, there what was go. the play? <laughs> what do you mean I'm the hot route? <laughs> and Cousins can't hear. Third and ten, I hear the crowd through my headphones, guys. Come on. That's how loud it is. They are so loud in there. This is unbelievable. Jacked up crowd. And there is good news coming, guys. <laughs> That's all I can tell ten. you. It's still going. I'm going to say this is a pick. Holy shit. I think this might be a pick, guys. Third and ten. Oh, man. Either way, the Eagles are getting off the field. Here's Cousins. Back. No pressure from the Eagles. Oh, yeah. it's a oh. fumble. Oh, man. Oh, oh man. Look at that was so crazy. It went from no pressure to pressure in an instant. Fletcher Cox with the forced fumble. 
and they are getting off the field. And, fellas, I apologize. I've got a piece so bad. I've been trying to hold it. I'm not going to make it through the fourth quarter. I've broken the seal. Thanks, Lucky Cat. Yeah, go ahead. Go. You go. Honestly, I mean, we got we got some time, I think. Uh, we're, we're in cruise control right now, Johnny Boy. But John's favorite player, Fletcher Cox, uh, he's – He's having a pretty solid game. He's not dominating, but you've seen him in the run a couple of times. He's made some plays. He's just been disruptive in general. He's a big reason they go get the sack there, so you love to see that. But I, I want to get to something that you said a little bit earlier, Taylor, because you said something really yes. interesting earlier. So you're talking about the Vikings, and, and you're putting them still to go win the NFC North, right? Oh, yeah, for sure. Uh, I mean, I don't think the Bears are any good, but Aaron Rodgers has – still no chemistry like he's had Randall Cobb forever and like I mean it was a blowout win last night but there was a ton of giant missed passes yeah last night. and it's against the Bears still yeah so it's just like yeah it's not so you take the Bears out of the equation anyway uh the Packers yeah I don't think they're that good but they'll be in there yeah here's here's the sleeper question we have to ask now is do the Lions actually have a chance Ooh. <laughs> do they at, at like eight or nine wins could the Lions actually pull that off it sucks because it's the easy answer but like golf is still so bad He's like bad. there there were so many easy plays during the Washington game that just weren't made yeah like they have the wet like if they get a quarterback change I mean I don't even know who their backup is Oh, like, God. It was da – I watched Hard Knocks, so I should know this. They had David oh Blau. God, oh, it's yeah. Nate Sudfeld. They signed oh, Nate that's Sudfeld. Right. Yeah. How about that? So, yeah, I mean, yeah, it's, it's the ultimate cliche, but, like, I mean, not saying they'd be doing a Super Bowl run, but, I mean, a quarterback away, they'd, they'd look really good. They'd be a solid contending team if, the, if what we've seen in two weeks is real. Ooh, how about this? Is If Kirk Cousins – Playoff contending, I want to specify. If Kirk yeah. Cousins was a – Detroit Lions quarterback. Oh God, yes, it would be. The, they would be Minnesota. That would be so great. I would love to see Kirk Cousins as a quarterback. Of the Lions. Not bad. <laughs> that would be so funny. And uh, and let us know in the chat. By the way, you've been hanging out all night. So if you want to get in, you're listening to us. Uh, whether you're watching on YouTube or have us in the background, you're hanging out on Discord. Who would you actually see winning the NFC North? Because yeah, if if the line, the fact we're having a conversation about whether or not the Lions could do it. I am starting uh, to buy. Line's legit. Right? It's that, that line is crazy good. And that's the fundamental thing to all of this. It's always like, why? I don't understand why all these teams that are bad don't just overspend all the time on offensive linemen rather than overspend on, like, wide receiver. You know? It's just, it, it's always what happens. They always, they always buy the wide out or the defensive end or whatever, and I it's get a, that. It's but a sexy pick. It's, and that's, I it guess it's still. Gets the jersey sales going, fans. People excited. talk about you. Yeah. yeah. I, I, all right. That's fair, right? Because, like. If if the Eagles sucked, which obviously they don't, but in, in that scenario, they were they were a Lions kind of team, and then it was like, oh, they just spent big money on a left tackle. Yeah, nobody's gonna care. You get buzzed for a day, like yeah. Like, yeah. I guess that's what sucks, but it's like that's that's what the oh, game is, you know. Oh, it's Kelsey, Kelsey it's, brother there. Oh well, you know what it is. They got to record a pod after the after the game, so he's coming in. Jason, he's gonna record a pod with Jason late night tonight. You're, wel you're welcome at the gatehouse, fellas, by the way. So come on down to the gatehouse. We'll have the Kelsey's wow, out is, here. Is that not uh, like a faux pas to wear, uh, you know, other teams' jersey while you're still active? There's going to be nerds like, in Kansas City that are bugging brothers, the hell out. Right? It shouldn't. I, I, I mean. There's going to be losers in Kansas City yeah. losing their mind. Whoa, Jalen Hurts with uh, – is that a design key further? Uh, yeah, it looked like it, if it wasn't <laughs> just a straight keep, it might have been an RPO. I missed the first little bit of that, but. Uh, by the way, have you checked out any of the Kelsey Brothers podcast clips or anything like no, that? No, not yet. How is it? It's pretty good. Yeah, I, I mean, I don't know yet. We'll give them some time. I like hearing them talk, so I'll, I'll listen regardless. But yeah. their personalities could carry that enough. Oh, yeah, yeah. And that's the biggest thing. Like, sometimes you see people that, that they're not necessarily good hosts. You know what I mean? Like any bullshit celebrities, like, <laughs> I can do this. Yeah, yeah, they're just like, I'm great. Uh, people love me. I can have a podcast. All right, good fucking luck to you. Oh, oh no, no, Kenny, That no. was the worst thing that could have possibly oh, Kenny, happened. Kenny, no, is he going in? No, he's uh, not going in, but holy shit, he's close. God damn. So that it's Jordan stinks. Hicks. That's Jordan yeah, welcome Hicks. Welcome back, Jordan Hicks. Damn. He's excited. Man, that was really bad. 
I hate uh, to say it too, but he looks good in the Vikings uniform. It like fits. Him. <laughs> he does. But I'm anyway. gonna double check me here. I actually think this is not a good idea for Jalen to toss this. Yeah, thing. Yeah, because he lobs it up. It feels like he has to like sail that a little bit over the. Yeah, that's up yeah. a little bit. But Kenny, Kenny, uh, just I don't know. Whop. I don't know. Let's see. Not great. Actually, there's. N- I mean, that's clean, man. It's tough because Kelsey that's like. Clean. Kenny's going over, but Kelsey's getting pushed, and he kind of crouches down. It's I don't know. That's on Kenny. It looks like it's more Kenny. Um, Second career interception when leading. God, <laughs> what is that? I stat? have no idea. <laughs> Just had to throw something out I there. I can't get guess. over how bad the font looks. Yeah, first it, it looks is terrible. so bad. Uh, Cousins on a slant. Adam Thielen's going to try and yell for a flag. Oh, I guess he doesn't. See, what's he's what's worse, Kirk Cousins passing or the Eagles font? The font. Still the fun. It's g- y- have you ever made like a custom <laughs> team in Madden 2005? Oh yeah, yeah. It, a, a creator, create a player became right? a font. Yeah, like that's exactly what that looks like, man. It is so cheesy. It's it's like oh, it's got all the swag, Ooh, I, but I it has s- no I personality. I hear some yelling. Oh, we heard some oh, yells. Come on, baby. Kirk Cousins couldn't possibly on second and goal. Come on, five wide. And here we go, folks. They bring the house, Whoa. and there's the throw. It is. Oh! oh! Slay, baby. Come on, man. See, this is what's uh, like. Oh, no. Is Slay uh, okay? Oh, no. That is not good. No. Don't tell me he's hurt. Come on. Oh, man. That was like his fifth chance at a pick today. Uh, Yeah, that was crazy. Woo! He's been all over it today. I will say this. Jonathan Gannon dialing up at the right time. Oh, oh we have got a huge roar, again. guys. A huge roar. I think this might actually be a... No, I'm going to go with they, they sack him. They're going to bring the house again. Come they on. They sent a lot of Is heat he last out down. There? Third and goal. Here they come. Blitzing again. And it is in the air and in. Yeah! This time oh, it's picked off. It is picked off this time. Oh, my God. Who cares? Wait, oh, wait, wait, cares? wait, wait. All right, it's down. They called him it's down, down in the okay, air. Yeah, yeah. Oh, my God. This that is, is two. A that is fucking class. two. Can you believe it? That is three interceptions. We are, I, I predicted, well, I was hoping for four Kirk Cousins interceptions. We're I mean, one four, away. Four pass breakups. <laughs> Good enough. <laughs> oh, God, my rules. God. I love you, Slay. I fucking love you, man. This is unreal. I think Slay like, might have taken over my uh, favorite Eagle spot over uh, Lane Johnson. Wow, that is uh, strong l- words from Taylor Credatus. I, mean, I don't, I, I don't I do, think you're wrong. I do, yeah, I mean, I do love. That, and that, they went to yeah. Jefferson too, right? That sad yep. little. Ed- ah. Wow! <laughs> wow! Woo, baby, go home. I mean, it's, Go home. It's just so crazy because I, I don't know if I've ever seen a progression like that where it feels like sometimes like a running back, they get a couple of carries, and it feels like they're going to bust one really soon, yeah. you know? And, and you just keep feeding them and feeding them and feeding them, and then it finally happens. I've never seen it where a guy like that has like eight chances, and you're like, all right, he's going to get another one. Yeah, if <laughs> anything, <laughs> yeah, stop throwing it that way. Yeah, like what? <laughs> they got nothing. They just, I mean... Minnesota's been outright outcoached in this game. Yeah, like hilariously outcoached. Hilariously outcoached. Wow. After all the bullshit overreaction week one criticism, me and you included, I would even say. But, like, I mean, Jesus. I can't believe you thought there was a problem with Jalen Hurts, whoever you are. I'm standing next to you. Vince Quinn. Jesus. I cannot. The the What? I'm not going to say what else does this guy have to do because, like, whatever. They will find something, and nothing's perfect here. This could be better. All of this is shit. But, like, the floor of improvement and the leap from last year where we thought, "Mm, oh, Tampa Bay, Jalen Hurts can't read defenses to where this is now is amazing. Celebrate that. Jesus, please. I'm begging you. This This is good enough. This like, is way good enough to go win a Super Bowl. Yeah. This is quarterback play to go win a Super Bowl. I don't know how good Jalen is going to be. I just think he's going to be great in two or three years. Yeah. But for right now, you can go win a Super Bowl right now. Because let's let's talk for a second thinking about, like, uh, the 49ers and Trey Lance, right? So he goes out for the year. He breaks his ankle. Jimmy G comes in. They got a pretty good chance to make the Super Bowl if you think about it, right? It's yeah. like that team is the same. We saw him at the NFC Championship game, Super Bowl a couple years before that. Their, their odds are pretty good. I'd take Jalen over Jimmy right now. 
Oh yeah. Like yes. That's and there were people that were saying that they would take Jimmy Jimmy Jalen is nowhere near Jimmy G's floor. All this other crap. I'm saving it for the post game because yeah. we got seven minutes left. But like, I'm gonna stomp my feet, y'all. Like this is ridiculous. They're and it's it's the Vikings, and you guys are making great points. And like, who knows who's gonna win the North? But this is what we always convince ourselves during that Super Bowl run too, when it was a weak schedule. Like, yeah, well, they're just kicking kicking the crap out of bad teams. Is here's Miles Sanders. Hopefully, to start putting this one away with 705 and ticking down. Like, this is. Oh my God! They're showing that you know Slay, so Slay stayed on, even though it looked like he should have come off. He was clearly limping on that play, and they wanted to take him off. He said no. And then he makes an incredibly acrobatic, <laughs> beautiful pick in the end zone. He is out He's of control, up, man. At least. Yep. He's so walking around. Yeah, yep. he looks he feels fine. Okay. He's football fine, you know, like football fine. Yeah. Good words. Good words. Second and two. After uh, the Miles Sanders run for eight, which is really nice. Would suspect more of that coming. And first down, Miles Sanders uh, dragging some bodies along the way, too. Miles, or, uh, Lane Johnson with the confirmation. But, yeah, I mean. Ooh, we got a good comment. What do you uh, got? Did the coaching staff look past the lines to prepare for this game instead? You know what? I, not no, a bad take. It's not a bad take at all because it's got me thinking already. And here's here's what I think. It's the Lions on the road. We were all there. I thought. I feel like we've said this a million times, so I apologize if you have heard it a million times, but it was really fucking loud. You you couldn't really audible, even if you tried in that stadium. And, you know, I just think it's week one preseason. Everyone's getting to know one another, and you're at home, and you feel a lot more comfortable in your routine and all that stuff. I just think that's it's pretty much that simple. Yeah, the first time's always different. Even, even if you're a veteran, to, to actually get your full game's worth of action – it just takes some time to figure some things out. And for them, they're, they're building a whole new offense. I think that's really important to state, too, right? Like, A.J. Brown brought something they didn't have. They've decided to build the whole thing around what he provides. That's a good place to be, but you do have to figure that out. So it was very basic building block shit last week. It's gotten a little more complicated this week. We saw him throw a counterpunch where you set up all the short stuff and hit the bomb. So it's just like... How do they keep evolving this going forward? That's what I'm excited to see. Yeah, me too. Uh, Miles Sanders here. Ooh, wow. Wow, Wow, with a really nice carry. That was going to go for nothing and ends up being about 11 yards, I think, on that and a first down. That was a really good run for Miles. Just ridiculous. I mean, he's he's been great today. They haven't had to use him all that much, but in the times they have gone to Miles Sanders, he's gotten a lot of positive points. Yeah, yeah. And... This is what's great is, you know, again, all three running backs are being used in the rotation here. Trey Sermon was inactive again today, and I'm not saying he's a stud or anything, but, like, I'm just thinking, start to get into November, start to get a little colder, you put a little more sting in that oomph between this offensive line, which has been, by just live reaction eyes, been fantastic and is uh, trying to close this out here again, man. But, yeah, like, the rotation of running backs has been awesome to start the season awesome and miles has been the main guy in that workload and he deserves it so for right now to see all this stuff and look there was a lot in the offseason of like hey miles is our guy and we were like i don't know like we had that controversy of uh that first training camp practice where he didn't do it with the ones (laughs) and there was a big that was a whole big to do and and look at him now he's kicking ass man he's kicking ass it's great. What do I have to do for Miles if he, like, ends up being the best running back in the league this year? Uh, the same thing I have to do if Russell Wilson sucks. Uh, it's <laughs> <laughs> what was our bet if Russell Wilson sucks? Uh, we just have the Seahawks. Uh, yeah, you know, yeah. We just have the Seahawks. I would Broncos feel – I would – here's what I'll do because you're such a great gentleman. You, you slaps? You, yeah, that's what I was going to say. Like, I would uh, – if you're, if you're going to allow me to slap you in the face, which uh, after tonight, yeah. I think it's going to be really hard – to 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 kind of decipher tonight was it's it's been a split uh, yeah so um but I think it's only appropriate that you would have to slap me twice in the face if Miles Sanders is like what do you want to say top five yeah if he's top five yeah that's worth the slap I think that's worth top five is worth the slap in the so face. you know that's what I'm doing for you Miles I I just like I said like I'm I, I'll kill you and if I'm wrong then that we got to have the same repercussion that's all so yeah. Miles Sanders. I'll even invite you to the show to slap me in the face if you want to. That's fine. Just keep it up. Otherwise, you know, 
the viciousness comes back. But uh, yep. I really have no complaints. Miles Sanders, outstanding first two weeks. No, it's it's been awesome to see, and that's th- like we we had conversations about like, oh, uh, what running back to trade for? I don't, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Like, what, who? Why? And it ends up just being Trey Sermon. Well, yeah, we, who we haven't even seen or thought about, yeah. you know? It's So who knows? Maybe maybe he's going to come in and kill it all of a sudden. I would I think so. I have no so. idea. I would think so. Just like it's not uh, – I would, I would guess that when we see him, if we do, he becomes more of the Boston Scott snaps. And it's just kind of, you know, for beefy teams or, or whatever it is. But – that's, that's wh- next level shit though. Yeah. Like that's that really is. And that's a great that's like the typical uh that was the classic Bill Belichick shit like five years ago. It'd be like, all right, is it James White in this game or is it some random guy that we have that's just gonna plow ahead thirty times for four yards a carry? Like he would always just pick guys for certain games and nobody else would get touches in those yep. games. If if you're gonna start swinging things where it's like, all right, the main rotation is miles. But who that secondary guy is is more depending on the matchup. That'd be awesome. I would love to see that. And that was something that I always loved. I mean, that's just, you know, of course. I need to end her up. Ooh, what's up? Beat the Barcher trivia's back. Ooh, Whoa! Alvin, 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 what's up, buddy? Yes! God, I thought I, I thought you were gone, and uh, welcome back. All right. Of the Eagles, 23 playoff wins. Yes. 10 have come against NFC North teams. Ooh. Which two teams have they defeated? A total of seven times in the North. A total of seven NFC times. NFC North teams. I'm gonna. I'm just gonna come out and say the Chicago Bears because it just makes the most sense to me. I remember them beating. Um, obviously, everyone's the McNabb traveling to Chicago. It's still one of my favorite games ever. Um, Eagles uh, facing a third down now here after a second and eight run from Boston Scott for not much. So I'm gonna say Chicago Bears. I think they've beaten them the most. And then you think of all their history. Uh, the times that they've played, it just seems like an obvious NFC North see you in the playoffs. And it's it's two teams, right? Yep. Which two teams have they defeated a total of All seven right. times? Well, let's, let's get the lines. Oh, which two Which two teams? Is, that, is it two, not two just one? Two teams combined, Oh, yes. got you. Then it's the Bears and the Vikings, right, for I'll re- sure. I'll repeat real quick. Of the Eagles' 23 playoff wins, 10 have come against NFC North teams. Which two teams have they defeated a total of seven times? Yeah, the Bears and the Vikings. Final mm. answer. I feel like that's, yeah, I'm going to go with that. Oh, too. there's i I'm so sorry about tonight. There's a gentleman with a Kirk Cousins jersey walking by. Three interceptions. Yeah, put it on eBay. Put it on eBay. Oh, he's taking he's it off. Taking Is he the taking the Kirk it Cousins off? jersey off. <laughs> and he's throwing it into the <laughs> Delaware River. Oh, my God. Here's Jalen Hurts on third and seven. Under pressure, scrambling around a la Randall McNabb. Uh, Randall McNabb. Randall there you McNabb. go. That works. It totally works. Uh, there's a flag on the play. He doesn't even reach for the first down marker and goes out of bounds. I'm a little confused on all this, but uh, let's go to the refs. Uh, I'm going to guess this is a hold on the Eagles, if I had to guess anything. There's the hold, there's the point, and there it is. Didn't get a curse word from uh, Nick Sirianni, so I guess he doesn't disagree. And we were right. <laughs> is that right? Yes. The Bears, hey, yeah. all okay. right. Way to start off. Beat the Barcher trivia one for one. Thanks, Alvin. Appreciate you stopping by, buddy. Yeah. That, see, this is the g- great thing about being back on the live stream. Stuff yeah. like this, <laughs> you know. It's, it's good to have you back, Alvin. So good to have you back. Uh, and looks like Vikings are just going to decline this since the since Hurts didn't get there, I'm assuming. Fourth and five, 24 to seven. <laughs> Eagles have been dominating the Vikings for 56 minutes of game time. And I swear to God, I hope they can hold on for the next four. Jalen Rager back to return as he is looking at this beautiful ball. He's going to let it go, and it's going to drop at the 11. There we go. So 351 left after that, and getting excited because Alvin's got me excited thinking about the playoffs already. 2-0. Like, how many – I would – I'm going to look this up, but let's try and guess the percentage, the percentage of teams that make it to the playoffs – that start out two and zero. Oh, that start out two and zero. Are yep. you pulling up that chart that was going around I'm the gonna, other day? I'm going to tr- try and look for it right now. I don't. I don't know if it's the same chart you're referring to. Because there was a, there was a chart that was going around, and I think Solak retweeted it. Uh, it was about the Bengals because they went zero and two, so the odds of an zero and two team making the playoffs oh, okay. horrendously low, horrendously low. I'll give it uh, eight percent. Yeah, for, for the zero and two, I think it was like. I think it was 11. 
some, somewhere in that range. But then uh, f- for the positive side, I'm going to say you've got like a, like a 56% chance. 56? What, for 2-0? and oh? For 2-0. and oh. For a team that's 2-0. Oh, two and, two and, oh. Oh. Uh, and then I'll look up 0-2. Oh but if you're 2-0, and oh, the percentage chance in which teams have made the playoffs that start 2-0. and oh. I mean, I don't even like that. I, w- I would still mm. say like 40? 40? I don't think it should be that high. Yeah, 56 is my final 40, answer. 40, 56. Ladies and gentlemen, those are under. 63%. Woo! 63% At, two and oh. of teams that start out 2-0 wow. and oh make the playoffs. Just by a quick Google search, I don't know if that's uh, really correct. According to NFL Research Team, start, yeah, 2-0 and oh have made the playoffs 63% of the time since 1990. I want to qualify that. So since 1990... That has happened, and that percentage drops to forty-two percent for one-to-one uh, teams that are one and one, and eleven percent for zero and two. Uh, I, what is it? What's the worst start of all time? Is that the uh, Andy Reid Chiefs at zero and five, then coming back to uh, get into the playoffs? That's Ooh. the only ones I can remember. Yeah, did the did the Falcons get in that year? They went zero and six to start. Oh, I think you're right. Yeah, I think they might have Thank or you. came close to it, but it's just good news bears all around. Like uh, <laughs> good news bears. Uh, I I love this. This is uh, if I don't believe people thought they would be two and zero. You know, we wanted all of this hope of Jalen Hurts being the guy and working out for a little bit. We wanted, you know, AJ Brown to be the guy, Devontae Smith not to go away. All these things, and I feel as though it's going to be really hard to hold all this back because a lot of the a lot of these things are being answered, especially tonight. Jonathan Gannon can he hold his own weight? Against Kirk Cousins at home, so far so good. Stadium's clearing out, by the way. And these yeah. guys are ready to beat Woo-hoo! traffic. Nick, Absolutely. Get that traffic's ass. <laughs> go birds. We got to yell and go birds. And you will beat the traffic if you're at yeah. down at the Navy. Yeah, office. you literally uh, will. It's on the. Uh, no first down. They were close. It is. Uh, yeah, it's right. Like it's past where you have to go down to get off of 95. Yeah, the broad. other side, 95. Yeah. So like you are. So in the clear, second down, Kirk Cousins, dump off City. They are, they're packing it up, and they're going home too, everybody. They've had enough. <laughs> Jordan Davis getting all the reps here at the end. Uh, they're just running tempo, and Kirk Cousins has no idea what to do in two minutes. He has no idea what to do in two minutes. He's this is going to be so funny. Kirk Cousins throws deep, and is almost oh, picked off again. Oh, man. And uh, did he catch that? No. What happened there? Yeah, Kirk Cousins thought he caught it. What the hell happened? Did it go through uh, Chauncey's Thielen. arms or something? Did did Thielen get Oh, he did catch in? it. He did catch it. It's just it's, Wow, I, Epps was so close. Yeah, Thielen got like three feet in. Wow. Uh, great play, actually, by Cousins and Thielen. Is now a uh, another dump off to the left-hand side to Irv Smith Jr. Six yards, second down, clock. <laughs> Throwing inbounds. <laughs> Yes. I don't know why he didn't go out of bounds, but it's a I'm three saying. possession game. And they're wasting uh, all this time to get down to the two minute warning. I think this drive started at three fifty one. Oh, that's so dumb. All right, yeah, this is a three <laughs> Cousins two for ten against the Blitz tonight. Love that. Middle of the field. Great. Yeah, playing the throwing, boundary. Keep throwing in the middle of the field. Yeah. Got it. Wonderful. Two thirty and ticking will get us down to the two minute warning, and I would say uh, we should start the post game show <coughs> once that happens. Yeah, right? I, I think when we hit the two minute, that's time. <coughs> it's this the uh, Barry Justin Jefferson Eagles comparison game. Yep, yep. And Cousins, thank God. First and ten, running for his life, still standing sure. upright. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, congrats. Tick tock, tick tock. They're all the way down to the Eagles thirty five yard line. There's the two minute warning. So. Uh, Give me one sec. Oh, yeah, no, take your time, T. Oh, I can't wait to hear this out in the Navy Yard, too. <laughs> <coughs> people people in the stadium <coughs> are going to be like, wait, did bon- J- did John Barcher just start the postgame show? Oh, my God. I think it's I time just to leave. It, oh, from <laughs> out in the distance. Ooh. Yeah, that, that was pretty good. Was pretty damn good. Yeah, there we go. That, see, Spent a lot of time around you. We're already uh, realizing that the acoustics of the gatehouse here in the courtyard's are fantastic for some oh what's going on Philadelphia. <laughs> um yeah, what a fantastic night here, guys. Jesus. Can't wait. You're gonna have to I'm like I can't remember most of the stuff that happened in the first half. So All right. we're gonna have to go through that and uh, it should be fun. 
And uh, give me a clap when you're ready. Oh uh, yeah, let's uh, three, two, one. Just for uh, all you folks at home, this is how the magic happens and how Taylor syncs it up and uh, back there. So uh, without any further ado, oh, what's going on, Philadelphia? Hello, everybody. It is the Bell and the Birdman post game show live right now from the Gatehouse. Thank you for everyone tuning in that has been here on YouTube for the entire game. See Jalen Hurts absolutely light up the Minnesota Vikings. Jonathan Gannon remembers somehow to play defense and completely neutralize Kirk Cousins. Justin Jefferson slay with two interceptions. Probably should have had seven, and Kirk Cousins has three. There is still two minutes left in this game, but we decided, you know what, if the Vikings have given up on this game, uh, we might as well start the post-game show. Vince Quinn, what is going on now? How are you, sir? Man, I'm great. This team got so much sharper. Like, that's really the overall thing that I can take away from this. Both sides of the ball, coaching offensively, defensively, execution offensively, defensively, just really sharp all around in every capacity. It's a dominant win. They got ahead on Minnesota early, 14 to nothing early in this one. And they just never looked back. I, I really haven't had a moment this whole game where I felt like, oh, shit. Y you know? <laughs> Not it once. Hasn't been there. They, they, they're, they're just, as, it's never felt like they've been an actual threat literally all night long. It's unbelievable. From the opening drive to what I thought was some of the most brilliant scripted plays that we've seen from this coaching offense, fucking finally, by the way, yeah. of just masterfully cutting up a Vikings defense. And, man, I am i don't want to pat ourselves on the back, but I'm pretty sure Jonathan Gannon and everybody over there um, listened to the podcast, and so did Nick Sirianni, because whether or not they did or not, they gave us the presence that we asked for of coming out in tempo, coming out in no huddle, coming up as uh, we've got more Birds fans crossing over at the gatehouse uh, trying to beat traffic as well as they're enjoying this Kirk Cousins uh, uh, disaster. And just, I mean, it's over and over again, uh, to use the great Xavier Rhodes, I mean, they schemed their ass to death here in this one. And that was clear cut from both the offense and the defensive side of the ball. But seriously, dude, shout out to Jalen Hurts, who, who probably, like, walking into this game, most people were saying that, like, ah, all you got to do is just hang back and let Jalen Hurts try and beat you with his arm. And that's exactly what the Vikings thought they could do tonight. They played this bullshit you know, three safety, zone coverage, like constantly leaving the middle of the field open, large chunks open, and they said, you know what, I know what you saw on tape from Detroit, here's Devontae Smith, and fuck you, I can throw. That was basically like what happened tonight, and I'm so happy that we get to talk about this, is there's almost pick number four. Oh, I'm feeling it. 53 seconds still to go in the game, but Vince Quinn, that's where I'm at. This team is just fine and going to have such a bright future with Jalen Hurts as long as he stays healthy, continues to get better, and it was all on display tonight, especially with his arm. Yeah, it, everything is starting to line up in the way that it's supposed to, right? Jalen Hurts, let me read you the full stat line, by the way, because it's it's really impressive, uh, as my phone, of course, uh, goes on a black screen <laughs> for a moment. Uh, 26 of 31, mm. 333 yards. Go ahead. One touchdown and an interception. I, it wasn't even really his fault. Kenny, Kenny. Gainwell just kind of bounced it off of his hands. This, this was, as we talked about through the live stream, John, this is a paper-cut victory. Mm -hmm. Short, quick, left, right, five yards, seven yards, 15 yards, 65 yards, whatever it was to Quez. Like, the balance Man. of everything was just absolutely on point. It started with the first drive, which was immaculate. That, that drive was immaculate, as good as it could have possibly been. Everybody got the ball. Devontae Smith, Dallas Goddard, uh, Miles Sanders, Jalen Hurts ran one. Pascal caught a ball. Like, they, they threw it to everybody. They marched right down the field. They got a nice, easy touchdown, and they never looked back from there. It, it just, just great all around. And for Jalen Hurts, that's who he's supposed to be. I think that's the best way to make the most of his talent. And they just ran away against a pretty good team tonight. And, man, this is the beautiful thing, and I hope you can hear it. Oh, yes. Those fireworks are going off right behind us right now as that is the final, and that is literally how close you are to the stadium. And just the environment here at the Gatehouse has been phenomenal. So cool as Josh Sweat gets the sack on Kirk Cousins to end the football <laughs> game. And everybody sure. just looks around like they're dumb. and like, all right. 
they had fourth and goal. They could have ran a play. They didn't call the timeout. They just let it tick off. So, yeah, the Vikings just gave up on the final drive and said, let's just get out of this and go home. Kirk Cousins, three interceptions tonight. Let's switch to that for a second, then I'm happy to go back to Jalen. Jonathan Gannon tonight was awesome. I'll leave Reddick on an island for a second, but yeah. Jonathan Gannon tonight I thought was awesome. Plain and simple. Outside of the first drive in the third quarter when the Vikings came out and just kind of lit them up and scored their only touchdown, just masterful performance tonight. Yeah, no, look, they absolutely they held the Vikings to seven points. Okay, this is a Sean McVay-ish team. That's what Kevin O'Connell is. Ran a great game plan against the Packers last week. Just a really good dynamic offense. They had no answers tonight. They had no idea what to do. Uh, they had a couple of moments where, like, some of that same short, quick stuff that the Eagles were doing, they were trying to run that. They couldn't maintain drives on it. And, and they were just stuck. Run game didn't work. Pass game didn't work. Justin Jefferson, I mean, what was his stat line at the end of this? Six catches, 48 yards. Who gives a shit? Like, yeah, they, they just couldn't matter. They couldn't do anything of substance the entire night long. Uh, the most eventful thing that they really did was they blocked the field goal. Yeah, oh, yeah, right. And that was it. Flip the field, and Kirk Cousins throws an interception to flip it back. Yeah. Like, it's it's just like, man, that really that really big. And, and offense didn't put the defense in trouble really at any point. Defense didn't put the offense in trouble really at any point. Like I said, the special teams were the only kind of really Noonan in this thing. I'm just like, oh, crap, is this going to be a, a way back into the game? And granted how we've, you know, seen how this weekend has ended with all the crazy scores. You're like, ah, you know, let's not let's not celebrate until it's all over. But, yeah, I mean, like this is – it's Fletcher Cox looked like he was uh, the same normal Fletcher Cox again tonight. Hargrave, you and I commented, was just so, so much different than game one. Um, I, yeah, like and, – and the corners just outstanding all night. I've got to apologize to to Epps, too. Like, good Lord, that kid can play. That wasn't just a line from the offseason where it's like, yeah, he's here, we believe in him, whatever the line was. I just assumed, and, man, I assumed wrong. There's still a couple of kind of, like, dumb things that I think, you know, Jonathan Gannon's a little too passive on, but the blitzes were at the right time. The You know, it's just it the, the feel of the game for Jonathan Gannon today, I think, is what impressed me the most. Hit the right buttons at the right time, essentially. Yeah, and eventually Lady started to blitz a little bit more, and that led to Kirk Cousins shitting the bed again. So everything came together the way that it was supposed to. Uh, defensive line was getting home. Go Birds. Uh, so they were getting home. They were causing problems. Javon Hargrave was the guy that led to one of those picks uh, when, when he threw it way wide of, of uh, Justin Jefferson oh, right. and Slay got that pick. That was because of Javon Hargrave creating pressure up the middle and getting a holding call while he did it. So all of that was awesome. And your point with Marcus Epps so far, been solid and on the same side with the opposite side of the ball uh miles sanders like when those were the weak points of the team when we were evaluating them going into the season and those two guys are holding their own this is a phenomenal place to be i mean two two weeks in for all the problems we can have and, and people can stomp their feet whatever about the lions game the lions are a little bit better than we thought and you still won the game and you are two and oh now going to washington who just got their ass kicked by the lions mm -hmm. so get ready uh, which, by the way, we're heading down there uh, in a week, less than a week. We will be hanging out at FedEx Field with a 1,000-plus of us yelling at Carson Wentz for those exact reasons and a, a whole bunch more. But uh, it, to get back to that and especially to compare that with Jalen and where this team is at, like, it's just he is so multidimensional. We have to start respecting that now. And the passing game, yes, is still not all the way there, but – if you were so put off by what you saw in Detroit in terms of decision-making and where it's at, and I think I finally kind of have a little bit more of a grasp in terms of his mentality, but would you say Jalen Hurts is typically more a conservative quarterback and not necessarily a guy that's going to sit there and grip it and rip it? And I think that's great. Like, he literally is – exactly what you want he will juke you out of your shoes and know when to do it he will know when to throw a bomb x amount and it looks like it's a good opportunity to do so will he leave some chances on the field no doubt about it i don't think that's probably going to change that much but i would rather have this version of jalen hurts for the rest of his career he's running out there and not taking hits he's you know avoiding pressure and finding the best play the best option that excites me because that's only going to get better and better and better. But 
tonight, like, it, I just, whew, I hope we saw that tonight. I hope there's a lot of praise for Jalen Hurts this week. Outstanding football game from him tonight. There should be, and, and especially when you consider that early on in this game, Minnesota's game plan was to limit his legs. They were spying him. Like, they, they did not want him to run the ball. So when he's already affecting the game plan with the non-passing element of his game from the offset, that's a great place to be. And then, of course, when they finally turn their back on him because he keeps completing all these quick slants and pick plays and all that kind of stuff, yep. well, he runs for 25 yards and he scores a touchdown. It's just they, they didn't have an answer for him. And, and the question you need to ask yourself when it comes to Jalen Hurts and whether or not you're going to believe in this guy, because we all get caught up in franchise quarterbacks and Josh Allen's a fucking monster. <laughs> Patrick Mahomes is a fucking monster. Justin Herbert is a fucking monster. All those different guys. The whole thing that you need to ask yourself, is Jalen Hurts good enough? That's good enough. Way good enough. And you can figure the rest out later. That's what it's like. You can go you can go do this thing right now. And and I think we all are starting to feel that way. Um, we were just looking it up on the live stream here before. 2-0, 63% chance that you end up making the playoffs. It's a good way to start. It's an even more impressive start if you're thinking about first-round buys and where you're at with that. This division... Uh, it's all over the place, especially what we saw with the Bengals and Cowboys. So the Giants. The, so the Giants. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of 2-0. and oh. Yeah. Yeah, tied at the top, 2-0 uh, and oh with that. And, like, uh, uh, just incredible. I, I want to get back to the, uh, the offensive side, spe specifically with, like, uh, the scheme and everything. Let's talk about that Quez touchdown. Sure. Whew, this is what happens, man. This is what happens when, like, it's Devontae. It's Devontae. I thought you made a great point during the live stream where it's not necessarily that big play, you know, punch out. We're going to we're just going to keep throwing it down the field with our speed or whatever. It tonight was jab, jab, bang to, you know, jab, jab, snap, jab, jab, uppercut, jab, jab, bang. It was just kind of like we're, we got you here. We got you small. We got you medium. And now we got you big. And it was this crescendo that led up to it. Them coming out of mesh, out of five wide, out of all this stuff we haven't really seen really ever from, from this offense just uh, totally excites me. All the different stuff that got this offense going in the early uh, early going, that Quez touchdown especially. Um, I was just, just, just beautiful. Beautiful exclamation point on everything that they were trying to do tonight. Yeah, I mean, think about all the stuff that we had going into this game. Some of the storylines from week one go going in and how everything played out this week. Tackling, check. Offensive scheme, check. Defense of the coverage especially, check. Miles Sanders, he did it again, check. Devontae Smith, targets early and often, check. Darius Slay fucking had two picks. Like, the playmaking on every side of the ball, it, everything's there right now. I, I don't even know. The only things I can look at this game and really nitpick about, their two-minute drill was dog shit, and they were lucky that they got in the field goal range, and they still blew the <laughs> kick once they got there. It got blocked. <laughs> so that's that's a nitpicky thing. They and didn't then, score the second half either, if you want it. Yeah, sure. it's true. Yeah. So, like, those those are the things. But otherwise, like, big big picture with this team, what do you even talk about? Like, what, what, do, you, what do you worry about? You don't worry about anything. Now now it's just like I think you're just looking for opportunity at every every nook and cranny from who is who is the the contender that's falling apart that's got some nice pass rushing pieces or an extra linebacker. Honestly, like this kind of warms me up to like let's make sure the Bears are bad and go knock on the door when Rokon Smith is is not really available. I don't even know if you would want a Jesse Bates from the Bengals. Like who cares? Right now you don't need him. No. That to me is a waste of time unless, you know, uh, Charlie Garner just becomes like a, a complete, uh, uh, you know. Charlie Garner, Charlie I like Garner, that throwback. Throw that yeah, I like, uh, so that's a nice pick from the vault. Charlie Chauncey, Ch Chauncey, Chauncey Gardner, Gardner Johnson. 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 There you go. Yeah, all the all the names, but uh, <laughs> like he to me didn't have that much of an impressive night. Speaking of like, if you want to get really nitpicky, there are sometimes we just like look lost. I'm sure, that's just a little bit of time. He just got here too. So, yeah. um. Yeah, I there there aren't many things outside of like m maybe needing a little more beef so Jonathan Gannon can dial up those blitzes in the first half along with the second half. Yeah, like I don't I don't know where where else you you kind of have like oh, a, a thing with this actually, team. Actually, I found one. Uh oh, what do you got? I'm seeing Hassan Reddick in coverage, and it fucking oh, sucks. Oh, right. Oh, sucks. yeah, yeah. It's so bad. It doesn't work. And even in the opportunities where they try to change it, we're like, oh, he's a middle linebacker. He's going to blitz the middle linebacker. It's like, well, yeah. you're costing him a couple of steps. 
you know, it just, I don't know. I, I just don't think, right now, they have no idea what they're doing with him. And for a guy that was the star of the offseason in terms of, like, two days into free agency, giving him $45 million, that was a big deal. Now, he's had a mo- he had one or two moments in this game where he almost might have generated a quarterback pressure. <laughs> ah, so, as in one, yeah. Yeah, which is not a sack. It's a not pressure. Not a sack. Uh, so, so he almost did that. But otherwise, I mean, when there were times where Kirk Cousins saw him in coverage, he was like, yeah, fuck this, boom. Yeah, and, like, it's just, I, I maybe it's confirmation bias, maybe it's whatever, because it's two, like, really just weird games in a row. You know how obsessive I was with the Detroit game and all that stuff when I rewatch it. I don't need to rewatch what's wrong with Hassan Reddick. Like, this is the problem, and this is, uh, it's going to continue to happen. Fletcher Cox was the good side that we like to see. This is the best side of Fletcher Cox where you don't really worry about, like, okay, we just wasted a bunch of money on this guy, and, oh, well, the defense was still effective anyway. Last week, Fletcher is not effective, and Hassan Reddick continues not to be effective when Fletcher Cox is on the field. You have to get him into space. You have to stack him behind linemen. And until they start doing that, it's going to be a long pit of disaster for Hassan Reddick and everything else, but go birds. go birds. We're getting a couple of those. I love this. This is so good. Good vibes here. And but they were at the tailgate. They were at the tailgate. Uh, I just don't think that um, there's going to be a great place for Hassan Reddick's future here this season as long as Fletcher Cox is is in there. I mean, well, and he played a good game today. He did. I mean, Ka- Fletcher Cox was disruptive. He, so for him to finally, well, not I say finally as if it's not week <laughs> two, uh, but. He, he was really causing some problems today. Yeah, Reddick, they still don't know what to do with that. So it's, it's, and maybe that's just an ebb and flow thing. And like, he's going to have games and Cox won't, or uh, Cox will and he won't, which was tonight. Or maybe we're due for a Josh Sweat game soon. Like, he almost had, a, didn't he almost get a sack fumble? And then they called that back. They, yeah. He did. Then they had and a face a, mask. Got a sack at the end, too. I think that was him. Yeah. I so like, sure, he was, he was doing some stuff. So like, it's, it's just waiting. Hey, we have, were you at the game? Oh, come and say there hi real go. quick. Yeah, there you go. We got, here, we got a, mic- we got a microphone to, right here. I got if a you want to come say hi. For you right here. So, uh, so what's your name? Ooh. Brooklyn, and let's get uh, Brooklyn's mic. There off. we go. All right, Brooklyn. Hi, Brooklyn. Hi. How, was, how was the game? It was really good. Yeah. yeah. And, and what'd you like about it? What made it so much fun? I mean, besides people screaming, <laughs> <laughs> it was like nauseous, but it was fun. And stuff. It was my first game. Oh, oh awesome. No that was your way. first game, and you're wearing the right jersey. So what did you think of Jalen Hurts tonight? He was good, but sometimes they need to work on how they score and stuff. Yes, <laughs> yeah, we were just talking about that. So uh, what do you think? Should we be pretty hard on him, or should we be okay with him this week? Maybe, since it's like kind of the first week and stuff, just go soft. But if they keep acting like that, just go hard on them. Yeah. <laughs> All right. It's got yeah. to, I, I love that. I like this, Brooklyn. <laughs> <laughs> Brooklyn, thank you so much. This has been fantastic. And, uh, I also made a sign. Oh, nice. A uh, sign? We're taking the Vikings down without a peep. Four weeks later, we will oh, we will put, put the, put the Cowboys, Cowboys to sleep. sleep. Go Eagles. Yes. Hey. Love it. I love this, Brooklyn. That is amazing. Well, uh, thanks so much for stopping by. Can we get a Go Birds before you go? Go Birds. Oh, yeah. Right. There, it, there is. it is. Brooklyn, uh, right, yeah, you, you too. too. Thanks, get Brooklyn. Get home safe. Bye, guys. Yep. Smiling Papa right there. <laughs> That's a See? night. Amazing. So we'll take it easy uh, with, uh, with the Birds in, in terms of over-analysis this week. We had some fireworks go off right there. And, uh, you know, the one thing that is that is missing from, from all this wonderful postgame love? What? There's no fucking liquid death. You want to know why? Because it's stored at my fridge. And I can't wait to get back to it. After a night like this, we've been drinking beers like crazy. We've been going through every type of wonderful and delicious, my, uh, mind you, salty food on the planet. And all I can think about is that cold, refresh- refreshing mountain steel water that is going to go down my gullet and murder my thirst the moment we get home from this post-game show because, man, oh, man, there is nothing like it, and I don't know what it is, but it's got magical powers. It is just the best mountain water from the Alps, right, Vince Quinn? It's That's so all it good. Is. It's, it's so good. It's delicious, but in that cold can when you get it, if it's been in the fridge for at least four hours, oh, it's the best-tasting thing in the world. On top of that, you don't have to throw that thing away into a New Jersey uh, landfill because that's where all your plastic single-use stuff goes. And you know 
that they are coming packing when we say we're heading to Washington because they don't want any of that crap around. So they are sending us three pallets of this to our tailgate. They believe in us just as much as they believe in them, uh, and we appreciate about them. So go to liquidthat.com slash bell right now to get every case that you order shipped on their site, shipped to you for free. And, uh, you know, I mean, the shipping's free, not the cases, obviously. I hope I was clear on yeah. that. Uh, but uh, it is so awesome. The seltzers, the flat water to the regular OG black uh, seltzer cans, uh, just amazing, Vince. And, and so. one other piece of news, John. Ah, ah yes. Hoodies. <gasps> That's right. We've got hoodies. I forgot to mention that. Congratulations I can't wait to get a hoodie. To everybody, uh, yeah, including to ourselves. Yeah, it's great, great job, everybody. We did about it. About to get cold, so yeah. <laughs> yeah. I know. It's, it's hoodie season. Hoodie That's season. why I'm congratulating everybody. And Girlfriends are excited to steal them. <laughs> yes. Uh, actually, uh, my wife won't give any of my hoodies uh, uh, back to me. And so. my girlfriend just gave me the stink eye. She's right <laughs> over there. So, <laughs> uh, But uh, because uh, the Vikings lost in such a miserable fashion, uh, uh, Drew over there at phillysportsshirts.com, uh, which is where you can go find our stuff, phillysportsshirts.com slash bell, I believe, yeah, for that as well. Yeah, and he's in the Discord, too. 20% off because they won. We agreed to this before we, we, we got to the game. 20% off all of those hoodies right now. First time you're hearing about this because they just got in the store today. So very excited for that. And if you missed any of this between Liquid Death or Where Our Hoodies At, just go to bellandthebirdmen.com, and it is all there for you. Uh, that being said, we have got to address one big thing before we get out of here in this post game, and then I would love to hear all your thoughts on uh, on some of the small stuff we might have missed. Justin Jefferson, you little bitch, you <laughs> son of a bitch! I can't believe all of the stuff that you have talked all week leading up to this, and maybe you didn't even really mean it that way in particular, but. I mean, when you say things like, I'm happy that I'm in Minnesota, and I'm glad that Jalen Rager's next to us, and all this crap about yeah, yeah, yeah. And then there's this tweet from Kyle Brandt before the game starts, and I want to make sure this is perfectly clear of where this dude's head was at. Justin Jefferson thought he was going to be so badass today, walk into the link, have a billion receptions and a billion touchdowns, and he had some thing planned for the NFL Network interview. That's what Kyle Brandt tweeted out, right? I have that correct? Uh Where's the fucking interview? Oh, that's right. You lost the game because you're a mediocre to okay wide receiver who is stuck oh. in the worst <laughs> part oh, of football, which means you have got to get a ball thrown to you from Kirk Cousins. So enjoy that contract and enjoy the miserable life you're going to have in Minnesota, and you might as well drive up to Duluth and start drinking that blackberry brandy because that's all you're going to see for the next couple of years is dumbasses telling you how great you are in the worst franchise that will never, ever win a goddamn thing. So let me tell you, Justin Jefferson, I'm perfectly happy in my seat with A.J. Brown and Devontae Smith, who could outplay your ass on any given day and just walk back on into there if you want to test that out ever again. Sit down, shut up, enjoy your dumbass padded stats in Minnesota, and never win a fucking thing again because Joe Burrow ain't there, baby. He's not walking through that door, and neither is that defense or anybody else. You are stuck in the cold tundra of who gives a shit for your rest of your career, and I'll be sitting over here enjoying a Jalen Hurts Super Bowl. You dumb asshole. Enjoy Jalen Rager and the rest of it. So just wanted to make sure we got that clear uh, before we left the program. And I'm, I'm happy to leave on that note. Holy shit. <sighs> Kyle Brandt said if the Vikings win, do not miss Justin Jefferson at the postgame press conference tonight. So Still waiting. Yeah, we're going to miss him. Still waiting. One last note. We went through this whole podcast, and we didn't say one name. Not Jaylen, one name? Jalen Rager. <laughs> <laughs> Until now. So, with that being said, we're just going to keep it nice, short, and sweet because I want to go get some of that liquid death. I want to enjoy the rest of the gatehouse uh, food that uh, was left here because there's a ton of it, and we're both fat, and we agree to that. Yeah. And we love to eat, and we can't wait to see you guys down here. This, ladies and gentlemen, what you are witnessing is not simple playoff run this is not a division winner this is not Jalen Hurts smiling for two weeks in us so we can feel fuzzy about you know God knows what over the next couple of weeks this ladies and gentlemen what you are witnessing is a Super Bowl run 
that guy that we just saw play quarterback is going to be in the MVP conversation. Why do I feel so confident about this? I've been saying it for two years. Now that A.J. Brown's here, changes the whole thing. He even said that. Yeah. Like, come on. Russell Wilson is a dead dog. Carson Wentz is going to be shot and going to be turned into glue soon. And Howie Roseman was right. You know why you know why he was right? He was featured on the broadcast three times tonight. I don't know what they said about him, but I know they flashed over there. So if you're not on board, get on board. Thank you so much for watching and subscribing because I know you are subscribing if you're watching on YouTube, and that helps us out so much. Give us a thumbs up and say hello, and make sure you're rating us five stars on Spotify, Apple, and wherever else you get your podcast. Vince Quinn, final words. What a fucking game. And ladies and gentlemen, I can't wait to see you in Washington. E A G L E S Eagles. See you guys.